Lord mighty in us shown. Somebody raise us out. You reign, you reign, Shabbatabara.
don't know about you, but the Lord is having a chamber in my life. I don't know about you, but He's Yeshua in my life. I don't know about you, but God is a Roy in my life. So somebody just raise a sound in the house. Give God all the praise. We are not gathered here for nothing. We are gathered here in the name of the Lord. Somebody just raise a sound in the house. Raise a sound in the house. To enter his court with thanksgiving. And that is why we are here to worship him with all our might. To pray with all our might. Because he's a king above everything. about to stretch today I don't know if your body is ready I don't know if your mind is ready but it starts now somebody raise a sound says Lord my father I've come to you give me strength give me strength I don't know have you received strength you're sounding like you're still weak Maybe the sleep is still staring up in our in. You know, we are still sleepy. We are still sleepy. There are chains that are about to be let loose. There are bondages that are about to be broken. In your presence, anointing breaks the yoke. Cause when I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into, into your, your presence, presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing, and the Spirit moves around me. In your presence, anointing. Come and just begin to worship the name of the Lord and the Spirit. Ayani kabala kovena shabala ni mikasta. Eke ne mene kosa bika dani akosha bika vina dasta balayaso. Eli kide efika atabali ko ashta bali kene kosha de visa. Imene kabala da kata bele kosha vi ate shabila na makados de vina. Imani atasi ne mekade la kerosha vi ne mikani atos. I don't know about you, but I've come to see Jesus. Can you just focus on him and just worship him in spirit? And me neke tele kosi na tabala kabile kade vuka barusha bike dasta. Ine kete le kabata bala dati nge eki shavide eke sto bala ariku da abakati ezi ataba ya la nge de go bela de go shavide. Ine kete bela kabala da baba baka bika baba kumbela gavedasha. Ikatazi ne mina karu shivida, ikali karu aki atasha atini mi atege eto vile bando imana tina ne ne goria vize bele gabada shabala toza. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. 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 Say if I be lifted up, 
I will draw men unto me. I'm a king and a minati. Irrecato Geneva, the mother did not shed the mother, the worship in Artia Vida. But they don't worship him, must worship him in truth and in spirit. I be, 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 I be,
until I touch no more. I have come to drink every ketobila that is in the bush out of the fountain of life. I drink, I drink, I drink. Reketeli baladasha. Eyo na manati na mene goradi adoshe ne manati. Reketeli na goradi abira na adoshe ne manati. Until I own no more. Until I own no more. Hey, I thirst, I thirst. I thirst for the living waters. Hey, I thirst for the living waters. When you are here, I thirst for the living waters. When you are here, I thirst for the living waters. When you are here, I you reign, you ancient dials king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Let us therefore come boldly, come boldly, come boldly to the throne of grace. Can you come boldly? Hey, just forget who is beside you and come boldly. Just come boldly, come boldly. Can you touch the one upon the throne? Can you join the 24 elders? Can you bow before the one who was and is and is to come? To the one that dwells in the midst of the cherubims. To the one that dwells, that dwells, that dwells, that dwells in the midst of the cherubims. To the one that dwells. Emila, Atinika, Ikoteli, Kuri, Ifwana, Minana, Ikateli, Kerushe, Nemonateka, Umene, Nekuti, Mene, Kabbala, Nemonatsa, Ikaka, Kukuti, Ede, Bele, Nasha, Irekute, Nemonatina, Nekosu, To the one that dwells. Eya, Nikari, Nananananesh, Nemonani, Karusha, Nemonani, Karusha, can you just look upon him? Eradicatis in the Mosa. Erika no Kurisha, the Manabala di Sinivina. Erakatani Koros and the Funi Minasa. And I see the angels of the Lord in this all. Epekatani Karusha Namina. Eh, Yaya Katani Karusha, the Manade, the Doshan, the Manade. Ekataluna, Manabana, the Doshan, the Manade. Sida sister being given a gift. I will never be the 
say, I've touched your grace. My life must change. I am Imanati. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. I will never. I am Imanati. What have you come here for tonight? What have you come here for tonight? Hey, what have you come here for tonight? I do not want to go back the same. Hey, I do not want to go back the same. In the year that King Uzziah died, and I see the Lord, I am lifted. Can you build up your most holy vest? Praying in the Holy Ghost. Can you build it up? Can you build it up? Eminatina Mala Garusha Nevanate. Era Kapali Nimukosi Nivana de Akirusha. In the Sinamina Karina Karush de Bele de Kabala de Vosha. Oh, Kakuku Tete de Bobo. Ime Kabobo de Karush de Beduda. Erika Tombele de Garusha Nevanate. In the Kina Manatia de Zena Garusha de Bonda. So we will not go back from you. We will not go back from you, O Lord. Quicken us, quicken us. Can you ask for a quickening? It is 12 hours. Can you ask for a quickening? Can you ask for a quickening? Quicken my mortal body. If the same spirit that dwells in Jesus be in you, it will quicken your mortal body. Marie Catalina Manati. We join you, we join you, we join you, we join you. We join you, we join you. Come along, come along. Ah, ah, you are still You are still far. Can you come along? Eli Catelli, Camina de Barusha. If I leak a Russian, I'm gonna take a Russian. Can you come along? Can you come along? If I can tell you, can you see the band? I'm 
Insist on me, Ali. Holy Ghost, insist on me. I na mi kate shinevane. Insist on me, Allah. Aya komele do kovi na shene manati na 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 dosha. Eya ni takuri ya na fina mbali ya na mila de gerusha mani de kosha. Eya na ni gerusha bila ni gerusha bali gerusha. Imanata li na gede de de bela de bola de de bola da shabala ni adosha. Eri kete lu di bela gerusha ba ya la di akura na bola di sha. Imanata ni mi na gerusha bela de fina bela gundi atate. Imana ateli kerusha na baladi kerusha ba ya ati na de iketeli ne kerusha na baladi kerisi ne monota abaya ateli kerusha ne vana iketeli ne kerusha ne veda este kuda na di bela kanisha balada bakawa epi kababa wadi akari kete kuti kakabande ike kunga di bela kaka kani na na kaka kunga ike kunga kebe ike kaka atende ike kunga abarati kushe ne the woman forget a sorry child. Akinama, if I'm not in the Gerusha, can the woman forget a sorry child? Erika, in the middle of Gerusha, the Baladi Gerusha, even if she forgets, it ain't a kumbinida. I will never forget you. I have grieved for you. I have grieved for you. Upon the palms of my hand, Erika, the Gerusha, the Baladi. I have not had the hours of Jacob to sing me even. Erika, the Manakira. It's a call of power and a worship, and I will have some worship, and I will show you great and mighty things that you know you know. In Madina Karusha, I will take you into a journey, into a journey, a journey into your destiny, a journey into your purpose. Erakatani Karusha, I will take you into a journey, into a journey, into a 
pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you just press in? Can you just press in? Can you come closer? Come closer? Come closer? He wants to see you. Just come closer. You know, just focus on him. He's not that far. He's inside the room. Can you just touch him? He said, what is it that I will pray in the spirit? And I will pray in my understanding. And I will sing in the spirit. And I will sing in my understanding. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto man, but unto God. I'll be it in the spirit. He speaketh mystery. Can you confuse the enemy? No, just confuse. Confuse him, just confuse him. Just go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. And me like a domine, give you shit in my heart. And Rikatala, the Goshen, and one of the Gorush, the Benny. And Radavala, the Goshen, and one of the Gina, the Dosha. And Rikatalu, the Goshen, and one of the Dosha. And Rakapala, the Dosha. No weapon. Fashion against you. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Hey, for you that keep it. Does not stay. You are you that she has born or born with this week. It is about to be a spoken. Now touch not my anointed. I do my prophets no harm. For the Lord contend with those that contend with this week. For the Lord finds your path. Can you touch it? Can you focus on 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 it? We want him more fell. We want him more fell. Far out. I can be a dash of a Enrique tu mi le gnosce ne ne dosha Enrique tu mi la canisce ne manate Can you love on Jesus It's a love of fear it's a love of fear Ah can you just tell him I want you more than all Can you show yourself to me Can you just show yourself to me Till my life is hidden in you Till I have missed in the presence of God he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come against you. Erika Tani Garosha, Vila Nanati, Nemonosha. Vianni, no come in Omanati, Milord. Erika de Carusha, Navanati, Nade Kanisha. Can you love him? Can you love him? Erika de Senevanati, Nade Kura Badassina. See the Lord comforting that person. You know, you've carried it too long. Can you just put it upon him? Can you just put it upon him? Can you just put it upon him? Whatever burden you have come here with, whatever low baggage you have carried so long that you have sought for answer, can you just put it upon him tonight? That even as I go on this 11 hours to have a journey, the love you have an encounter with God. An encounter with God is what I seek for. An encounter with God is what I seek for. That my own world will come to me. 
Ayena kari kadusha na mana de kari de bela kosha na de. Iro kati ka ate kedo ime de kuba na ganisa ike kadi ebe ya e ya iko kete de de bedosha ire kete de ne mina mina ime de ne ne kosi de vonde ibe kete do ira katani na dosha ire kete ibe le talusha.
Balanika Rusha Namanasha. Erakina Manosha Naniku Defina Manasha. Eanatina Karusha Namanate Kura Dadasha. Erakina Shana Munushileva. Ah, Pastor Lawrence said he saw those angels. His driver saw those angels. Ah, I get back in. Eruku de Senemota. Don't tear me. My confidence is not in myself. I have a father that controls all the angels. I have a father that controls He commands the angels on my behalf. And he says, Michael, can you go attend to Tessie? Can you just sing in the spirit? Can you just worship God in the spirit? Can you just shout unto God in the spirit? Can you just worship him in the spirit? Hey, I need to sing in the kill and in the sun. I'm bad in a cat, there's no seven. I'm not seen on the cool shot. I'm not seen on the car. We saw the fun and the fun and the fun. He that walks upon the wings of the wind. He ran in the cat in the ghost in the van at the other door. He that shine forth light unto our path. He ran in the cat in the cool and the fun and the fun and the fun and the fun. Era kina tina na muno do kune de koriada sina vina. Eya te jene manani a koriada da no shanande. E koriada shanandi a koriada shanandi. Eya ta sinandi ku shada ta sunenda. Can you just worship God in the spirit? You know, can you just worship Him with an understanding and picture the Father on His throne? I see those angels, I see the seraphims, and the cherubims, and Michael the archangel, and my father seated, and I see Jesus clothed in white, and his brass feet, and, 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 and his white hair, and his white face, and I see the ancient of days, my father, and hey, my lover, E ani kariku tasada di kubelo da kevira nasha. E rika tasina mana tena karusha ne manade. He that told me, he said, for I know the thoughts I have towards you. It's the thought of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. That today might look as if it is not, but your tomorrow is sure. Marika tesine nandosha. He said, before I form you, I knew you in your mother's womb. E rakina tazina garusha da baladi ke rusha da da. He said, the shepter. The shepter shall not leave the house of thee. Imana tina garusha da badate. E kusha baladi karusha da badati adasha. Emanatina Karusha Balade Karusha. My lineage must praise you all. My lineage must praise you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we tired? Are we tired? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, we are here all night. Neighbor, boy, we are here all night. I don't care what you brought here, but me, I'm dropping my own hair. Say, neighbor, are you hearing me? Don't sleep beside me. Don't snore beside me. If you try it, I will ask my angels to give you electric shock. You will receive shock of your life. If you believe what you are saying, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because your angels are here. And they are ready to walk. They are ready to walk. If you are not ready to walk, they are ready. 
So tell that neighbor, don't try me. My angels are ready. They are ready. How many of you know you have angels? How many of you know you have angels? If you brought anything here tonight, any burden, any problem, any pain, any heartache, any sorrow, anything you brought here, you better not leave that door with it. Are you guys hearing me? You better not leave that door with it too. Me, I've already dropped some baggages. I hope you people are doing the same. We are here all night. We are going to leave everything here. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, I came to leave everything here. I came to leave everything here. I came to leave everything here. Lord Jesus. Hey, I came to leave everything here. I came to leave everything here. We came to pray. We will sing and we will pray. We will sing praying songs. Hey. Hands up, hands open, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Lift your hands up. Hands up, hearts open, wide as we cry. Lord, we lift your name high. Lord, we lift your name high. Sing it out and lift those hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hearts open wide as the sky. We lift you higher. We lift you high. I lift you higher. We lift you higher. Hey, let every other name fade away. 
voice, sing it. We lift you up. Sing it out. We lift you up. Above every sickness. Above every pain, above every affliction, above every infirmity, I lift you high. I lift you high. I lift you high. Of you are still warm enough. Fade away. Call that thing, that thing you brought here today. Say, I command you to fade away. I command you to fade away. See, we are praying though. You may be hearing songs, but it's prayer. Oh. You better pray. If you didn't come here to pray, I'm sorry for you. You just come and do 12 hours for nothing. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Call that name, oh. Hey. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Sing it out. Jesus, take your place. Say, Jesus. Jesus, take your place. Just give me you, oh, just give me you, 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 just
I said, you may hear songs, but every song is a prayer. Every song is a prayer. Pray, guys. That's what we're here to do. We came to surrender it all. I came to surrender it all to Jesus. I came to surrender. I came to surrender. Hey. And all to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give and I will ever know and trust Him in His prayer. it again in all to Jesus Sing it louder. Sing it louder. Sing it like you mean it. Oh, to Jesus. I want to dwell in your presence, Jesus. Geshika sakata la bragada la gadaya. E rata ya baragada gada. E battle axe retreat is not enough, Jesus. I want it daily. I want your presence daily. Geshika sakata rabada la gadai. E karabada baragada la gadai. I will ever, I will ever love and trust you in your presence. I will daily live. Don't sing, pray. Don't sing, pray. Remember what pastor said today. He said people want to be singing all the time, but they don't pray. We are here to pray. Kashatatabaradabaradadadadai. 
of him is why we are here he's wonderful if you mean it if you believe it worship him worship him worship him pick up your own song in your heart and worship him pick up your own song in your heart and worship him Yes, 
Just the voices. Louder. It is flowing. River. Overflow. River. River. Overflow. Overflow. River. Overflow. Come on, sing it one more time for us. River. 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 Overflow. Come on, speak to that river inside of you. River, river, Speak to the river inside of you. Oh, river, river, Open up our mouths and begin to pray. Zebregede be zumbe li dambam bradis. Zedebedebe be rupatai. River overflow. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rebebebe no pandi ebe ruate. River river. Come on, praise. Sete <laughs> Come on, come on. River, river. River, river. River, river. Ere ke peto soto. Je prege digi digi re. Je prege de 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 de. Je pe 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 di. Je prege de de. Do you know what will happen to you? That river flows. Ah, ere ke to po son de de di. Je de 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 de. Je pe de de de. Children of the king, pray, 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 pray. outside um, and a red Toyota um, parked outside as well please could you move your car um, thank you again look at the screens the plate numbers are on the screen 
if you have your car parked and those are your cars please go move them god bless you let's continue to pray let's continue to pray you can't be tired now. You cannot be tired now. We just started. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, don't sit down, don't sit down. Just get your back break. Get your back break. Even if you need to walk around, walk around. If you need to walk around, walk around. <laughs> Share up your spirit, man. Share up your spirit, man. But we don't know what to pray. But the spirit may get intercession for us. The groanings that cannot be uttered. You cannot not get here and not pray. Uh -huh. <laughs> Spirit is a sin for us. 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 We are men, men. We don't know what we are doing. There's enough space you can walk around. Say we know not what to pray. 
Sweet Holy Spirit, bring everything in alignment. Bring everything in alignment. In obedience to Christ, don't stop praying. Don't stop Bringing everything in obedience to Christ. Repetos Soti is bringing everything. Rapates in obedience to Christ. A Rapate Kapa is bringing everything. In obedience to Christ. Rapate Kopo Soto is changing everything. In obedience to Christ. Come on, the parroto sepe, sepe re pe 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 ji, suaka pa 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 pa, sepe pe 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 pe, suaka pa 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 pa, suaka pa pe 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 pe, suaka ja ja ji, sepe pe pe ji, raka pa pa ji, suaka pa ja pa, Jesus. Spirit of the living God, is the Holy Ghost, Set of the King of Kings. That's the person that's living inside of you. Oh. He's the Holy Ghost, Spirit. The spirit that is at work in you is bringing in. <laughs> ah, the is bringing in. The parada is Sepere kete kete, he is aligning every 
Such a walk in us, Holy Ghost. Such a walk in us, Holy Ghost. Such a walk in us, Holy Ghost. We have no call. Let us be you know what you were looking for that brought you here. Somebody go start walking up. Fix what needs to be fixed. Heal what needs to be healed. We come against the spirit of fear.
Everything my negligence has taken from me, I recover Oh, my 
And as we said before in the morning, please, all the people holding the mics and pray, and time to the groups, hold hands with them, and then come out, go to another place, hold hands with them. See, you will not go home the same way. It's impossible that you came to bar and you will go home the same way. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not possible. Something will shift. Something will shift. Something must 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 shift. Rivers of living waters, rivers of living water, rivers of living water, rivers of living water, and tied to your form, and tied to your shape, and tied to who you are. Wake up, 
Drop down ye heavens. Drop down ye heavens. Pray, 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 pray,
Everyone, release that chant. Oh. times louder two more times one more time raise it up I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. Declare it. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. Come on, louder. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. Come on. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my Louder, books. Louder, faster. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. The clothes. I fall in Fifty more times. I call in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I call in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I call in alignment. I call in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I call in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I call in alignment. Still put it at 10 p.m. Come on! I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my books. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my I want you to see it happening. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, at the right place, at the right time. I catch up on time. I catch up on destiny's timing. Come on! I fall in alignment.
Hallelujah. We will keep going, all right? But first, let me give you understanding on what we are doing. Don't think we are just enjoying a nice bit. Oh. You are implicating yourselves. Tell your neighbor, it's a good, impl it's a good implication, all right? It's a good one. There are some of you in wrong locations, wrong relationships. I don't want to say more than that. Yes, wrong places. Wrong environments. After this declaration now, your angels will begin to frustrate those things. You will see what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. Some of you are one dream away. One dream of vision away from destiny. Just one. All that information you have been asking for <laughs> oh, is in the hand of the angel attached to you. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Destiny's journey is sweeter, it's faster, it's smoother. When those angels tend to minister to you, are doing their work actively. Are you getting what I'm saying? And they are here to do it. But many of us were not sensitive. Many of us were not listening. Many of us were not picking the signals. It will be louder now. It will be so loud. So I hope you have God's permission to scatter what needs to be scattered. I hope you do. I'll tell you one funny story. It's okay. We are aligned. We are aligned. We are coming. We are doing well. Just lift, just stretch my hands over these instrumentalists and say, God bless you. God bless you. Touch it very well this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right. We were having 12 hours church, and it was happening every day for about 90 days, 2016. And I noticed there was a particular week. Every week I had a theme, something that God seemed to be doing. This week, I tagged it the week of breakfast. Understand what I mean by breakfast? About three, four persons lost their relationships. And you know what that can do. One of them was a man of God. Was my friend. Child. The Lord bless you. Voices now, lift your voice. I want to see your joy, I want to see your liberty. Open up this atmosphere. to you in the place of this kind of prayers, you should rest assured. Ah, somebody's not getting what I'm saying. Anything that can reach you in this temperature, just rest, just relax and watch what God is doing. Later on, you understand. They have been dating. He did not know that this babe that was going to become pastor's wife was behind the scenes on weed and all manner of addictions. Man of God, he didn't pick it. But he was charging a jackass, a tail, a tear, a dancer, who said there, a kid, a deal, listen, yes, yes, yes. The angel of his anointing, or his calling, or his destiny, the angel of mercy, <laughs> said, I beg. 
will not be nice for this guy to be doing counseling in marriage, encouraging the wife not to smoke. Let him have another body in his life. I know you like the girl so much. You will not know why she will say no to you. She herself will not know why she has said no. She has finished saying the no. She will come back two years after, after God has freed you. And you have moved on and you have been established. And she will be wondering what happened. That alignment will force negative relationships out of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are persons who are currently in your life who are not sincere, who have ulterior motives, who will be pain in the future. As you are declaring these things, the Lord who sees will be removing. And for some of you, you need an addition. You are asking God for a brother, for a sister. You're asking God for a destiny running partner. Watch what will happen after now. Some of them will relocate. They won't know why they feel like relocating to this state. I'm telling you, power will be making things shift so that destiny can happen. Today you have covered 10 years. It's going to happen. Your hands, your hands. Ha, ha. Let's go. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny, the angel of my calling, the angel of my post. All right. I fall in alignment with the angel of my destiny. I hear, I, hear, I, know, I, hear, I know, I do, I, do, I, do, I, do, I, do, I do, I see, I hear, I know, 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 I do, I see, I h
do, I see, I hear, I know, I do, I see, I hear, I know, I do. the voices lift your voice and shout it to him father
call his name. Jesus, I declare. Jesus, I declare. That I love, that I love you. I declare. Father, we mean what we are saying. We just want to make you smile. We want to make you proud. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for redeeming us by the blood. And thank you for energizing us to pay the price. It's you. It starts and ends with you. Father, thank you. Because of you, we are gathered here. We beat all the distractions because you energized us. Thank you for gathering your people from everywhere. From so many states and from many parts of this state. Thank you, Jesus. We know you have never called us to seek you in vain. So we're excited in advance. There will be many healings here tonight. I'm telling you, many healings. Many family members will be healed by proxy. Yes. Thank you for the deliverances in advance. And if you are sure that God is shifting us tonight, I want you to release your joy in advance. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. So do you want do you mind just greeting some three, five persons? Get to know somebody, ask the name. Let's increase the temperature of unity in this atmosphere. Just find out. You have been sitting beside this person since. What's your name? My name is Lawrence Oyo. Chama Jesus. <laughs> Chama fire. God bless you. Hi. Some are in a hurry to finish talking. Break that, that yoke now. Find somebody. Some people have exhausted their fuel has finished already. Ah, ah. You never know. Something can happen, no? Somebody understands what I'm saying. <laughs> you might just fall in alignment. Ah, somebody understands what I'm saying. Maybe the angel made sure the person came this night. Greet somebody. God is good. Mamba kata kista mabara kasha. Tell somebody somewhere, don't sleep this night. Give somebody a strong advice. If there's any night you should not sleep, is this one? Look for somebody whose eyes is already closing. And say, my sister, for the sake of your destiny, go to the bathroom and wash your face. And
Yahushua is shifting. Thank you, my God. Thank you. Voices declare, thank you, my God, my God, thank you, thank you, Savior, Savior, thank you, thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. My God. My God. Hallelujah. So a couple of introductions or introductory items so we can fly from there. You are welcome to Battle Lacks Retreat, Atlanta edition. And the final session of Battle Lacks Retreat. Yes, that reminds me, testimonies. We'll take testimonies. How many of us have testimonies already? Raise your hand, raise your hand. If you have testimonies already, you want to share. I told you, this thing is not, it's not go come. It's na, 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 na. No, it's in our generation that we are always telling people to go as you are going, as you are going. Just one or two times, Jesus did that. If power is available, one of the signs is that you will see many instant things happening. There should be enough happenings in a meeting to fill up testimony time. I don't know if someone's getting what I'm saying. Yeah, and there, there are ministries and ministers like that that I follow. They don't have testimony time because they can't, they can't keep up. I don't know if I get you what I'm saying. Yeah, it's when it's happening one, two, three, you can be forming lists. The whole service will be full of. We are all watching the testimony. It's live. I don't know if I get you what I'm saying. It's not restreamed. It's not restreamed. Uh, it's live. This will just happen now. What happened? That. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. Give him mic. Let him share his testimony. <laughs> oh my God. Some people didn't hear you. They are just like, they are just shouting with you. So share the testimony properly. Praise God. Hey, uh. Wow. I'm going to try to make it short. It's a long testimony. But I'm going to try to make it short. My family and I moved from Nigeria in 2016. And we moved to Germany. And we stayed in Germany. I did my PhD there and all that. And we finished. And we got a permanent residence. and got uh, EU citizenship. Dead to stay in Germany. And then the Lord kind of directed us to move to the U.S. And we didn't really want to come. My wife and I, we didn't have kids then. My wife was just expecting. And then we moved to the U.S. on a fellowship. The fellowship determines that when you're done, you would have to go back to Germany after two years to kind of build that capacity that you've learned. I work at CDC in Atlanta here. And then I kept applying. I finished the fellowship. It finished in a way that it felt as if they were going to send me away. And I felt that this is not my story. The Lord had helped me to have a spirit of excellence. All the projects I did was perfect. But still it felt like they were going to send me away. And then what happened now was that 
I applied for what we call a J1 waiver. Um, Pastor Julian knows what I'm talking about. And I applied for it in June. In fact, Pastor Julian and I applied for it at the same time. And it took three months. They called me back, rejected. Why? Because they said, they, I'm a Nigerian. And they said they don't see me as a Nigerian, that I, I should go back to Germany and get the approval from there. What that means, what that means is that when you want to get a waiver from Germany, you have, to, you have to renounce whatever it is that's there. You can understand. I mean, I won't have a problem renouncing Nigeria because I know. No, I love Nigeria. I'm sorry. What I meant is if I get a waiver through the Nigeria platform, I won't lose my passport. That's what I mean. But in getting it from Germany, I would have to lose it because they don't accept it. And we prayed and we prayed. And then she, um, the, the, the German embassy said, well, we're used to this. So even if you've lost three months, we're used to this. We'll get you a J-1 um, approval so you can send it to the United States uh, Immigration. To cut the long story short, um, (laughs) Julia knew. It was very, very, it was a very long process. But in one month, I got the approval from Germany, sent it to the USCIS, and then the J-1 waiver came in October. And then moving forward, we're supposed to actually leave the country in, uh, in, in four months' time. So, we applied, we applied for the, the two types. EB2 is a national interest waiver. And they said, it's, <laughs> they said that, is, that is what I can apply for. And then I applied for the EB2, and they said it's never going to be ready before I leave the country. And then Pastor Juliet and I were discussing, and I was talking with some of my people that we prayed together. And we said, why don't you try the EB1, sir? The EB1 is the... Is the, the alien of extraordinary ability. And, and they said it's not possible that you don't have enough credits. There are 10 um, checklists. I have, I have only three. <laughs> I have only three and I applied. And the thing is that it's current right now. I just applied last, last week. It's five days, sir. Five days. Five days. When I ask, I shall be given. When it just I came see, now. It just came find. now. Just now. Just now, sir. If I know. Just no. now. No, we just believe now. you. We believe you. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. When I ask, I shall be given. When I ask, I shall be given. When I seek you, I will find. When I seek you, I will find. If I knock, the door will open. If I knock, the door will open. Cause you're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. When I ask, I shall be given. When I ask, I shall be given. When I seek you, I will find. When I seek you, I will find. If I knock, the door will open. If I knock, the door will open. Cause you're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. You're my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. When it comes to receiving. When it comes to receiving, please don't be a man of God. You will not collect anything, no. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You must know God as what? As daddy. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't be like the brother of the prodigal son. Very faithful. Cross all his teeth, dot all his eyes. Does not know how to ask. Tell a neighbor, ask. You shall be given. Jesus gave us the reason. He said, ask that your joy will be full. Now, as he's praying tonight, you will notice that he will have a new energy. When you see a grown man crying like this, you know that this matter was serious. Enter into his joy. Come on. Be truly happy for him. Come on. (laughs) 
God answers prayers. Hallelujah. Now I said something yesterday that we are seeing play out. Once the roadblock is removed, the feedback is what? Instant. I was just saying it right I'm not even finished saying it. That the way power works is that we don't have to wait for Sunday to be taking testimonies. If there is power in this meeting, latest by 5 a.m., people will be giving feedbacks. And it's not just the confirmable ones like you were sick, you had pain, now the pain has gone. Leave that matter. This is, leave those matters. God will heal you, but see, some of you will rather have pain and green card. <laughs> you don't even mind. Like there are some very frustrating things. The thing has refused to shift. Oh, wow. Welcome to the night of breakthroughs. So some of those, if you notice, it was right after a statement that the atmosphere just shifted. Yeah. Anytime you notice that break, I'm teaching as I'm ministering, all right? It's because this is Bachelor's Retreat. So you can go and repeat some of these results. Every time you notice a shift in the atmosphere, be intelligent with it. Quickly, jump in. Did you notice that? He said it was right after, immediately. Can you imagine that? Some of you don't know that things have dropped to your emails. You don't know. Don't start checking phones, all right? Focus. Focus. It's looking strange because you're not used to it. But when you have, when you have grown around this, it's not strange. I watched it in my father's life. I told you this morning, right? I watched it in his life. Morning session, by evening session, everything happening. I watched it. So what do you expect me to reproduce? At least I should start from where it stopped, right? Yeah, that's the power also of... Hmm. As you're raising your children, raise them with the power of God. They're not likely to fall below that bar. Yes. All those interactions, those encounters, will keep reminding them. They can't be asking questions like, is God real? That's, that's not part of, that's not even on the table. God is too real. Because daddy showed me God. Yeah. Mommy showed me God. Every matter in my life, when she knelt down, by the next morning, I woke up with the results. Imagine that kind of mother. That's what you will be to your children. Yeah. A legacy of faith and answer to prayers. God answers prayers. So if you're here with the same matter, tell your neighbor, just relax. Just relax. <laughs> relax now. Relax. Stop frowning your face. Relax. Be, be coming down. Be coming down. Be coming down. Relax. Everything we're doing is intentional. Relax. When we say rejoice, rejoice. All right? Relax. God is doing it. Thank God for all of that. Now imagine the things God is doing inside of you. The more serious things happening in this meeting, many of you will be healed from childhood trauma. Yeah. You'll be able to face people that you hated before. Yeah. Oh, those are great testimonies. Come on, lift your hands. Just bless him one more time. God is good. Thank you. Thank you, my God, my God. Time around, shout it to him. Thank you, my God. My God. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ejane kani mo given se kia kuli rehe sa nazaki. Ale janza kani ma bole finto liere te nuzi ne dizas. E banche kaya kali mele ten senti o dini me zenzo kazdas. Thank you. The power of God is resting on a woman to my right hand side. The cloud of confusion. That cloud of haziness and dryness around your secret place has just been lifted now. My God. One more time, this time recklessly shouting. Thank you. Savior. Savior. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. I want to wipe your tears. I want to make you proud. Jesus, Jesus, my love. I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. I want to bless your heart. God is breaking hardened hearts right now. Come on, declare. Jesus, Come on. Jesus, I want to wipe your tears. I want to make you proud. One more time, declare Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Jesus I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. I To Jesus, please be seated. Child, and Wow, Kyle. After he has answered you, will you still be praying? I want to make you smile. I want to bless your heart. to God. Father, thank you. There are so many testimonies here. We thank you. We thank you for the ones that are also already on the way. We thank you for the healings, the miracles. Thank you for the refreshing of people's souls and spirits. Thank you for the restored prayer lives and altars. Thank you for hunger. Kai. Thank you for hunger. Thank you.
It can be some girl will never die. Yeah. But Shane was saying some things to me in the car as we were coming. <laughs> he kept, I think he has said it three times now. He kept saying that, that Pastor, this thing is not normal. Pastor, this is not normal. Like I said, sometimes, depending on the environment you're coming from, some things will seem normal to you. I'm just expecting, if you're hungry, make the sacrifice. Take leave if you need to take leave. And come and charge. It doesn't seem complicated in my head. But when you look at the system that people are in, and they choose to make this kind of sacrifice, you know that God has blessed you with hunger. Yeah. From whatever state you came from, whatever nation you came from, the Lord will reward this hunger. Yeah. Know your greatest desire. If it's not, it should be. Your greatest desire should be to make Jesus smile. I pray for you, you will have that testimony. That one is not something you can share here now. It's after now. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Vow that all this sacrifice will count in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, ministries have been born already in the last two, three days. Giftings have been activated. Some of you started seeing. Raise your hands. Look at that. Some of you started hearing. Raise your hands. Look at that. We didn't exactly even teach on that. But it's happening. It's happening because God has called you to give that to you. To activate some of those things. Some of you notice that the energy of your prayer has heightened. You notice that? Yeah. It will not die. When you get back to your churches, the Lord will use you to strengthen those churches. The Lord will use you to refresh those pastors. Yeah. Somebody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Come and refresh those churches. And stop complaining that it's not charged. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Play your part. See what you can do. All right? Yeah. Pray for the church. Strengthen your pastor. Pray one hour and send him a message of encouragement. Let him know he's not alone. And you will drive some of those ministers and pastors back to where they were before. Yes. Some of the authors have seen better days. Did somebody hear what I just said? Glory to God. On that note, if you're a minister, pastor in the house, please wave your hands where you are. Please wave your hands. I'm aware that Pastor Tolu Makinde and his wonderful wife are present. If you don't mind, sir, please, your seats are in front. Can we celebrate them as they come? As they are on their way. <laughs> Oceans. <laughs> Please help us. Help us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, there is protocol in the house of God. Sir, please come to your seats in front. Thank you so much, sir. Can we celebrate them? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for loving Jesus. Love me, Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. The team told me the hassle they had in getting the venue for the meeting. I don't know what the reasons the reasons were, but you understand church. And many times when you say um, the pastors are not understanding, they are seeming like. Um, Maybe they are threatening the all us. Many times you don't understand. Now that I'm a pastor, there are some things I understand. So it's a sacrifice. It's a risk. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, to trust 
to trust your facility with a ministry you probably never encountered. It's a risk. Oh. Yes. Ah, it's a risk. It is. But we thank God for the hearts they have for Jesus. For graciously, I've never met him before until right now. For graciously allowing this meeting to hold here. And I hope you've enjoyed your experience so far. It's a very nice church. I had to snap this, this, this background. Very simple. You like it, right? Ha, I thought it's only me. I had to snap it and... I said, what, what are we looking for? What are we stressing ourselves over? So in case you see online, I hope there's no copyright <laughs> on the style. I like it. Very simple. Don't stress my life. I just like it. Hallelujah. And we thank God for Roche and his wonderful Shea and his wonderful family. <laughs> who have helped to make our landing very safe. Praise God. And Pastor Julie, who helped to push this. I'm just hearing about you from everyone, everybody. Hallelujah. God's servant. She was the one who flew back with me from Houston. And please stand so they can, they can see. So she's the inspiration for this venue or for this um, state, this location. As we're coming from Houston on the flight, we sat down, I think it was a layover or something like that. And then she just mentioned, there are people in Atlanta. <laughs> Hallelujah. Maryland! No problem! Hallelujah. Hey, no problem. <laughs> so maybe at this point I should talk about that. No problem. So because the first time I was thinking, once you hit one state, you hit the whole nation. Just enter and go. And that's I, I didn't, it didn't dawn that one state is one country. <laughs> it's now it's dawning on me. <laughs> and you have not hit anywhere. <laughs> so I've been trying to rack my head around how you know, these things can bless as many churches and ministries as possible. And that's where you come in. So some of those places you are thinking, uh, people ask on Facebook, like, when will you come to? Is it me that's going to just decide I want to come to and just come? It's you who is asking. Who will reach out and say that you are able to do something? And then we'll see and be sure you are able to. And then we'll come. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's just how it works. Just walk up to any of the team members and say, we have a structure on ground. We can mobilize this. And the numbers will come in and be blessed. Then we'll work with you and make it happen. It's that simple. All right? And if you follow our ministry online, you know we're not complicated. All right? We are for the church. We are for the unity of the church. And that's why there are some things you will not hear me say ever on any altar. As much as possible, we want to strengthen the churches. We want to be a plus to what God is doing. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't need to feel worried or bothered. All right? This stress, we don't even want it. It's a lot of stress to be creating problems in different states and nations and enemies everywhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? You took my member, you took my, we don't have the energy for this rubbish. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Just love Jesus. Just love Jesus. Your problem will reduce maximally, drastically if you just simply what? Love Jesus. We have not even asked which church you came from. Who cares? Can you just love Jesus? I don't even know where you came from. Where, do you know where your neighbor came from? The whole body of Christ is here and you have not asked. There was the one that believed that if you go to a fire, if you wear this, and the one that believed, you know, everybody is here praying in tongues. Are you getting what I'm saying here? Just love Jesus. Stop stressing us. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All the pastors, God bless you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for honoring. You didn't have to, but you did. Thank you. 
Some of you went the extra mile to invite some of your people. Thank you. Some people came from is it Alabama, you say? It looks like they came. Is it a bus or what? How did you do it? <laughs> That's hunger. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. I see Pastor Dolakwo. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Nice meeting you physically. Your messages have blessed me. Hallelujah. Okay. I think we should take the offerings. It's already 11. Let's take the offerings. If you want to give something. Papa ah, wants to share his testimony. <laughs> oh, yeah, share your testimony. All right, all those who are not filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. I waited till today because I assumed all of you would be around tonight. So if you're around, raise your hands. If you are from the age of four or five, join them. I don't want to see any child looking at me. I'm looking at them. Once you are four or five, join them in the name of Jesus. I went back to church 2014 or 15. They were having teenagers uh, convention. I said, every child here four years and above, come out. Teachers were, he has come again. What is the problem? Allow these people to be children. So, so you want them to finish watching pornography. They will lost and they will now use the next 10 years to be confessing their sins and fighting off addiction. Let them come and receive the baptism now. Let their life begin. Don't say they are too young. It's time. It's time. By age five, about age five or age six, I cast out the first demon. It's time. It's time. They are not too young. It's their bodies that are young. Their spirits are not young. Oh, these guys are very old. <laughs> oh, you don't understand what I say. I taught you this afternoon on experienced spirits, right? Celebrate these guys. <laughs> Give me high five, high five, high five. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How old are you? How old are you? Five. Wow. Are you ready to speak in tongues? Are you ready? Yeah, good. Maybe we'll demonstrate. Maybe we'll, uh, uh, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. I, I take God, beg you. <laughs> the guy is just one. <laughs> he doesn't even know where he's going. <laughs> oh my God. What's your name? <laughs> I don't know if I have faith for this one. Just from, from around age four. All right? Please. That's the one I know. There's nothing God cannot do. Oh, I'm talking about my own God now. <laughs> the one I know is from age four, age five. Once your child is able to have a proper conversation, understand what you're saying, we are good to go. If your child can fight, your child can speak in tongues. <laughs> Let the child come. So all the adults also, please join, 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 please. All those who are not yet speaking in tongues. It's not too late for your destiny. Come. Come. Is this all? You want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues. Please come. Have we cleared the conference room? Is it ready? Ah. Because it's a crowd. Eh? It's a crowd. The overflow. Okay, okay. So it's a crowd. Will it fit in there? 
Okay. Thank you. All right. So, um, we're giving our offerings, right? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to give and for the provision. I'm asking that you please bless the givers, receive these sacrifices. In Jesus' name. Go ahead and if you're doing a transfer, go ahead. If you're doing a physical seat, go ahead. So it's a crowd. I'm going to need um, a couple of ministers to please help us. And some of them will need to be prompted or encouraged to pray in tongues. So if you already, you understand what I'm talking about. You already know how to raise your hand in the karaoke queue. I'll need about five of you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's have as many. So let's have about seven of you. Pastor D, you can do the exegesis. <laughs> so they can understand. It's as simple as ABC, all right? Many of you have even, some of you have spoken before, but you came out so that we can get the original one now. Raise your hand. Are you seeing what I'm saying? <laughs> so, some of you, it's just a problem of not being confident. You're not, you're not sure if what you're saying is rubbish. Don't worry. The, the sharing will help you. Is that all right? So, you can receive. In the next few minutes, you'll be back with your matriculation number. Yes. Bishop Wedebo will say, Tongues! Is your matriculation into the school of power? <laughs> you speak in tongues to go from level to level. So tonight you shall be what? Matriculated. It's a matriculation night. You don't look excited. <laughs> awesome. All right. So please follow. How old is this girl? <laughs> Maybe this girl is moving. <laughs> it's like everybody got arrested as she's on. She's trying to find out what she was arrested for. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure she's she's four? <laughs> anyway, because the way her eyes are looking, it's remaining it small for her to cry. Are they taking me to <laughs> hallelujah? So, ministers, please let's see if they can be back in 15 20 minutes so they can join the meeting. So, I think we'll take testimonies while they are. Your mic is not on, your mic is not on. Okay, um, I was talking to this coach uh, who was trying to help me find a college for basketball. And uh, I didn't hear from him like for a year. And then Wednesday when I came here, as soon as I sat down, um, I started praying. Like a couple of minutes after I started praying, like I started praying in tongues. And my phone was ringing. I was like, let me check. I check it. It was the coach. Wow. And... I was like, nah, I don't have time to talk now. I kept on praying until the first session was over. Now on my way back to uh, our Airbnb, um, I call him, I call him back, and he was like, hey, um, there's this coach. I talked to him about you, and he called me. He he was like, uh, where's that Cameroonian guy again? Like six eight, where he at? He's like, that's why I called you, because he's asking for you. A year. I didn't hear from him. He called wow. Him. Somebody say power. power. I will teach on the power of God now. Hallelujah. And we will engage the power of God tonight. 
Because that's one of the things the power of God does. It causes people to remember. Uh, people will remember tonight. All those God has told to favor you. And they are forgotten. They will get an SMS this night. Uh, while they are sleeping, the angel will appear. How many years does it take you to transfer? <laughs> they will wake up and call you and say, sorry, eh? God told me. I told you my story, right? I finished the prayer two minutes after. They chat me up on Instagram. And they say, God said you should do $15,000 one year ago. So a couple of years back. One year ago, we just got the release now. Two minutes after prayer. It's always instant once the roadblock is removed. For some of you, it might not be in your finances. Whatever it is, the power of God will take away roadblocks tonight. <laughs> All right? People who should reach out, deals that should be everything. I'm telling you, it will start happening. Just believe. Tell your neighbor, can you just believe? <laughs> just believe. Some of you are still asking, is that just like that? That's how my life will just change. How do you want it to change? Do you have another plan? It's just like that. You just come for a meeting and walk out and the story has changed. Amen. If you want that, say amen. amen. Let's hear some other testimonies still of faith in the house. Um, Mr. Remy, please confirm some of them before you know. I go ahead. Okay. Um, so from the beginning of this year, we have, like, my family's finances have been really dry. Like, it was unusually dry. It has been unusually dry. Like, nothing was coming forth in my dad's office. Nothing, nothing was just happening. And it was very bad. So, um, we've been praying all through the year, like, the beginning of this year, for a move of God in our finances and everything. So, when I came on Wednesday night, you kept saying, um, People that you, I've not called you in a while will call, will call you and everything. And you, went, you even mentioned that some people will dream. And I was even praying that because I used to dream a lot. I was praying that ah, maybe I'll even dream of a breakthrough or something for my family. But on Thursday, um, after my classes, I called my parents. So I was just speaking to my parents. I was sitting down. I was even eating Chick-fil-A. And, and I, I was You like, say what? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was not, I just asked my daddy like, your mates were fasting <laughs> you were eating trick filet so I know our strength <laughs> hell <laughs> go ahead go ahead it's not the blood so I, I, and I asked my daddy like my daddy how are you my daddy said I will be fine I'm like, you know, daddy, don't tell me you'll be fine. You are fine in Jesus' name. Me, I gained confidence from this meeting. I said, you'll be fine in Jesus' name. There's nothing wrong. That it's going to get better. During the call, like, my mom was still telling him that, don't say that, though. don't say you'll be fine and everything. I meant to say that, everything will be fine in Jesus' name. That's that one man from nowhere. The last time my daddy saw this man was 2015. This man from nowhere called my daddy. Not a normal call. He called my daddy through messenger. He found my daddy's Facebook page. Why did he call my daddy? He said there's an international job that my daddy did not apply for. He did not do interview. He was not the most qualified. There was somebody that was more qualified than him. The, the person, the, the, the man was telling my daddy that they shortlisted three people. My daddy was number two. And the first person that was on the list has been to five different countries. Funny enough, my daddy has only been to two different countries. And they didn't even see his CV that shows that he has been to two different countries. It was his old CV that they saw. And he has not even traveled that time. So the man has said that he's even surprised that it's my daddy that they picked. That they didn't even pick the first person on the list. And they say, this man said that, my daddy should check his mail that they've sent him a mail. My daddy said, ah, where is all this coming from? He checked his mail and lo and behold, 
There's a mail from them, and they said he should act fast. The man I asked that, okay, when will my daddy be starting? My daddy was like, ah, you should give him time, Ola. May 1 or something. The man said, no, you're starting May April. One. The man said, no, you're coming April, you're coming April. Uh -uh. There's, no, there's no space, there's no space, there's no time to waste time. I fall in alignment. Yeah. <laughs> The man was like, Does he want to foil alignment with the power of his father's house? <laughs> May 1. Uh, he must say May 1. We're in March. He was like, May 1 is too far. He has to start <laughs> April. And funny enough, the country where he's going to, they don't work on Fridays and Saturdays. They come, they only work on Sundays. They take their break from Thursday. And my daddy replied the mail on Thursday night, expecting that they will reply the mail. On Sunday, when they come back to work, they replied today, and they were even thanking my daddy that thank you for accepting our offer. My daddy said that is it not me that is going to be thanking you? <laughs> and these people, wow. the money they will be paying my daddy. Hey! <laughs> Somebody shout power! power! Power is emotion. I told you that things will happen by proxy. Jesus said to that man, ah, I have not seen such great faith. No, not in Israel. That a man will stand and believe that you don't have to touch this person at home. Just send the word. Some of you will send words. Things will happen in Nigeria. Things will happen in different parts of the world. Declare power travels. Tonight, Power is traveling for me. Yeah. You don't need to go to certain places. You can just release the word. Wherever the word is, there's power. Wherever it reaches, what will manifest there is what? Is power. Glory to Jesus. I love these testimonies. Let's have some other, some very hot ones, all right? Um, I don't know if this is really hot, but... Um... <laughs> It's not physical. <laughs> it's not so physical yet. Okay. Because I'm having a physical one. But um, basically, I can't remember how many years ago, I had like, I guess, a dream. I don't know if it was a dream or a vision. But basically, like, God was like, I don't know what he really looked like. But I knew that I was on top, like, wings. And then that's when he was throwing people as axes. I said, I don't really understand what it is. And also, I didn't really believe, I didn't really know what to do with that information. But here, um, after specific things that were said, that's when that dream came back. It and then sense. I began to have a whole bunch of different understandings. So I guess I just wanted to give God glory for that because, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's a hot one. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I want to hear somebody's behind you. Say, give give Roche on the mic. Then she will be next. Then who else? Okay. So I I want to hear stick to physical manifestations, all right? Because of time. I know many people saw vision, including myself. <laughs> we will not leave this place. <laughs> so just the physical, tangible ones that have manifested. So we can stay up faith, all right? So uh, a week ago, the HR, my HR called me, and he was stammering on the phone. Hi, uh, Mr. Adebumi. Well, I'm not meant to be the one to call you, but the boss didn't want to call you because he said you start arguing on the phone. But my wife was sitting in the car, and unfortunately, I put it on speakerphone. And I was like, arguing? I said, just calm down. And, you know, he was like, well, so uh, we're, we're giving you a 5%, 5% bump. I stopped him instantly. I said, what do you mean 5% bomb? It was like, you know, let me speak up the record. That's why my boss didn't want to call you. Because she said you were going to argue this thing at debates. I said, did anyone in the company get any, I mean, tell me the range of the percentage you're even paying everybody. They were like seven to zero. I said, please just send me an email and list everyone that got from five to seven so that we can, we, 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 we can have a debate as to why you're getting seven and I'm getting five. And I said, even this five, I'm upset. And my wife was looking at me like, ah, she will calm down. She will people are losing their job. I, I, I muted it before I said, look, let me do my thing. 
I said, so, so I admitted, I'm like, dude, I'm really upset, right? In fact, you just, you just broke my day. I said, 5%. You're calling me about 5%. And my wife was, I, I, she muted the phone. She was like, ah, you, you need to calm down. You, you should be grateful to God. I, I know what she was saying because, you know, we've had experiences with our friends. But I kept arguing. And yesterday you were talking. You were like, know your worth. I was texting my wife, you see? I know my worth. I know my worth. So this evening, you know, uh, this evening I got a call from my VP. And she was like, hey, she know, how are you? I know you have been very busy. Unfortunately, my wife was there. My wife was like, which busy? He's not busy. I said, you know, yes, I've been really busy. She's like, you know, we heard how, how hard working you guys are working day and night. My wife was replying, which day and night? You know, I, and she said, you know, I just wanted to let you know, we just put another promotion in for you today. So I, I give God all the praise. Just today. Glory to Jesus. So you see what I said earlier also, that breakthrough is a mixture of a number of principles. Prayer is one of them. Fasting is another one. Giving is another one. All right? But actions is another very important one. Make starting strategic moves. As you walk up to that company, tell them, I can work for you guys, I can help you guys make progress for what you're doing. Just leave the rest to the angels. I'm telling you, you are thinking that you're speaking as a young person with no experience. The angels will amplify those words. That's what happened to that, that lady's father. You are thinking you submitted old CV. You don't know what they were reading. Somebody's not getting what I'm saying. Leave the result to God. That's what power will do. Power will multiply. I'll show you the scriptures. Power will multiply your efforts. You'll be doing one thing, they will be seeing four things. They say you are very busy. You are working, you are working tirelessly, day and night. We know you have no time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The next testifier. Go ahead, ma. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last year, I was walking into the gym going to work out, and uh, uh, I had a big knock in my head. And it threw me into the glass of the uh -uh. gym, but my head didn't hit. I braced with my hand, and I kind of stood on the side of the wall until I got my balance and what have you. So since last year, I've been having these little sharp pains. So when I came on Wednesday, I was having the sharp pains in my head. And after the service, it was gone. Glory to Jesus. Till now, gone. Glory to God. You're free, Jesus. Now. Go ahead, next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So um, I've had asthma for like as long as I've been, that I knew that, like I knew yeah. my right from my left. I've always had asthma, using different healers, medications. So, um, and I've been to like a lot of prayer meetings, praying for God, you must take this asthma away from my life. But this um, retreat, it was not even one of my expectations. And then yesterday you were talking, you mentioned asthma three times, and I was just like, God, I claim it in the name of Jesus. So when we went back to our hotel, and um, I was sleeping, and normally when I, when I start to feel it, even if I'm sleeping, I wake up, I have to use my healer. And I was, it was at like 4 a.m. I was about to reach for my healer, but I was like, I sleep, I wake up, I have my miracle. And I, I went back to sleep. I went back to sleep, and by the time I wake up, it was, I was just breathing normally, nothing wrong. Glory to Jesus. I like this testimony because it's very important, Ma. It's very important that you guard the ground you have gained. If he took that inhaler and used it, he has established the former bondage. And you would think God didn't touch him. Just believe the word of God. Dare to believe. Don't be afraid. God will do his part. He will catch you. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? He remember the last statement we declared. I will sleep. Wake up. And the testimony is in my hand. And that's what happened to him. It's gone forever in Jesus' name. I understand that's my 
there's anything I know about some of those sicknesses. Some of them are natural. Asthma usually. Just believe me. I've cast out nothing less than 20 by now. Asthma usually is a demon. Just like cancer. There are some I will give it to you. Medical science explain and all of that. That's all I don't want to hear. Get out. Maybe by now, maybe 50 cases of asthma. I was just ministering and many times you will notice in the meeting it will be triggered. It must have happened to somebody here. In the course of the meeting, in the last two, three days, you suffer asthma. In the meeting, you were triggered. Raise your hand. Look at that. That's how you know it's a demon. Once you enter a strong atmosphere, those things start to react. And the reason it's happening is so that you can get out. You can run. Go back. Go back home. Go and rest. You'll be feeling it. Go and rest. Go and sleep. Go and rest. Why must you rest now? <laughs> Yeah, all of a sudden that discomfort will begin. Some of you experience it on some other parts of your body. That strange pain or discomfort begins once you are in strong atmospheres. Raise your hand. Look at that. So you insist. Once you know that, okay, this thing is trying to distract me from my God engagements. You shut it down. Cast it out. All right? You don't need to see deliverance as vomiting, vomiting all the time. Just command it to leave. Are you getting what I'm saying? It will go. All those drama around the reverse ministry is what's making people to not accept anymore that is demon that is doing you. Just cast it out and you will notice immediately that your body is free. And some other things they came with, you will notice it will live your life too. Yes, you will notice that. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So expect tonight to be free from whatever is afflicting your body. Yeah. Some of you notice that it moves. If you notice that, raise your hand. Your own, the, the thing moves. What part of your body? Huh? Your stomach, it moves. Beautiful. Has it moved in the last one, two, three days? I want somebody to always see present tense. It moves. It will move. I like that. Any other person? It moves. Your shoulder. You understand what I'm talking about? The pain will move. You'll feel it move. I like that. What's your own? <laughs> Chai. Not that you just feel it and feel it. You feel it move. I like that. <laughs> Another one? Any other one? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Please forgive me. I just like... I like problems. <laughs> rise up, those persons. You have those kind of afflicting spirits. Rise up, rise up, rise up. I taught this in church. I told people to do it on their friends. You can do it even now. What's the time? Okay, before people sleep. <laughs> I think we should demonstrate it right now. Some of you have family members like that. You are very sure that person has an afflicting spirit in their body. Rise up. Before they sleep in the house, quickly, please. You are very sure this one is an afflicted spirit. So if I give you the mic, you can prove it, right? What's the proof, man? Weakness in her legs is rotated from one leg to the other that she has to use, like, cane to walk and that has made her like she doesn't move out Beautiful. as she used to. How old is she? Um, she is like 60, 65. 65, okay. But well, it might be old age. Or... No, no, no. She's, she doesn't look that. Okay, all right. That's fine. So, um, one more person, prove it. So, for my brother, um, I was. So, for my brother, my elder brother, I, I was praying at some point and God opened my eyes to generational patterns that every first son in my household they can be nothing in their life and I know for sure that <laughs> when I was two I used to tie my brother's shoe I remember um, all of a sudden he developed asthma from asthma he'd, he would tell him something you forget it the next moment and <laughs> I refused my mom told me oh your brother has I said I refuse 
I came from the right. same. Beautiful, place. beautiful. So, call those persons now. I should have given a teacher before this. But I don't want them to sleep. And then they are difficult to access. If there's anybody you are 100% certain has an afflicted spirit, for want of a better word, a demon. In any part of their bodies, and I've described it, some of them have those experiences when they are in atmospheres like this or when they are reaching high points in prayer. That's how you will know it's an afflicting spirit. Or they have terrible nightmares accompanying you know, all their nights. Terrible kind of nightmares. Terrible nightmares. You can almost see it on their face like Something's wrong with this person. Their joy is gone from the consistency of those nightmares. I'm not just talking about one bad dream. This person is consistently being afflicted. I want you to just call those persons. And what you're doing is simple. Please don't do Weibo style. Are you getting what I'm saying? I need you to be as aggressive as possible. You're dealing with demons now. The violent will take it by force. You tell the person, don't allow the person to think. Tell the person, mama, like the woman, tell her you are in church. Pastor said I should tell you now. Drop your cane and start walking. Are you getting what I'm saying? Immediately. Don't allow her to process it. Immediately. Shut down the doubt. Tell the person victory has come. The way some of you are talking slowly. I don't understand if you understand what I'm saying. You can shout to Pastor. Can they shout? <laughs> Tell the person, please, your hand on your head, left hand on your chest, and then command that devil to leave. Command that sickness, that diabetes. I just saw diabetes right now. Command the stroke. I'm seeing stroke. Command it. I'm seeing somebody like a movement in the person's head. Don't speak in tongues. Use your words. Command it to go. Use your words. Demons don't understand tongues. Now tell the person to check. It's done. Tell the person to check. Tell the person, daddy, mommy, brother, sister, do what you couldn't do before. Ask the person, what were the symptoms? What couldn't you do before? You are healed now. Try and do it. Tell the person. What couldn't you do before? Come on, come on, come on. Something is happening. Somebody has been going through for many years something around your Nassau region. You've just been healed now. Take your next breath, deep breath. You will notice it's gone forever. The blockage is gone. That discomfort is gone. 
Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. I'm seeing some of the lower back pain. I want you to stretch as far as possible. And say, I'm healed. I'm healed. It's gone. It's gone. Look at that. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Look at that. Look at that. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Once you notice the difference, raise your hand. Those persons. Check, 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 check. It's gone. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I want to get feedbacks, please. Feedbacks. Let's get some feedbacks. Feedbacks. Somebody has called. Ask them, how are you feeling now? How is it now? What's happening there? Feedbacks from this prayer. Ask the person. Feedbacks. Many of them should already be experiencing some level of freedom. If it was a demon matter. That's why I asked you to confirm what's happening there. Praise the Lord. Um, I called my sister. She was having um, nosebleeds, headache, throwing up all last week, and it started again this week. As I called her, she started coughing it out. She started coughing out everything out. She started commanding it over herself as well. She said immediately her nose started clearing, and she just continued to cough. In the name of Jesus, it is perfected in Jesus' name. Are you raising your hand, man? Okay. Anybody else? Some feedback. Now, this person standing, where are those that were standing initially? Those who wanted me to pray with them. You used to sense those movements. Those persons are the ones I'm talking to now. Let them be the ones standing, please. All right. Close your eyes. Place your right hand on your head, left hand on your chest. Some of you is already gone, but you're standing because you just want to make sure that it doesn't return. For some of you, it's present tense. Once I mount pressure and you notice that it starts, I want you to raise your hand and drop it. In the name of Jesus. On all these bodies right now, let the fire of God begin to search, 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 search. Search. <sighs> search, 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 search. Every stranger within these bodies right now. I mount pressure. Right now. Let light expose the darkness. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Yes. Just like that. Raise your hand and put it down. Once it starts, raise your hand, put it down. I've seen two now. Once it starts, raise your hand and put it down. I mount pressure. I mount pressure. I mount pressure. Anyone here with a stranger in their bodies, I mount pressure. I mount pressure. I mount pressure. By the count of three, be exposed. One, two, three. I mount pressure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, put your hand on that lady. I mount pressure. Put your hand on that lady. I mount pressure. I mount pressure. In Jesus' name. So if you notice it happen again, raise your hand. Those are the persons I want to pray for now. If you notice it happen again, as I was praying now, you and you, the rest of the people you can sit because some of you, it's already free, you're already free. It's gone already. In the nature, you can feel it right now, right? Beautiful. Can you see feeling now? Oh, it's gone. All right. Huh? Uh, so stand. Can you feel it right now? Yeah. As I said, those persons that are feeling it are the ones I want to pray for now. Do you, are you watching what I'm doing? It's for the sake of those who want to do it after I'm being this practical, all right? When you mount pressure on a person's body, especially when this anointing is active, you will notice that those things that manifest once in a while, every once in a while, to be a distraction to their secret time engagements will start to show up. Are you getting what I'm saying? 
if we had counseling and had opportunity to meet everybody one by one, usually in the, as we join hands, those things, are you getting what I'm saying? Because now there's, so there's radiation, there's conduction, there's convection, depending on the, the amount of power available for work. So I'm intentionally exerting the power of God on the specific individuals so that if there's anything that is hiding, there are still some people when hands are laid on you, something will react. Are you following what I'm saying? I think there was a lady who was sitting somewhere here. Where is she? Somewhere around here. That was manifesting the other day. Last night, I think. That was you, right? So what was the pattern in your life? So you never knew there was a problem? Hmm. They must have been doing something. They cannot just be there. Your dreams must have been showing signs. Something is wrong. Okay, I don't remember my dreams. Okay. And I actually have a testimony. Um, for six years and five months, I've had this severe pain in my back. And I can't even walk for 100 meters without feeling pains. And sometimes when I'm even like doing chores at home, like basic chores like washing dishes or like cooking, the pain is so terrible, I have to sit down. And um, that sometimes when I'm sleeping on the bed and it's so unbearable, I have to sleep on the floor. I actually didn't have any expectations when I was coming. This is actually my first time hearing about uh, Battle Axe Retreat. I was initially following my friend because like for vacation. So I was just going to rest and wow. that was it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I came um, on the first day, I was like, okay, well, I'm here. So I don't know why I'm here. I don't have any expectations, but all I'm saying to God is, well, I know um, nothing happens by mistake, and I know there's a reason that I'm here. So all I was praying to God, I was telling God that um, I just want to have an encounter with you. I just want to experience you. So I just put everything aside. I told myself, I'm just going to focus. I turned off my phone. I said I won't turn it on till I finish the whole retreat. So I prayed. I, I was just praying. So the first night, um, we were praying, and then uh, pastor said there's someone with, like, a pain in the right leg. But in my mind, I'm like, okay, I don't have a pain in my right leg, but I mean, the right leg connects to like, you know, the right side, and that's where I feel the pain the most. So I just tapped into the like, I was praying, I, I was praying. So later that night, I went and like, I was feeling okay. I was like, okay, am I here? Like, you know, because sometimes it just goes and then it comes. So I was like, okay, fine, let me just like, you know, check myself and then I'll see. And then like, the next day I came and I realized like I was moving around like I wasn't like you know sitting down frequently I was like okay and, and everything but in my mind I was like trying to pay attention to see whether the pain was there and then on the second day of the retreat you said that to activate the power of God you have to act in the uh, opposite way that you feel so when we were praying again it was like I was starting to feel the pain I was like no I'm not going to act in the same way that I act because if I start to feel the pain I'm going to sit down and then, like relax but then I'm not going to sit. I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep praying. And then, like, that was it. So when we were praying, like, all of a sudden, like, I just, I just don't know what happened. And I just found myself on the floor. Like, I, I knew I was acting some kind of way, but, like, I just didn't have, like, authority over how I was acting. And, like, I just, I just don't know. I just thank God for, for Give God praise for deliverance. For coming here. So, I'm still interested because of the the amount of audacity and violence with which they were speaking. Something must. There must be some legal grounds. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's leave that. <laughs> Maybe we'll see after, all right? Yeah, because the way they were speaking, those specific persons who are really violent and the demon is really not in the mood, it's usually good to not just leave them. Bye bye. See you in the next battle last retreat because there might be some backlash and warfare, all right? So your mind is prepared to stand your ground. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's. I want somebody to practice now. Somebody wants to practice. Okay, you raise your hand very fast. Good. Ah, you just raise your hand. <laughs> so somebody who wants to practice, I want you to. Put your hand on his chest. Can you see, feel it now, sir? Beautiful. Uh -huh. 
I need you to do it violently. You heard when I said it? The way she's looking at me. Oh, ah, people are dulling me. Ah. You know how to be violent. Has anybody pissed you off before? You remember how you felt? Remember how you spoke? Were you smiling? <laughs> so I need you to deal with that thing now. Command it violently in the name of Jesus. Get out. Forget your environment. Close your eyes and do that. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. You are a prayer warrior. <laughs> she wanted to take us to, to the Holy of Holies. <laughs> so check, sir. Check, sir. Check. Check, check. Tell us how you feel. If you sit there, let us know. <laughs> check. How far? Breathing. Breathe out. It has reduced. It's reduced yeah. huh? it's reduced. Once you notice it has reduced, you already know you are dealing with the what? <laughs> the way I like them. Eh? <laughs> like they would just say, it's okay, it's okay. I will not press you again. <laughs> Once you notice it is it's reducing, you know you are dealing with one. Command it again, all right? You are insisting on perfection. Are you getting what I'm saying? So if you've seen something move from 2% to 6%, that means it will reach 10. It, so, so it will reach 100. Are we together? So insist again. It's going. It's going right now. So thank God. Now thank God for whatever percentage. Sometimes you ask the person, how many percent on a scale of 0 to 10? And then they will tell you. And then you thank God for that percentage of progress. And then establish it fully. Amen! It's okay. Ah. Marry wife that can pray. <laughs> check, 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 check. 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 I don't know if this is a gym workout pain now, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So you came with gym workout pain to come and. <laughs> no, no, come no, and I, this afternoon after the session, um, when I was trying to drive back home, the, it came from here. Hmm. And then I remembered what you said, and I started to speak, and then it moved here. Okay, it yeah. is them, for sure. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, one but day. I can't feel it now. Right now, you can't feel it now. It's gone forever. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. <laughs> You're still standing, right? All right. Where's your own right now? Who wants to practice? Next person. I thought people would be excited to practice. If you don't practice here, where will you practice? You want to practice in Walmart. That's where you want to start. <laughs> it's easier here. <yo. laughs> so, how many more persons are we praying for? Are you also standing for prayer? This a movement you are throwing. Well, beautiful, beautiful. So, somebody catch any of them. Just meet any of them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, catch any of them. <laughs> it's the children I wanted to do this thing, not these uh, like balagbas. <laughs> I wanted the young, young children to, to have the experience. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> eh? I'm not getting you. Oh, she wants a lady. No, I didn't ask you to touch her chest, though. <laughs> hey, <bam you. laughs> there are other places you can touch now. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, what were you thinking? <laughs> you are not afraid. So, what happened to you, sir? So it was like for 100. It was like, it, so I was standing for a bit, so it went up to like 100. I bet, sat, sat back down. And now it was about a 7, 8. It went down to a 2, 3. Wow. Move your legs like this. Thank God for perfection. Move your legs like this. Thank God for perfection. 
Come on, come on, come on. You're free in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. When you pray, check. Don't pray for five minutes when you're dealing with a demon. Just command it to leave. Check. Just do it and check. Believe that you have, you have, your God is hearing you. Command it to leave. Tell the person to check. Simple. All those who have been matriculated, celebrate them. Celebrate them. Wow. You are welcome to the family. Glory to God. Any feedback? It reduce. Continue. Continue. It need to finish. How far? It's it's a bulging bulging stomach pain or bulging. I don't even know what it is. Tumor. Just like I want. Uh, it's it's move like baby. I want to hospital four times X-ray because I want to make sure I feel I have like a baby, but it's not there is not baby. You feel like there is a baby, but it's not, there's no baby there. I shall meet with you. All right? You like to have baby? Would you like it to be baby? Which one do you baby. want? I have a baby. You have a baby? Have you don't want more? Six kids. You have six kids. <laughs> okay, so this one, you want it to go? That's not a baby. That is uh, the reason is I use traditional medicine that after that all my body got sickness my skin hmm. and uh, in my stomach looked like a baby hmm. I went to hospital this one is looking like four Ooh. times I understand don't worry we'll trash it out. I don't want to enter into this so that the meeting will not scatter again so we'll come to those uh, cases later on all right Let's settle down now. Let's join it, please. The power of God. I started it in the afternoon. We didn't, we didn't go far before the staring was taken away. I'm sure we were blessed. <laughs> what is power? The ability to do work. So anything that causes work to be done has power. Is that basic? Is that clear? Next statement, the more power you have, the more work you can do. The more power you have, the more work you can do. The more power is available, the more work can be done. James chapter 5, 16. Shows us, amplified version, that power needs to be made available. And when it's available, it is dynamic in its working. So power is responsible for the lighting system, also responsible for the sound system, also responsible for the cooling and the heating system. Is that correct? It's power that brought you here in your vehicles. Is that correct? Uh, it's power that is powering your phone and your iPad. Is that correct? Yeah. In your body, is power at work? Is power at work? Yeah. yeah. Any kind of work done is sponsored by what? Power. Power. This definition will help us as we build this message. Many times when we think power, the first thing that comes to our mind is healing, deliverance. And people screaming and shouting in the program, right? So we think, ah, I was a powerful minister. Powerful man. So we miss out on the other aspects of power that can be even more vital and important. If he didn't share that testimony, you might not know that power has touched him. Did somebody hear what I just said? You might never know the power has touched him. Because he will come in normally, 
pray normally, go. And you would think it's not one of those that are power touch. But the power touch him. Okay, some people would rather get that than lie down and like hit clean the floor. Are you getting what I'm saying? So don't don't put over emphasis on the spectacular and miss out on the supernatural. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Results is the judge of the exerting of power. If power touches you, something will shift. Yes. We saw it, Luke chapter 8, right? Luke 8, verse 44. Is that correct? Jesus said, Somebody deliberately touched me. Let's move quickly, media, please. Somebody deliberately touched me and he explained. 44. came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garments and immediately the flow of blood ceased. Then verse 5, Jesus is asking, 45, who is it who touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Peter and those who were with him said, Master, the multitude surround you and press you on every side. Then 46, one, two, go. Someone did touch me for I perceived that healing power has gone forth from me. It means once there's deliberate touch and power is exerted, there is going to be a specific result. I said, when I ask people, how was the meeting? And they say, it was great. And I say, how did we know it was great? Ah, it was fine. Why did you say fine? Chai, it was powerful, sir. <laughs> and how? How was it powerful? Kai, sir, mind blowing. <laughs> how was it mind blowing? Kai, sir. We ascended <laughs> to where we're touched. Usually, nothing specific happened. If God touched you, once I was blind, now I see. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yes, and don't cover up for powerlessness. Many times, it's just emotions we are calling power. People just jumping, shouting, ah, energetic service. It's not the same thing as powerful service. People need to be intelligent to recognize power at work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Growing up, I'll tell you frankly, growing up, I didn't enjoy ministers like Pastor Yadiboy. Because it was not my style. It has nothing to do with the anointing. It was just not my style. I felt it was boring to listen to. I just remember faintly, somebody used to watch on TV, an elderly man that used to talk very slowly. That's all I just remember. But over time, I noticed all my fathers in the faith, all those, you know, who, who were strong generals in my territory, were all going every month consistently to go and sit under him. Who is this man? Then later on, I realized, hey, every statement is making. Tremendous power is available. Please bear with me. It's intentional, all right? Uh, sometimes those utterances will break atmospheres. You force it with anger. You open up the atmosphere. I command your eyes to see what I'm saying. Yes. I have a power bias. If you're not charged, I might not listen to you. It doesn't matter what you are saying. Because I don't believe you can truly help me. It's not truly, it's not just about sounding correct. You need to be charged. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. You can know all to say. And people are not becoming what you are saying. Power is important. How can someone listen to you for 15 minutes and forgive someone they have hated for 25 years? What do you think makes that happen? Power. Be saying it. Say power. power. It's power. He said, I will never forgive you. And then you finish speaking for 15 minutes. And the person calls us. Says, I forgive you. You think that's normal? It's power. It's power. It's power. It's power. You have carried that sickness for many years. And in two minutes, the thing falls off you. You can't find it again. What made that happen? It's power. It's power. You get here and you're just saying, you can't. 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 You can
is power. Jesus said, healing power has gone forth from me. Once power leaves you, something will happen in the life of the person you released it into. Something must shift. So I'm always particular about people being open, being still. You hear me say that all the time. Stop speaking in tongues, be still. Because many times you're speaking in tongues, you're distracting yourself from receiving. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Eh? I know we don't know. Many people don't know better. That's why. That's why you're... That's not how to receive. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Learn to receive the anointing. You will know it touched you. Jesus felt it. He felt it. He felt it go out from him. One day, the disciples were describing one of his meetings and he said he was teaching and the power of God was present to heal. You think they were just speaking by faith, spiritual lingua? They felt things with Jesus. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? They felt things. They felt things. Oh my God. The two disciples on their way to a miles. When they finally got to where they were going and Jesus disappeared, they said to themselves, Did our hearts not burn within us while he spoke to us on the way? Our hearts were burning as he was talking. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? These are some of the natural, the natural trackers that these words are anointed. As I'm speaking now, you can measure if these words are anointed or not. You can know the weight of the words on your chest, on your heart. As I'm speaking, you can know. I can be shouting and there's no weight. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I can be speaking calmly and there's a weight following it. Two of you are feeling burnings, heat sensations, cold. As I'm speaking, right? You can sense it. It's the power of God. When you expose yourself to that for one hour, two hours, watch what happens after that. You don't even need to pray. Just lift your hands and bless him for what he has already done. You walk out into miracles. Because power is supposed to be causing work. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so the power of God is ability to do work. When you see so much work being done through a person's message or song or utterances or what have you, you know that something is happening behind the scenes, right? Because there is no fire without, uh, I mean, you say smoke without, without fire. It's impossible. So I did with some, some years ago. Now, as a family after daddy died, you know, we went to him, he was a spiritual father. We went to him to just encourage us and bless the family. <laughs> My God, they know they talk too much. He just encouraged us. He said, don't feel bad. Anybody who has gone there cannot want to come back. Very soon we'll put off this body and we'll all go and rest. He just missed them. Oh, he's happy. I'll so be happy for him. <laughs> it's like nobody has comforted us before. <laughs> we're happy. <laughs> we're just happy. <laughs> it remains more we're happy that daddy died. <laughs> Power! As he finishes, so let's pray. I decree. This affliction will never rise again. And he just spoke some prayers. Let this family enter the next level. Men and brethren, no. <laughs> One month after, somebody said, God said. No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I won't mention the details. Somebody said, God said that I should do a particular amount. I've never seen that in my life. At once, I'm not sure my father ever saw it in his life. By the grace of God, sleep is not a problem in our family. I've told you that earlier, right? For the first time in my destiny, I could not sleep. I don't know how my wife slept. All of a sudden, I started thinking of all the visions God has put in my heart. I was thinking what happened in my late 40s, 50s. I started seeing that it was possible this year. That's when I realized that it's my pocket that was telling me the calendar. Yeah. I hope somebody's hearing what I'm saying. Don't just laugh. Oh. Some of you don't realize it's not God that's telling you when you will marry. It's your account. 
you are thinking you are projecting your internal by 26. Yeah. Mm -mm. You are projected, it's that time I will be settled. What if you shift this month and you are in your comfortable millions in three months' time? Many of you will you just notice that plenty of things you were thinking uh, by the time, by the time, it's your pocket that was telling you. Me too, I didn't know too. There are things talking to you from the subconscious. As we left the house of the man of God, entered the vehicle, application of my younger brother, pam, 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 it happened in minutes. Hey, God. All of us were just laughing. I said, yeah. No long story. Ah, shift, shift. Nothing like that, too. Father, I declare. <laughs> you almost wonder if he's not taking your matter serious. Which one do you want? Drama or results? No. You're sure you want results? No. I was asking, which one do you want? No. Results. So I took note of anybody in my life that seemed to be able to produce results. Make your life easy by exposing yourself to men who are stronger than you. Let them be speaking those utterances. This retreat is supposed to collapse time for you. It's not just the regular prayer and fasting program. So listen to these wisdoms I'm giving. Any man of God, anyone whose utterances you trust has capacity to shift you. Some of you have noticed that your life seems to answer to some of people's utterances. When they say it, it's like, is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Ah, Omo, why are you doing it once a year? Hey, you don't like shift? Are you tired of shifting? Make it as often as possible. I've been praying for many years. I didn't see some kind of shift that I experienced when some men of God used some utterances on me. I mentioned two. One of them, whose name is Apostle Musi Maduga. It's an apostle of prayer. He's a man who went to a nation and opened up the atmosphere and rain. I told you the story, right? Yeah, I remember saying, sharing it. Rain fell after seven years of no rain. The parliament flew him back to come and do Bible study with them. Power. He told the host in 30 minutes, the rain that will fall here, you have never seen it before. They were shocked. They still waited at the venue. He said, take me to the hotel quickly because of time so that he doesn't meet us. <sighs> it's rain. Seven years. 30 minutes. I said, we were here. Let's watch and see the rain. In 30 minutes, the kind of rain that fell, they measured it was like seven years rain. Is that power or is it not power? power. Okay. <laughs> I said he laid hands on a man who was mad, who was disturbing his crusade. As he laid hands on that man, the man fell under the power. All his relatives, home and abroad, connected by blood, they all fell at the same time as he fell. They were calling in the next day. Did it happen to you? Say it happened to you. Same time, same time. All of them fell at the same time. Is that power? Do you think it's power? And so don't blame me if in the airport I saw him. I said, Yay! I got up, forgot my bag where it was. This was 2015. Ran to him. I saw someone that was beside him who was telling him to shoot his bag. Like, like your bag is touching my bag. <laughs> I wanted to say, sir, put, put it on my back, sir. <laughs> I'm a backbacker. <laughs> I had to control myself. I honor these men because those things, you can't carry it without sacrifices. The small that I'm carrying, I know, I know that it did not come cheap. Are you getting what I'm saying? The anointing is not cheap, oh. It's not just prayer and fasting. You will die. Unless a corner of it falls to the ground and that buys alone. Some dimensions. You will die. You will die to the flesh. You will die to money. Die to influence. Die to all these things. People are looking for it. You are running from it. It's not cheap. 
So when you see the hand of God strong like that on a person's life, what I'm seeing is somebody on the altar sacrifices. You can't begin to imagine the number of videos. How many times a year he gets to eat. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? So I quickly went to him and I said, sir, my name is Lawrence Oyo. He said, Oyo, I know your mother. I saw your mother in Maryland the other day at the airport. So thank you so much, sir. My name is Lawrence Oyo. <laughs> That we will not have a family, a family meeting or conversation. My own name is Lawrence or you, Daddy, please. I still that. Ah, it's been over that. We thank God, sir. My name, sir, is Lawrence or you. Because if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. What if you receive him in the name of a boyfriend? Huh? What did you receive? Probably in the name of a daddy. I received daddy's reward. All right? Yeah, and I wanted him to see me not as my friend's son, but as a hungry vessel ready to swallow. <laughs> Help my life, sir. So I will not be sending greetings back home. When you get home, greet them for me. Come, come, come. You're a copper, right? Take this 20,000. No, sir. That's not why I came. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? I want to contact something. So I brought out my seed. I sold my seed. And then I said, sir, please pray for me. I was expecting, of course, intentional prayer, but no more. Or more. He took it <laughs> to the next level. He said, blessed be God of Dr. G. F. O. who has taught his children to put a sacrifice on every altar they encounter. I said, ah, who fair change them for me? <laughs> it be like say he wants to change it for me. Ah, the whole trance, that's when he started the prayer. I can never forget it. He said, and I decree that the Lord will give you your sure place in this nation Amen. and your own sure place on the earth. It's later I understood that prayer. We're not going to that. The next week, people were reaching out. I had my songs in, uh, what do you call that in? Techno Phantom part. Just imagine you record song with guitar and voice with this iPad now. Now put it online. Everywhere, they were calling from everywhere. I had your song, he blessed me. I had your song, he blessed me. Where has the song been all this while? So I knew those utterances gave me a place in the spirit. I don't know how to describe this. It's when you have place, you can expand the place. And some of those utterances that are keeping things, in, they are like structures. Those utterances are like structures of defense. Nothing in this life can shift what is going on. It was given. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes. By men whose words are amen. One prophet in the U.S. reached out to us and was prophesying to my brother. He didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't me he was talking to. He was talking to my brother. But he now said, I'm seeing you twice, twice. The guy was even confused. Like, why am I seeing you twice? Two. I'm seeing two. Oh my God, what's going on? So my brother quickly, <laughs> quickly help his prophetic. He said, I'm, I'm in twin. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the guy was, ah, two. is he his angel? Is ah, two. Ah, what's going on? They're talking about the second one too. <laughs> Baba was confused. He said, I'm a twin. Oh, okay. Oh my God. So he now began to prophesy about me. He said, The two of you have words. Watch, watch, watch. Catch it. The two of you have words spoken over you by men whose words are amen. I will never forget those statements. Amen. That thing they said. It must come to pass. It means if it does not come to pass in your life, you must burn child that we come and do it. Ah, you didn't hear what I just said. That's how much that's how much established the utterances are. So that means inside it itself is preservation. Can, did somebody hear what I just said? Until you have fulfilled it, you can't die.
I'm saying God invest these treasures in men as they pay the price. As you encounter such men, they can shift you. I'm telling you, they can shift you. Are you hear what I'm saying? We are equal in redemption. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> but our words don't count the same way. For many reasons. One of them is light. Consciousness. Alright? You can have so much. Like we all have treasures inside of us. But to the degree that you are aware. That you manifest. Is that correct? Yeah. One more example. Went to greet this man of God. To invite him. To do something like sharing with youths. We know him as one of the last living patriarchs, legends of the Aladura movement, CAC. They call him the angel of CAC, <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's here that you shake pastor like this. How are you? How are you, man of God? Good? Man of God. God bless you, man of God. In Nigeria. You lie down. Not... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They call him the angel. Ah, ah. <laughs> when I heard the sacrifices he made, I understood that he's an angel. <laughs> he fasted for 17 years. Breaking with Gary and Coconut. You know what Gary is? <laughs> what do you call it here? Cassava flakes? <laughs> Cassava flakes. Break <laughs> Breaking with what? Cassava flakes and coconut. With strawberries. With strawberries. <laughs> Imagine eating that for 17 years. How many of you would like to start that today? So since I cannot start it, I cannot even do it for three months. What do you do? Why not enter into the arrest? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Why do you just want your life to be hard? Stand on their shoulders. My father always told me, stand on our shoulders and touch what I couldn't touch. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Paul is yours. Apollos is yours maximize these gifts of God. That's why the last thing anyone should be doing is speaking ill of them. You don't even know what you are doing. Don't even join the conversation for your destiny's sake. Nobody said they are perfect, but be smart enough to avoid the conversation. Don't you love your destiny? Look through the scriptures. We are not dealing with God, we are dealing with angels. You think it was God that put leprosy on, on Miriam? Systems are in place that keep these men and what they are doing. When you fight those structures, you can get feedbacks. I am telling you, you can get feedbacks. We don't have time tonight. <laughs> we want to pray. Men ought always to pray, all right? We have been talking since. We stand to, we stand to pray tonight. 12 hours prayer, church. Well, I hope you are blessed. Where was I? So we went to meet the angel. <laughs> I was serious. We brought out our seat to sow. He said, Kule. Kule means kneel down. So we knelt down. I have never seen that kind of prayer before. Don't say in the name of Jesus. No, no long story. It was Orojade Asheteli. <laughs> That is, he just said it. I've never seen that before. He just said it. Once he said it, it's done. He said, you, speak it to me now. You'll be very popular. Many youths will follow you. I see them. Plenty everywhere. They'll follow you. Be very anointed. Watch out for this. Watch out for this. That was it. You. And he kept talking. You were three. That month, it started. Today, it has not stopped. 
Before this time, I've been chatting. But the grace of God, I can pray. <laughs> but where you are starting your prayer? <laughs> They will make life easy for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I said all this to say, how do you measure that a person is a house of power? Check the results. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how I know. There was no symbol in the office. Let's take this song. Blessed be the Lord God. Louder, clarity. Louder, 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 almighty. <laughs> no drama, nothing. Just sitting there, he didn't stand up, he didn't put his hand on us. You. This, 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 this. Bam. You can take it to the bank. It's only later I realized that some of our fathers, I won't mention names, have gone there too, and that was where they got certain dimensions. I said, okay. Okay. One other man of God, just last year, February, so he said it to his life. He prayed for me passionately. The next morning, I saw a dimension in the miracles I've never seen in my life. And the ease with which it happened is what shocked me. I took note again. Are you getting what I'm saying? There's something called prophetic journaling. Take note. Whose utterances do you board under? I'm not, there's the dimension of you are, you are very excited when you're hearing that man of God. You just, you feel those people, right? There are people like that, right? That you just feel a special connection to. And it can change depending on your season sometimes. Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but there are certain persons whose utterances consistently shift you. Take note and make it consistent. Stop doing it when you have time, when you feel like as constantly as possible. And when you speak to them, speak to their depths. Speak to their depths means stop talking casually. Speak to their depths. Tell them what they represent and why you are there. I forgot to mention what I told God's servant. I was most him. Because I noticed that, like I said, he was talking to me as my colleague's son, right? So almost like family, family friend. My young boy, how are you? You know? And that's beautiful. But right now, I believe that you have something for my destiny. I don't want you to speak to me from uncle or fellow men. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I need to talk to me from that seat that you're sitting on. And so I said, because he said, I, I should be the one giving you. I thought he said you're a copper. And I said, ah, daddy, it was not Melchizedek that gave to Abraham. It was Abraham that gave to Melchizedek. I believe that's what provoked him. He understood. And I'm honoring that dimension upon his life. Then he made those utterances. Are you getting what I'm talking about? And so when you meet them, because I'm going to declare it, it's going to happen. God will cause you to stumble. And some of them are not necessarily on flyers, so don't be deceived. It's not about being popular. I've told you the trackers already. Are you getting what I'm saying? Eh. Some of the names I've mentioned, you don't know them. The ones you know are the ones that don't even have anything. They are just very loud. They can just make noise. They will not let us rest. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> These ones don't even know the road to Facebook. If you give them phone. My daughter opened the Facebook for me. They don't have the energy to be posting video of what's happening. So you don't know them. Are you following what I'm saying? We have mastered media and we mastered our delivery. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are the ones that we believe. <laughs> Chai, somebody following what I'm saying? There are some old women, intercessors in this Atlanta that you might never hear of anywhere. But that woman has a treasure. She can shift your destiny. I decree. Let there be an alignment with these persons in the name of Jesus. Individuals that will bring you into rest in the body of Christ right now. I command your feet to meet them. Amen. Say the amen like thunder. Amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Amen. Shout 
Rudi email I told her. Glory to Jesus. It is done. So take note, the power of God causes things to happen. Motion. Activities to take place. Anyone whose utterances causes that is charged. Simple. No matter whatever drama they are manifesting in the meeting, if there is no shift after, that way you are able to You are able to relate the way you should relate with certain meetings. You can know the measure. You can know what amount of value or honor you should place on a meeting because sometimes you need to even do your research. What has this anointing produced? So you can prepare your mind. Are you, are you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine you came here and you came here because you listened to my daddy, my daddy. And you have, oh, he's the one coming? Oh, I'll be there. I'll be there. So that's why you came. You are my daddy, daddy, daddy. Your baby is singing. You better leave. It's not late. <laughs> so your research can affect you too. Are you getting what I'm saying? Or you came here so we can do a stage drama because you saw me on Abattoir. Oh, the actor? Oh my God! He's coming. So it's good sometimes to have some background information to prepare your mind. We're going to see Bishop Edipo. And from Thursday, Friday, we're going to see him on Tuesday. I started meditating. When he prays for me, my life will change. I was tying everything to the utterance. And I was careful too, just in case he does not even have time to pray. I say, once I see him, my life has changed. Remember what the woman said? She said, if I can what? Touch. That itself is a great thing, but it can be a challenge. It means if the protocol was too strong and she could not touch the hem of his garment, she would never be healed. That's what's happening to many believers. They don't believe that their lives have changed because they did not fall. If I... Eh, but in way, I've caught you. <laughs> if I can fall and they can carry me like this in the program, my life will change. So you have been waiting for it. I'm blessed, but I'm, I'm still sitting. I'm, I'm, that's a challenge. When will God touch me? He has been touching you. Are you getting what I'm sharing now? That's why I'm teaching on the power of God. I know you want to fall. Me too, I want to. Believe me. In this meeting. Who will carry me? Uh, Brochure, is it not still around? They will carry me. It's my hunger too. It's my hunger too. I'm serious. I'm really serious. In case you have no any man of God. <laughs> Before I leave Atlanta, sharp, sharp, I'll go, I'll sit down. Sit down. <laughs> In the dream, I told myself, boy, release charges. Finish me. Finish. <laughs> as far back as 2015. So I'm telling you, I love the power of God. But I noticed God was not working with me in that way. I sense the power, I sense and all of that, but I don't necessarily... Eh, can be frustrating. <laughs> I went for one program with Randy Clark, and this man is known for this thing. Jesus. He called him a fire starter, European catalyst. He will finish ministering like this. He will leave... Go and open 100 churches. What kind of anointing is that? It will break the atmosphere. You will leave. Go and, go and raise 20 deaf, uh, twenty crutches. 50 deaf years. He activated people like Heidi Baker. And so, yes. Terrible human being. He came to Nigeria a couple of times. I went there. My only desire. Let them wheel me out, Father. <laughs> Not fall down. Let them wheel me out. And you know where desire came from? It came from Heidi Baker's experience in this meeting. She came in with her two legs. They wheeled her for the remaining days of the program. Yes. I said, Father, does she have two heads? <laughs> All these years I've been working. Where have I walked to in destiny? <laughs> Let them carry me. I'm telling you that was my desire. <laughs> 
And that anointing came on me, but I didn't, they didn't carry me. As I left the meeting, I got back to Ibadan. I will never forget. The teenagers were on 12 hours every day for two weeks. As I got back to the meeting, finished ministering, one of them was paralyzed under the power. It was my nephew from the UK, or cousin, sorry. Young guy. And so, I was wondering why he didn't stand up and go. They've carried some others, but his own was just, was just lying down there. So I said, ah, stand up, now go to the hostel. See, Pastor Lawrence? I said, <laughs> I said, yes. Can you believe I can only move my head right now? <laughs> <laughs> Power! <laughs> So, I said, like, only your, only your head is moving. He said, yeah, and he was smiling, happy. <laughs> Kai. So I told him to carry him, the carry leather, and took him to his room. And he was happy. Children, if it's adults, we just, yeah, yeah, help me. Jesus, what's happening to me? Who brought me to this program? <laughs> Everything is demon, demon, demon. They have reached me all. They have met me here. <laughs> Why is my leg not moving? Why is my leg not moving? Calm down. Some of you probably experienced it in the meeting, right? You felt a sudden freeze of your body. Raise your hand. It happened to you. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. How did you feel? Huh? No, I mean you, say you felt your body stiff. You couldn't move a part of your body. Huh? <laughs> Amazing. What happened to you? Who oh, should raise the hand now? No, I'm saying that your body became numb. You couldn't move a part of your body in the course of these meetings. The first session we had the first session we had today, after I laid on the floor and came back here, I was just stiff. Only thing that I could feel was just my mind. And at a point I was like, ah. Is this paralysis? <laughs> <laughs> because, Father, I don't have health insurance. So. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the fear? Who else? You understand what I'm talking about? Who has experienced it? Look at him. Give him the mic. Um, whenever I'm in the midst and the power of God is strong, I just, my left leg just got knocks out. I'll just be standing, but... You <laughs> Okay, so anyone else just shouted from there because of time. Same for me, though. like him. You know, like the static thing when you hit your elbow somewhere, it just like that. My left leg, okay. my fingers. Uh -huh. So I'm here, I'm saying I'm allowing you to talk so that some other people can be like, okay, okay. So it's not only me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. okay, God, no problem. It's all right. Because some people shut down those encounters because of fear. They're wondering, and fear short circuits the power of God. Write it. Fear short circuits the power of God. Fear short circuits the power of God. That's why the angels will always start by saying what? Fear not. The moment you're afraid, you can shut down the encounters. Some of you have jacked out of encounters because of fear. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Ah, ah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> like I say, wait, 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 wait. My God, I'll never forget what happened to me. Final year. I've been shouting, Jesus, come, oh, come your strength, come your power, come, your, come, 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 come. Finally, I ran out of the room. Put on the light. Jesus, Jesus, stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh -uh. You said in your word, I stand at the door and knock. Just don't badge in on me like that. The fear that rushed into my soul. I felt him like he was on my bed. I jumped up. Jesus, Jesus, stop it, stop it. I can never forget. That was a little bit of what those saints experienced. You see why they quickly tell, relax, fear not, fear not. Before you use something and stone, <laughs> stone the angel. Hey, get out. <laughs> Feared. Ha. Ah. So they come sometimes as human beings. Normal steps down the glory so that you can talk to them. You won't even know you're talking to an angel until they've left. The Bible says some have entertained angels on our ways. The angel came and left. Did not even say I'm an angel. Has gone. Is somebody following what I'm talking about? So let's come back to the power of God.
So it's in places like that I receive some of those things. I'll tell you, I'll just share one more. These things I'm saying are creating the same experiences in the spirit. I'm seeding your heart for the same experiences, all right? You'll start seeing it in your lives, in your ministries. Just know it's normal. It's okay, it's normal. Are you not tired of normal, normal, normal things? It's okay. It's okay to not be able to move. It's all right. Where are you moving to? <laughs> relax. It will eventually lift, right? So relax. This lady was to travel to the UK. She was in Port Harcourt. And then we saw, we prayed. As we finished the prayer, her hand started from the hand. So she couldn't move her hands like this. So she used the other hand to continue the packing. And all of that. She thought in 30 minutes, it will wear out. Or more, it became her whole arm. It is how she was moving. With her box. By the time she got to the UK, <laughs> it was about half of her body. She was now limping. Her sister said, are you sure you're all right? She said, I'm good, I'm good. I know how it started. <laughs> you're sure you're good? I said, I'm good. We left Nigeria walking. You are limping. Are you sure? I said, I'm good. We passed through immigration, got to the house. I just got a text on WhatsApp. Her saying, uh, Pastor Lawrence, how long is the impartation supposed to last for? <laughs> As though I know the, the expiry dates or whatever I'm releasing. So I said, which impartation? I didn't know. I was natural discovery it's telling me everything that happened. I didn't know. I said, which impartation are you talking about? So like the prayer you prayed for me, like when is it supposed to? <laughs> I said, what's happening? He says, I'm talking to you right now. Only my fingers are moving. That's what I'm using to text you. Our entire body was shut down. She was chatting. When is this a partition <laughs> supposed to cook? I said, ah, I, I will pray for you. It needs to stop now. <laughs> so it can be that weird, but you're open to it, right? Yes. So I went to the class meeting desiring that's what's going to happen to me. And though it didn't happen to me, you know, but I noticed that it started following me after that. So I'm saying that to say whether that's your experience or not, I can relate. What's important is the result. Are you getting what I'm saying? And be more focused on the result, the change that has happened and the fruits that you are bearing, not the drama and the spectacular around it. Are you following what I'm saying now? All right, back to the teaching. The power of God. I said in the afternoon, an object will keep moving on a straight line until it is acted upon. Is that correct? By an opposite force. That means devil will never be tired of afflicting a person. There's no point till he will come to and he will tell his demons, ah, okay, I think we've tried. We've afflicted three generations. Um, okay, let's do at random a lottery. Okay, so let her go. It's okay. He has tried. Let him go. We wasted his life. Let him go. They will waste you till you die. They are not tired. You are the one who has to insist that what Christ has done on the cross must manifest in my life. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? There's no point where the sickness will just feel like I think I've tried. It's 23 years now. Let me just go. Nothing like that. He will continue to afflict. He's a lawbreaker. He knows what Christ has done for you. But if you are ignorant, he will continue to cheat you and cheat you till the very end. So you must stop him on his tracks and that's what you are going to do tonight. Even as we generate power for destiny, a point will come are going to exert the power of God to decrees and violent prayers and things are going to break up. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Every shift is a product of power. Please write it. 
Nobody shifts mistakenly. Every sudden breakthrough is a product of power. Simple statements, but very true. And you must realize it. Stop expecting things to just happen suddenly. Power needs to be exerted. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. You want to tell me that that man of God's experience was a coincidence? Eh? And everybody's experience was a coincidence. I told the volunteers the first night in Port Harcourt this year, how many jobs? Who remembers? 15 jobs in three days. How many jobs? 15. Is that a coincidence? Come on. It's power that was exerted. People began to get jobs. Some from outside the country. Some grants to the tune of $5,000. You know what that means in the Nigerian economy? Young people, students, they've written some of these grants or these applications years before. As they were praying, the power of God was breaking the limitations. Many times you are doing something for the first time that's never been done in your family. You might notice those resistance. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Eh, that's why you make power available. You stay, you tell the devil, I will do it. I'll be the first to do it. I'll do it. I will cross all boundaries. So shift is a product of power. Increase is a product of power. Breakthrough is a product of power. Your ground does not increase without the exerting of what? Power. Warfare. Warfare precedes those things. I think I said it yesterday that no nation just increases boundary because they went and signed a contract with another nation. That give us more land. We want our map to look. It's not looking very fine. So give us this side so that our map can, can be smooth like this. So give us out of your land. Say, oh, okay, okay, it makes sense, it makes sense. So our own can be like this, your own is like this. Then they sign contract, take the land, it's now yours. Is that how people get lands? Everywhere you see increase in territory, what goes before it? Warfare. Somebody say warfare. warfare. Eh, better see bloodshed. Eh. If you're insisting, that your life is going to have a new quality of experience, then it means you are ready for warfare. Is that correct? All right. Next statement, the power of God can touch the three dimensions of you as a man. Man is tripartite, spirit, soul, and body. And the power of God can impact on those parts of you. Are we together? Mm. The one we are familiar with is spirit and, and body. But the power of God can impact on your soul. And that's what I want you to please pay attention to tonight. This will help you in your stretch journeys. You know how to track when there's power in a meeting and when the atmosphere has shifted. You can know from what is happening within your soul. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Just follow, you understand. In your soul, you have your will, intellect, and what? The emotions. Is that correct? That's why usually when the power of God hits, many people start to experience those holy emotions. In your times of prayer, you just notice that you are laughing. There's a joy. Is somebody following what I'm saying? There's a joy. You can't explain it. Or you're just in tears, crying. That's the power of God impacting your emotions. Some of you prophetic intercessors, as you pray for people, as you, you know, pray, you can literally come into certain emotions. Kenny can say sometimes you will pray and you will feel like the person who is lost, like, like the sinner. You feel what it means to be lost. As if you are damned. And it will aid you. You will pray. And those are powerful prayers. I told you the fact that you are praying does not necessarily mean that great power is being generated. James 5, don't forget. 
the earnest, and earnest is interpreted as what? Heartfelt continued. That's what we're about to practice tonight. It needs to be what? Heartfelt. So when the power of God moves on you, a person who is truly, truly praying, it's not surprising to find them crying sometimes. Forget all these things your generation is doing. You are not spiritually mature when you are pocketing your hand and you are pocketing, pocketing and you are speaking in the mouth. Oh, that's it. That's it. Atlanta is mine. Yeah. I take it. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on the US. Yes. I'm in the White House. <laughs> covering everywhere yeah mm. in the place of prayer deep groanings like your savior did people like father nash went ahead of people like Chad jiffini to make tremendous power available just one man he will pray for two weeks before the crusade happens somebody saw him praying and the person got saved person was hearing the noise from the bush. Roaring prayer. The person was coming, coming, and knelt down, started crying, gave his life to Christ. What kind of prayer is that? Ha! Ah. No wonder the crusades were that powerful. Some of the historians say that after Apostle Paul, Chazifini was the one with the highest record of believers who did not, who stayed saved as his way. Alright? It's not as if you are gaining and losing your salvation. But people who <laughs> so was God saved like eight times, ten times. But people who remained, who continued until they died, many of them without any discipleship. Yes. Because of the depth of work that was done in them. I believe very strongly, this is me now, you can't say that souls are being saved if prayer did not go before it. It's in prayer that you bring forth. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? Yeah. Even after they have been born, how was Paul discipling them? Come on, come on, come on, come. Do you remember? Until Christ is formed in you. He was traveling again. That's the kind of prayer that causes transformation in people's lives. Pray heartfelt. Pray heartfelt. When it's time to pray tonight, pray what? Heartfelt. Pray heartfelt. I have asked questions. That's what led to many of the practices that we practice even back home in Nigeria. I kept looking at the nose marks I saw in the garage. I didn't tell you, but I wanted to tell you that we need nose marks. I'm sure you're wondering what we need it for. But well, it's too late now. This is the last session. Back home, everybody will cover their eyes. Uh, so that you can focus. Is that serious? That even when you open your eyes, what you see is blackness. You close it again. Continue praying. Your greatest problem is distraction, not Satan. I'm telling you! This is the greatest enemy of the church and the depth that our fathers knew. Is distraction. All this our our revelation is is keeping us away from certain depths. I know God is everywhere, but oh God, shut the door. That's what Jesus said. Shut the door and pray in secret. There's something about that undistracted prayer. It's not about hiding as you're praying. It's about the fact that there is no distraction in secret. Are, are you getting what I'm talking about? There is the kind of results that you command in those kind of prayers. Focus intentionally. Some of us cannot speak in tongues without looking around. Arranging chairs as we pray. You can't see you are restless. You are restless because you are not used to it. You are always doing something. Counting the lights. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. A la roche. Yeah, 48 lights. Eh? No wonder it's bright. My church can use it. <laughs> you have gone home. You have come back. You have reached Nigeria everywhere as you are praying. 
You're wondering, it's not heartfelt. Can you be praying heartfelt prayer and be thinking of lights? Because I was frustrated. And as a person who wants people to have results, if you don't have results, the next time we call for battle last retreat, you will not come. It's for your sake. God answers prayer. It's because we don't do it the right way. There's a protocol for seeking and finding. Do it the right way, you get results. I was born in church, oh, born and raised, raised, raised in church. So I understand all the church, whatever. I know why people don't encounter God. This thing is not hard. We are not following the rules. He that comes to God, Hebrews eleven six, must believe that he is. Every time you are coming, come like God is truly here and you will see what will happen. Seek him like that this night. So number one, he is. Number two, he is a rewarder. It means I can't pray and something will not happen. It's impossible. He's a rewarder of those that what? Diligently seek. Glory to Jesus. So it impacts on your soul. And we say your soul is what? Will, intellect, and what? Emotions. So we understand the emotions part, right? And so that's why I don't agree with ministers who say that your emotions are not involved and stop it. If I see it in my Bible, nothing you can say about it. All right? I'm not saying it's priority, but the power of God is touching you. Sometimes, the proof is that it will impact on your what? On your emotions. Yes. Yes. It is very true. In fact, it will stir up your emotions. When those things happen in the meeting, I quickly jump in. It will stir up. You know, anger is a scalar quantity, right? A scalar quantity means that it's, it is not evil. It's not bad. It is the object that makes it evil. Are you getting what I'm saying? It has no direction. Science students. Are you with me? I'm not a science student, but <laughs> so it becomes a vector quantity when it has direction. Is that correct? So it means if I'm angry at the devil, am I sinning? No. What if I'm angry at God? Am I sinning? Yes. Uh -huh. So there's no problem with the anger. Even money, no problem with money. <laughs> it's the direction that makes it a problem, or the owner. All right. So as the power of God stirs you up, you can suddenly feel stirred up to release judgment like it happened to Paul. What woman was walking behind them, prophesying, prophesying, prophesying. These are the men. I mean, it went on for days. One day he was stirred up. Come out of her, you foul devil. So it happens like that. One lady was speaking to the counselor and talking about somebody who had the guts to be saying to her father, that or saying to them that she's the one using the father's head and that she will finish the father rubbish him drain him and then dump him ah, that do you know her do you know who she is as she was speaking I began to feel that staring is the anger and the jealousy of God you can feel it. When you see devil messing with one of his sheep, you can feel it. It happened to David. He grabbed and that lion did not understand. Ah, ah. What did I bite? What did I experience? <laughs> like, normally I will know it. <laughs> no, normal, normal. You want lion to die. I just say, let me just bite the leg. The next thing, boah, yay! Who off light? David was stirred up. Beat that thing. Like, is, it, is it me that beat it like this? Now lie on a bio. David, be, supernatural strength. Stirred up. You see those things, you know. Elijah was stirred up like that by power. If I be a man of God, let fire come down, consume you at your 50. Some examples I want to give. If we hit those points tonight, it will be good. Though. Yes. Uh, it will be very good. Though. Things will happen even in different countries where your relatives are. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Uh, 
you know, we partner with angels for this work that we are doing on the earth. So I feel very strongly, many of them as they're trying to make those activities happen, as they flap their wings, you begin to sense those emotions and you partner with them and strange things will happen in the territory. I was in Benin Republic and I began to feel that anger. You God wanted to judge something. They say it's the second most idolatrous nation in the world. And we got some feedbacks after one of the nights. Ah, they fired my wife, Arrow. Ah, she woke up from the dream where they hit her eyes. She woke up with the pain physically. It would have developed into a story. Thank God she knows what to do with that. Put her hand on her eyes and declared, the devil is nothing. Go back to sender. Lay back and slept. Woke up without it. But like I told you, I like to fight what? Death. Eh, you touch my wife. I will touch you. Touch your house. Touch everybody so that you can register. Don't do it again. So I waited till the next night. After we have charged. <laughs> As everybody declare, we beseech the nation now. We beseech the nation now. <laughs> Angels. We release words, release words, release decrease by the next week. A couple of persons slept and rested. So they sent me the message. Because after the first night of, of, of the meeting, people from the government came to the venue and were moving around the venue, checking the venue. Ah, they came and told me the hotel. People came, escorts came and were looking at the venue of the program. What do you think happened? One of the, I like that. They got the feedback. That, ah, problem deal. Where is the problem? In this primary school. Very tattered, very normal. Like, what are all of them coming here to come and do? They wanted the meeting not to hold. But that's why we were born, right? Yes, eh? You like war? You see like war? Yes, sir. You see like fight? Yes, sir. Eh. One of us must feel the heat. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Yeah. Don't enter and come out of places. No, prime, no proof that you entered. Don't be like that. Shake things up. Register your name in the spirit. Is somebody following what I'm talking about? See the old man that said, this small boy, you have come here again. <laughs> so it means we have met somewhere before. Oh my God. The second part of your soul that the power of God will touch is your will. I like this one. It's your will. God's power can impact your will. Don't forget what I said. Power is the ability to do. Wow. How do I know this? Philippians 2 13. Together, one, two, go. It is God that what? So it means you don't just become willing. Once you become willing, you just feel like you should go on two weeks fasting and prayer. You know yourself normally. One day is a miracle for you. Now you want to go on two weeks. Guess what happened to you? The power of God impacted your will. That's not you anymore. Somebody following what I'm saying? Declare, Father, by your power, touch my will. Energize my desires. Relax, just relax. It's going to happen. Hey, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this kind of thing. Relax. Don't disqualify yourself. Six months from now, it will shock you what you are desiring. Yes. Yes. Some say, I don't think I'm the, I'm the, I'm, I'm the prayer prayer type. And you are here. <laughs> you are funny. They have marked your face already. <laughs> you are on the name of... <laughs> Live here first. You'll see what has happened to you. You are the prayer prayer type. Tell your neighbor you are the prayer prayer type. So you're already wondering, they didn't tell me it was like this. I congratulate the person that, that deceived you. <laughs> but she told me it was a concert. Yes, it is. Have you, have you not been singing? Have you not been singing? We'll see sing some more, don't worry. Hallelujah. 
it will impact on your will, on your will. Some of you they couldn't forgive you. It's easy to forgive. It's the power of God. You love people. God bless me with that. I was asking for it. I wanted to, you know, be able to make sacrifices for people and truly love people. And it started happening. God started answering that prayer. God began to impact on my will. I started to miss people. Ah, don't hold on, on this place. Just see you know what I'm saying. <laughs> started impacting on my emotions. Some of you are cold, hardened. The power of God can break you up. You will be crying like baby. Somebody's not getting what I'm talking about. Relax. Allow him do it. Allow him do it. I became soft and mushy again. Hey, Lawrence Oyo. You did not miss that, Lawrence Oyo. Very harsh and in the boss. I will say war. See how many laughter we have been laughing. I didn't know that ministration can happen with us laughing. What are you laughing about? I'll be shouting from start to finish. People will be holding their chest on the floor. <laughs> I can still remember 2012, 2013. One lady ran out of the meeting <laughs> from the utterances. I will be shouting, Look at your life! Wasting away! <laughs> It was not funny, as far as we were laughing. <laughs> I was preaching one day. I, I, I kicked the chair. Bah, the chair broke. I saw the chair. Ah, ah. What did I just do? What happened to me? There was pain and anger in my heart. I was still doing the work of ministry, but I was angry. I've met many ministers like that, so I understand. I was in pain. I was angry. So I was using it, turning it on the devil, and it was efficient, it was effective. God was using it. <laughs> I will cast out demons, you think I'm angry with the host too. <laughs> Why you have seen this demon in the first place? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll jack the person, drop myself on the floor. <laughs> like, what is the problem? Why is this guy so angry? But people were blessed, so they were just, <laughs> were blessed. <laughs> Something was wrong with me. Thank God for healing. Celebrate Jesus. So much. Ah, Many men of God are sick. Oh, wounded. Angry. Some five people left them. One, two. It was an attack. And they left them in a very terrible way. So as they are coming to church, they are just angry at everybody. If you like, leave. If you like, don't leave. <laughs> if you are leaving, go, go leave quickly. Ah, why? Why? We're not here for man. We're here for God. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You're serving him, serving him. You're not serving him. Get out. Get out. Get out. The door is open. Everybody leave. You want to leave? <laughs> what is the problem? It's pain. Anger. Have mercy on them. I hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Strike the shepherd. The sheep will scatter. Many of the attacks on the shepherd was because of you. I'll say that one more time. Strike the shepherd. The sheep will scatter. It's a strategy. It always works. Because sadly, the sheep are not covering the shepherd. Sadly. That's how I was running away from church. I'd be covering people that are not praying for me. Until <laughs> I don't want problem. This itinerant ministry I'm doing is very sweet. Just hit and run. I will never see you again. <laughs> he said, uh, you don't want to use sense in life. <laughs> there are advantages. If you like get healed, if you like don't get healed, by, by, when am I traveling? Later Sunday, I've left. If you like, be healed. If you like, be looking at me. By Sunday, we're finished. By tomorrow morning, we're finished. Are you getting what I'm saying? You cannot confirm, check, see if I was anointed or not. There's even too many proofs already. Are, are you getting what I'm talking about? Boy, in past story, you will see again on Sunday. Say, <laughs> so, Pastor, I believe... It just got a little worse, but I believe, I believe. <laughs> I know it's one of those things. Just, just pray again for me. And now you pray the third, fourth time. 
But you see the person cancelling line, you just tell the protocol, I won't be seeing anybody today. <laughs> I'll only see the first three people. Because when a person's story is not changing, it impacts on you emotionally. That's why it's sad when you pray for people they shift, they won't come back with testimony. It's not right. Your testimony refreshes the man of God. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? I'm telling you as it is. It refreshes. It doesn't matter how high the man of God is, they need refreshing. One of the ways you refresh them is in your giving. Eh, it's in your giving. That is a scripture I'd like to show you at this point. Acts chapter, I like this scripture. At Acts chapter, is it four now? Huh? And where, um, the scripture where um, Barnabas, you know, sold land. They called him the son of consolation. Is he asked for? Towards the ending of it. Do we have it? I want to show you something interesting. <laughs> give us the version that says, son named. If you can give me in, in uh, 36. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everybody want to go. A native of Cyprus. Who was son name? What was his name? No. What was the man's name? How many of us know him as Joseph? You have forgotten his name already. They christened him another name. And that was not the story. The meaning of the name is what blessed me. They said, which is interpreted what? Son of encouragement. If somebody is a son of encouragement, it means the person calling you son of encouragement has felt discouraged. Yes or no? This is how I like to read my Bible. It makes it make sense. Why am I calling you encouragement if I've not been discouraged? I'm not saying disciples were depressed, but they are members than they are members. <laughs> you will be wondering. Say I'm not anointed. It's not just about their problem living or not living, but the chaos they are creating, the stress they are bringing to the table. Why is he always you that is fighting? What is the problem? How many powers do you have? One man said he has four. How many powers? Abu <laughs> Doshika. How many? Why is why are you like this? Only you. All the departments. Problem. 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 <laughs> they can't send you away because it's church. Your pastor is praying for you to hear the call to leave. Oh, I can tell you, I've sent people away through. Uh, when you understand this, the true desire, you can send people away. Let's leave that one. <laughs> I will not say that one. And they will advance. I'm not talking about uh, people's life. No, they will go up by force. They will go, the up will be out. I'm telling you, the business will click. They will send something will happen. Get out of here. <laughs> because I don't want it to be in a bad way, all right? I don't want us to have. So I just begin to say, Father, Father, thank you. Father, you know, understand. Thank you. Send thank you. <laughs> the person who just comes out, I'm feeling led. A call. <laughs> just leave <laughs> so we can have peace. Sharp, sharp. Oh my God, you are released. <laughs> Go and prosper. <laughs> Go and shift so we can have peace. And some you might mean to be very deliberate. I say, we don't want to see you here again. Especially when you see the person is truly a son of Satan. How do you come and sleep with all the brethren? You are saying, ah. You are saying, ah. And you watch your sheep devoured by a wolf because you are a good pastor. 
if you love those sheep, you will warn the wolf about that person. I warn the person. I go the extra mile. I will hand you over. You will not believe what will happen to you. Don't try it. If you touch any sheep here, if your body is scratching you, if your body is scratching you, <laughs> because I'm going to account for them. You don't try it. Don't try it. Don't come here with some strange revelation. I will change it for you. I don't need to shout. Oh, I will change it for you. Your life will experience certain amounts of weights that you will not be able to understand. Why is everything shutting down? Then you will come for prayer, then I will tell you. I'm not telling you what just happened still recently. The person came to me and said, everything is just shutting down. I have had all manner of stories. I didn't talk. And when he's coming, smiling, yeah, pray for me, sir. Yeah. You alone, this person, this person, this person, carry them to one corner. Go and do this. God. Ah, my sheep. What will I tell Jesus? I said, no problem. Things began to shut down. And he came. He said, I don't know what's happening. They want to fire me from work. They've not fired you yet. <laughs> the fear of God must be established in people's hearts. Don't try it. As you grow in consciousness, you can guard territory and make sure. There are pastors who use this, you know, in the wrong, in the wrong way. Use your utterances to preserve this person. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Jesus said, everyone that has given to me, I have not lost anyone. You would think it's a joke until you want to touch a sheep. He told them, let them go. He just introduced himself, I'm he. All of them scattered on the floor. He said, let them go. All right? I'm the one, right? So carry me. Let them go. If they insisted on touching the disciples, we might have seen another side. Are, are you talking about, I guess what I'm talking about. Just introduce something to them a little bit. Maybe a bit of shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Just shake them up a bit. I said, let them go. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. We understand. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Because things will happen. Sister, we try to play pranks around your children, around... You know what to do. One guy will not let your daughter rest. You can change this for him. Huh? Why am I talking about this? I'll share only one story. One lady told me to my face, I know what to do to make you fall. Mm. You now see why I need a bit of shaker. <laughs> yeah. And men of God had fallen. In their office, they would literally try to rape her. She was charged with lust. How do you know? You come around the person and suddenly start feeling, guys, immediately. Not that you are naturally problematic. Are you following what I'm saying? <laughs> you just come around the person and strong. Do you get what I'm talking about? And they are charged with it. So when you keep practicing that scene of pornography, masturbation, and lesbianism, and whatever it is, your environment is now charged with it. The same way holiness can be a charge around you. People around you, and they just want to love God. They just have a peace and a joy around you. They can also be charged. A person can be charged with sin. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? And once you talk to them, you hang around them for, for a while, you start picking thoughts. That's how you know what the person is charged with. Are you guys hearing what I'm saying? A house can be charged with strife and anger. You enter, you can feel the tightness in the atmosphere. And that house can be full of just joy. I just happy like you're at home. Who understands what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey. So anyway, she was charged with loss. I knew it. I was saying this, cut long story short. One or two years after, we didn't see again for whatever reason. I think I left school and all of that. So... We just met again. She was a different page now, of course. She was not one it's longer the same version. God has helped her. She has moved. She's a better. Then I just remembered, and I just wanted to tease her that. Ah, that reminds me. You said, eh. Uh, you said, no, no, it's not, it does not me anymore. I said, eh, but what happened, though? Like, like everything just ended. You didn't, you didn't follow up on your promise. <laughs> like, you didn't, nothing, like, nothing again. See, I didn't tell you. I said, tell me what? I saw your mommy. You saw my mother. Where? In the dream now. In the dream. Okay, just me. 
my mother appeared to her and said, if I see you near my son again, you will hear it from me. Marry wife, we did pray. Marry husband too. We did pray. I started imagining how many sisters got the memo. Is somebody following what I'm talking about? You can preserve your children from afar. Literally. The way things can fall in alignment, things can fall, it can <laughs> be disaligned. For anyone who insists on being a problem to their way, did somebody hear what I just said? Yes, um, but that's, that's by the way. It's one of the reasons why you need to grow and be strong in the spirit to be able to influence circumstances and not use weeks to do it. Just your very desire, it has started happening. Ah, prayer is good though. Prayer is very important. As you pray more and you become strong in the spirit, your desires literally become like instructions to people. Did you hear what I just said? This your preservation also against receiving voices of men as the voice of God. Once you desire a thing, it becomes a voice in the spirit. A pastor needs an usher, an instrumentalist. An instrumentalist will pick it. God will lead him to go to that territory and go and instrumentalize. <laughs> the only challenge is if it's not in your destiny. <laughs> is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Uh, there are many voices. So. so as you pray, even the territory itself, will be reaching out to you. Remember Paul had an encounter and the man was saying, come. Come on, do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah. As people pray, their voices can reach out to you and you will sense the call. Go to that place and minister. So I have learned in the last maybe five to seven years to differentiate between the voice from my book that's from are you following what I'm talking about? And the voice from the territory. There are many good things we can do. But do exactly what God wants you to do. Did you hear what I just said? Everywhere I minister, power will flow. Is that, is that correct? By now, we should believe that. It's not really about uh, you are led or you are not led. Anywhere we go to, power will flow. But I will only be rewarded for the things I did in obedience. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Uh, so it's important that you are listening to know exactly, precisely what he wants. Because you can do many good things and succeed and not exactly be in his perfect will. Is that correct? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. These words I just spoke now, the Lord will further expand in your hearts. And anyone here who is doing something good but it's not God's best, the Lord will open your eyes to it. And I decree and declare that he will stop at nothing until your eyes are opened. In Jesus' mighty name, shout the amen like thunder. Is this the real time? One sixteen. Ha. Wow. And we are all awake like this. That's power. 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 <laughs> I usually like us to start praying from twelve so that people don't start sleeping. And in the twelve hours charge, we start praying. Because it's sleeping time. So if you're sitting down listening to teaching at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. is a risk. But we're doing very well. Let's celebrate ourselves. <laughs> Apostle Paul thought and thought and thought until somebody fell down and died. He rose the person up and continued teaching. As I was saying, if you check Isaiah, <laughs> I don't think I was shocked. Taught the guy to death. <laughs> Raised him back up to continue listening. As we were saying. What kind of teaching was that? 
they will teach for hours, six hours, seven hours, 12 hours. Chinese church is still like that. Teach for hours. 18 hours teaching. Yes. Look at the body of Christ today, all that territories. 30 minutes, it's okay. Just keep it simple. Hit the nail on the head and just... I love him. Very practical. Just hit the nail on the head. Just Something's wrong with you. You think this Chick-fil-A? McDonald's? You will end up in McDonald's. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Sit down, have stamina to read the word of God and to listen to the word of God. There's nothing strange about it. This is how your fathers became what they became. Yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. So the power of God can impact your will, emotions, and intellect. Intellect. We've spoken about will. The intellect. It means as the power of God is in motion in this meeting, thoughts, divine thoughts will be dropping in your heart. Ideas, number one. Inspirations will be coming to you. Do you know these are my most important expectations in meetings? I've already given up on falling down, right? And which other one again? Did I? So I'm always expecting him to inspire me. I'm asking, what is he doing in Battle Last Retreat, Houston Edition? Those thoughts are on my heart. Through desire, you start knocking the door. An expectation. And the thoughts start coming. Start coming. I told you yesterday, we are seeing, okay, we are in a new day now. I said yesterday that I'm sensing for Houston Edition, we'll pray for how long? 24 hours. So if you are afraid of prayer, don't come home. And don't tell them. <laughs> eh? They are online. But I'm sure they are excited. Some of them are here. Raise your hand. Those persons that are going to use it to. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We will shake it up. Well, yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry. No, God will make a way. What a joy to see people desiring to pray like this in this part of the world. It is the power of God. So I'm not surprised if the pastor is saying, ah, people are not hungry. People, people don't love God. Yeah. Ah, this place is not like Nigeria. <laughs> oh God, the problem is what? Power. power. It's power. People love God. It's power. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? It's power. Learn very early to stop excusing things. It's power. Generate more. You will see that the result will change. People don't give. Oh God. Ah. It is he that causes people to will and to do. It is power. It means being willing and doing something. It's a response of what? Power. It will shock you. The same people. The same people. You can't believe. This person is sitting on millions. Watching the whole church stranded. You go back and generate tremendous power and come out. And the person is saying, during the week, the Lord said to me, do you know what it means for someone to part with 15,000? 25,000? Their savings is 60,000 and God says give 40. Do you know it is great power? Instead of fighting all the ministers that are seeing those results, oh God, generate power. We are wasting time. God has put things in the hands of people to make this work move. Generate the power of God. And you will see people do things because the scripture says, in the days of your power, thy people shall be what? Willing. Willingness is one of the signs. You understand what is, what's, what's happening now? It's power that makes people to make some ridiculous sacrifices. It's power. 
Oh, glory to God. Next year will be better than this year. Chai, chai, you will see now. Be better than this year. Once you understand these principles, you, you function from rest. You are sure. You are not entering destiny mistakenly. Because we will generate more power than we generated this year. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Days of prayer are my favorite days of the year. Another one will happen again in May. I cannot wait to run 12, 12, 12, 12 for like two weeks. I can't wait because from May, June, I can already tell a shift will come. It's not a mistake. I don't know if you're getting what I'm talking about. That's why we pray again because we know what prayer is doing to us. That's why I want you to do it right because that's where your encouragement will come from. That's why you will come for another retreat. That's why you will charge when you get back home because you saw what prayer can do. I pray for you that your secret place will bring results. Yeah. Come on, come on. Say the amen very well. Yeah. Lady wearing brown and a, brown and, a, and a black. The power of God is shifting you. I don't know what you do. But the power of God is shifting your life and family. Yeah. I decree and declare all the attacks against your strength against your desire from today never again Amen. receive strength to fly in jesus mighty name so the power of god can impact your will intellect and emotions so you can receive ideas business ideas as we're praying right now thoughts inspirations call this person do this write this email draft this Send this apology. Check on this person. Instructions will just be coming. Give it to write as we are praying. Is that all right? So if you don't have something to write with, it's wrong. All right? Please. Give it to write. Expect it. That's why it will happen. One of the ways to trigger the prophetic is expectation. You want to have a dream. Then slide down with a pen and a book beside you. That shows that you are expecting. Are you getting what I'm saying? That act itself will provoke it. Expect it. Get ready with your recorder. You are expecting to dream. You are expecting to see something. And when it happens, you wake up. Write it down. Don't say, I will remember when I wake up. Stop it. Honor the realm. Honor it. There are people asking for these things. Honor it. It's just one of those things. When you lose it, you will know. There's not one of those things. Some of you have lost dimensions, right? Of course, this is will wake up in the name of Jesus. Yeah, so wake back up because you don't really exactly lose it. All right? It just goes dormant from, 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 from not using it and dishonor and all of that. All right? Glory to Jesus. There's another thing that the power of God does. I call it divine connections. I like this one. It's about to happen now. Yes. Right people, right places, right actions, alignment. Yes. I will show you through scriptures. There are many examples all over scriptures, but there are some that I will show you those that will really bless us. Connections. Meeting people. Okay, under instructions, the one I said earlier, there are some scriptures. Matthew 17, 27. Just write it. We will not, um, I didn't even finish the statement on, on Barnabas. So many things. <laughs> Anyways, where I was going a bit, going out with that scripture of Barnabas was that everyone here should strive to be that son and that daughter of what? Of encouragement. Every time your pastor thinks of you, let them be happy. If I say scripture again for that. Let me give it to you. Psalm 
So I imagine, I was not there, but I suspect. I imagine, after this, we read Hebrews 13, 17. I imagine that, and this principle is important. You notice when um, um, Isaac was about to bless Esau, he said, go, get me venison. That which part of me will bless you? Come on, that what? He was asking him to, to touch his soul. That's what I meant by provoking their debt. There are many ways to do it. One of them is honor. Somebody following what I'm saying? Provoke their debts. One woman had been barren, married to a pastor for many years. And after she went to church one day, she just got up in the middle of the service and went home and cooked his best meal. He was surprised. Mommy she just stood up and left. Ah, where is mommy going? Cooked his best meal. He came home. And then I think she knelt down and served him. He was wondering what's happening. <laughs> hey, hope there's no problem. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you know, you know women. <laughs> Honored him. He finished eating. And then she said, Pastor. What she would call him normally is Bebim, Nai, and so on and so forth. He said, My prophet, I've been looking for the fruit of the womb for this number of years. I know if you pray for me, I will carry my child. That man prayed for her from that place. She took in immediately. So receive your husband in the name of your husband. You receive what? Husband's reward. Husband's reward. You receive your husband in the name of a prophet. You receive prophet's reward. Don't let your relationships, the amount of proximity you have with the person, make you forget there are people I have in my life as friends, thank God for the privilege but they are a blessing to the body of Christ and I am a part of the body of Christ I should never forget that though this man is a friend and when we are talking you cannot believe that it is this same man of God I cannot talk more than that because of the way we are talking our mentees have to leave the room <laughs> So they are not confused. There are some I will meet from the door we have started. Can I talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> we have started the play from the door. Ha <laughs> God. Some people cannot believe. But I must never forget that this same man is the one that is shifting lives all over the world. And this thing on his life also benefits my life. So from time to time, know how to switch on. Bro, 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 bro. I beg. I beg. Man of God. This thing in your life, I like it. This one, I like it. This one, I like it. Pray for me. Say, so come on now. We are together. We are together. My brother, my brother. This thing in your life, I like it. <laughs> Live we are together now. Kneel down. Help me. Strengthen me in this area. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? The person that also has it, you think he just, he just, he too got it from somewhere, right? Yeah. It's not normal that you call, people always answer. Hey, are you hearing what I'm talking about? Everything you drop always spreads. You think it's normal? You can enter into some of these graces. As you honor those persons and the dimensions they represent. Where were we again? So, son of encouragement. I usually imagine that the apostles gather together. Remember, it says the apostles are the ones who nicknamed him. So, not just one person. So, the first time they were probably stranded, they wanted to get a new boss for the church. And, you know, nothing was happening. They were praying, praying, praying. 
And then Joseph came. So over the night, I just sensed that I should support the church. You made an announcement. So please don't announce again. It's done. Can we get two bosses? They looked at him. <laughs> Jojo. Banab. <laughs> They now gave him the nickname. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? He must have done it the first time, second time, third time. They changed his name. They christened him. His mother and father gave him Joseph. The apostles say you are encouragement. Every time they see him, they are encouraged. Hebrews 13, 17 shows us the impact of that. Your leaders should not be grieved when they think of you. It is to your disadvantage if they are grieved. Sorry, I'm dragging the teaching this long. I hope somebody's getting something. We will pray, all right? This is the final session, so anything I need to say, I need to say it now. Look at this, everybody. One, two, go. For they are constantly keeping watch over your souls and guarding your spiritual welfare as men who will have to render an account of their trust. Do your part to let them do this with gladness and not with sighing and groaning, for that will not be profitable to you either. If every time they think of you, ah, this lady, okay. ah, God, it's unprofitable for you. Read in other versions, you see what I'm saying. It's not good for you. The way they are happy, things will be happening. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Same thing goes for your natural parents. Honor them. Make them happy. Touch them to tears. Don't take them for granted. All right. Let's leave that, I think. One more picture or example. I imagine the apostles holding hands, praying. And then Apostle Peter says, my fellow apostles, Barnab has a challenge. They say, what's the problem? Because many of you don't realize that it's not everybody that's on the pastor's mind every time. But through honor and bringing joy and refreshment to a pastor. Many of you are parents. You understand what I'm talking about. They are certain of your children. Nothing must happen, no. All the siblings know that <laughs> fire will fall. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Not about just I'm the last born. No. By being so good, when problem arises, you will see the full weight of the angel of that church. Chai, is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? So I imagine them holding hands and they are praying and maybe the government just took the land of Barnabas. And Peter said, I saw Barnabas crying on my way out of the service. Um, and I asked him, he said, um, the contract did not pull through and that um, they are also about to take one of his lands. So, we just sort it out. I hear what we hear from us tonight. <laughs> and then we join hands and change it for the government. I can't tell you how many persons have benefited from that, from certain of our fathers, people who were consistently refreshing these men. And when trouble arose, they went the extra mile to shut the gates of hell. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? Don't be random in the hearts of people who can shift you. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? I don't know why I'm saying some of these things. I hope somebody is here. The person is hearing it up here. Don't just be one of the contacts. Don't be random. It's a secret. Don't be random. Don't say I'm the shy type. I'm not the... Don't you like your destiny? 
I'm not the talking, I'm not the texting. From time to time, drop the testimony. My life is shifting because of your trances. Thank you, sir, for giving to Jesus. Thank you for covering me. Just be reminding, reminding, dropping the seeds in the heart so that as many times as possible, his thoughts can be, your thoughts can be in his what? In his heart. Every time he's praying, at least your name is mentioned. Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Uh, it's for your advantage. Your word is enough for the wise. Let's keep going. So the connections, divine connections. Meeting right people, right places, and so on and so forth. Circumstances aligning in your favor suddenly. Opportunities. Meeting preparation. Many people are good. They can do the work. Opportunities never come in. Suddenly, somebody just recommends. I know somebody. I know somebody. It's power that is at work. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Somebody within the king's quarters saying, I know a man who can play the instrument. Can you see the destiny of David was beginning to play out? Once power is emotion, people will be talking about you. Recommendations will be made. Somebody will say something in a place of high you know, authority. Words will be spoken about you. Someone who does not even exactly, you know, related to you by blood, you are wondering how the person is carrying your matter on their head. And they are talking about you so much, you are even wondering, ha, do you know me to that extent? person just likes you specially. The power of God causes these things. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? So don't leave a meeting saying, I did not fall down. Be looking out for the main things. Are we together now? Psalm 16 verse 6 says the lines fall unto me in pleasant places. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11. Ecclesiastes 9 11. Want to go, everybody want to go. I returned and saw under the sun. That the race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong. Neither is bread to the wise or riches to the men of intelligence and understanding. Nor favor to the men of skill. Did you see what happened to that lady's father? Are you seeing what I'm saying? But what? Give us another translation. It's on the same time and chance. Give us the one that says... That by being at the right place at the right time. What version is that? Check your versions. NLT? Uh. What's the ending of it? Is the NLT beautiful? All right. By being what? In the right place at the right time. It is power that makes this thing to happen. You be, that, that's the challenge with it. You don't recognize it as power because you're thinking it just happened. That's why they, they're calling it chance. Which chance? Is that how people are shifting in life? Chance by chance. You can't live a life like that. But it will look normal. You will go out, stand in Walmart. And as you are entering, the one who will shift you will be coming out. Why are two of you crossing your path like that at that moment? What are the odds that at that moment is when he too chose to go and buy milk? Is somebody getting what I'm talking about? Power because seeing the circumstances to be in alignment. Power is why Saul lost his ass. And then Johnny, 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 Johnny. The prophet was waiting for him. They told him he had lost his ass. He's coming to come and collect the oil. He was thinking he lost ass. Donkey. By the time he has received the anointing, they said the ass has already been found since. So do you see that some losses will be initiated by power? So that you can be uncomfortable, so that you can leave certain locations. Did somebody hear what I just said? Yes, 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 yes. Yes! yes! You eventually find that it was not really a loss. Source is so loose the ass. 
even if he lost it, as an, an king anointing. <laughs> Where is he lost there? But even that was found. Power will be making you to be in the right place at the right time. You should have left. Maybe I'm seeing somebody right now. Who should have left? But something kept you back and now you are in this meeting. Where is the person? You should have left. You should have traveled. You should have traveled. For whatever reason. But something happened. And now you are able to make the meeting because of that thing that happened. That's part of what the power of God will do. It will create circumstances so that you are in the right place at the right time. To hear that thing you have been saying you want to know. Just the right information. I'm telling you, it's very beautiful. It happens in business. It happens everywhere. So just be sitting down there and just be hearing somebody talking about it. What are the odds? That someone is talking about something that will shift my destiny. And they're just discussing. They don't know they're discussing because of you. You just hear it. Jump into it. Bam! Opportunity. Amen. There's something I don't want to say, but those of you who are into certain tradings online. So miracles are about to happen. <laughs> the word is enough for the wise. <laughs> not there. But I mentioned it earlier in the course of the retreat. Uh, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Simple things like that. I'm sitting with this guy. I tell him, huh? buy Bitcoin. No? Just buy Bitcoin. This was 2016. It was $1,000 at the time. I had about four or five. Buy Bitcoin. No? Yeah, okay, at least what's the worst case? It will not drop in value. Just save there. It can become one five, you gain five hundred dollars. I did not know. I sold all of mine. Three months after, he texts me on WhatsApp. Thank you so much, Pastor Lawrence, for making me seventeen thousand dollars richer. This was twenty seventeen now. I started trying to remember which prophecy I prophesied. And I sold my prophecy, they shift person. I should have prophesied over myself. <laughs> ha, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? So I had to call him. What did I, how did I say it? Like, he didn't know why I was asking. <laughs> so I can also. <laughs> ah, he said the Bitcoin he said I should buy is now. Ah, I went online, checked. Yay! Simple information. Just passing by, just sitting down casually. Somebody else will do 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5 for one year and gain what a simple information will shift you into. I hope somebody heard what I just said. I decree and declare the power of God will cause your mind to receive those information. If you want it, shout the amen like thunder. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody understands what I just said. Okay. First Samuel chapter 17, 25, 26. That's another example. I want us to do Esther. Esther 4, 15 and 16, then chapter 5, 1 to 3. Esther chapter 4. And then we'll start to pray. I hope you're not tired. Awesome. I love that. Who has an iPhone charger? I need to charge this. You remember the scriptures, right? Just give it to them at the back. You remember the scriptures, right? One to go. Then Esther sent this reply. We remember the story of Esther, right? He said they want to kill all of them and so on and so forth. Mordecai threatened her. said, if you don't do anything, help will arise. And you will die. Me, yeah, Pastor, I don't believe that Esther would have died. <laughs> but Mordecai believes so. Because how do you want to enter the king's palace, collect the queen, and cut her neck? She'll fake panic. 
car. So I don't know how it would have happened. But anyways, we believe for the guy. He was not in a good mood. Because <laughs> Esther was chilling. They're about to kill your people. You are busy drinking smoothie. <laughs> and basking in the presence of God. I love, I love. They're about to waste your generation. <laughs> the help will come. I don't think that you'll be spared. They will finish you at your father's house. <laughs> so Esther sent this reply. Together. The next verse, one, two, go. Go and gather together all the Jews of Susa. Let's agree on how many they might have been. If somebody can check online you to help us. I want us to meditate. Gather all the Jews of what? Susa. Somebody check, check, check. How many Jews were in Susa that period? Some of these people, I don't know how they used to know it, but they just used to know it. <laughs> eh? I said it. I don't know how they were there to count it, but they just used to know it. They say historian. They know it. Okay, no problem. We agree with them. What's my own? To imagine 750,000 people fasting. Please join me with me. One of the ways you generate power is by fasting and prayer. 750 people went on a fast. And the fast was for how many days? It was a marathon fast. Did you notice? They said, do not eat or drink for how many days? They didn't drink water. Dry fasting. 750,000 people. Someone just got healed right now on your left side. Check it now. It's not amen. It's done. Check, check, check it now. On your left side. Check it now. Where's the person? Check it now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, is person online? Check it now on the stream. I release that healing in the name of Jesus. It's looking like something internal. It's not just pain. I command whatever organ. Which organ is here? Eh? Is it just kidney? Kidney is here now. Don't change the position of your kidney. <laughs> Around this region, look at it. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is, I cause it to die now. And I declare perfect healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Please check, alright? It's done. It's done. So, do not eat or drink for three days and three nights. My maids and I will do the same. And then, though it is against the law, I will go in and see the king. If I must die, I must die. Alright? So they generated power. Let's now see what power did. Are we together? And power will be causing alignment. Will be causing the right things to happen at the right time. Are we finished what I quoted? You can go to the next one. Chapter 5, chapter 5, from verse 1. Baba kete kete bom baba kuste ni mombo kadas. Dimo marakte kole mo jende tole maraha savani akubane dese. Jene le siente le mire nese. Together, want to go. E janta kalima baya. Just across the king's home. The king was sitting on his royal throne, facing the entrance. Next statement. When he saw. Come on. When he what? Favor is provoked by visibility. The more visible you are, the more likely to be favored. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? So even after this prayer, it's important for some of you to run ads. It's important for some of you to make announcements, to talk. Because the power of God will ride on that action. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I need your feedbacks, please. To be sure you are hearing me. Oh. When he saw Esther. Standing there in the inner court, he welcomed her, held out the gold scepter to her. So Esther approached and touched the end of the scepter. Verse 3, one to go. Then the king asked Esther, what do you want, Esther? What is your request? Did she say she asked requests? No greeting. 
What do you want, Esther? What's your request? He now goes on to say, I will give it to you, even if it is half of the kingdom. What do you think was happening to Oga? Somebody shall power. power. How can I just come? I have not said anything. You want to split your kingdom in half? Are you telling me there's anybody that can stand against the power of God? Generate power. Walk up to the CEO. The people in the world know this. Come on now. They know this. They will speak confidently. Oh God, sign this for me. I want this. They eat things. They swallow things. They do all manner of things before they go and talk. Generate power, then speak. Generate power, then speak. Then act. And watch power do strange things. What? No statement. She has not spoken yet. The man has already brought negotiation by himself. Do you want half of my kingdom? What am I asking? What are you saying? It's like she judged him, right? You now understand what 750,000 people on three days marathon fast can do to a king. The Jews were about to share the kingdom in half. Are you not seeing what I'm saying? Esther will be a Jew ruling half of the kingdom. She just didn't go for it. What? Come on, son. Power. power. That is so much power. It was too much. Too much power. My God. She was about to become ruler because of the power generated. See why it's good to pray for your pastors? Because they can achieve much more. See what corporate power Somebody stepped out on that corporate power. See what happened. Verse 4. Let's join it together. Let's join it together. This woman, very wise. She saw that the king was already inside her hand. She could have gone ahead and said, yes, give me half of the kingdom. <laughs> and then, kick it straight to the point. Next thing, if it please the king, let the king and her man come today to a banquet and prepare for the king. Ah, I, I, should, I should come and eat. Okay, okay, no problem. He got ready, went to eat. I want us to, to run quickly. Look through the scriptures. Give me where. Um, uh, give me the second time when they went to eat. Okay, this is where she requested again, second time. So that's not all. The queen invited. Okay. <laughs> when they gather to eat, Somebody know with their Bibles. The second time. Do you remember when the king was restless? Could not sleep. Do you still remember? Huh? Six verse one. Together, this is another demonstration of power. Is that correct? And there are people who this night will not sleep. If they've already slept, they will wake up. They will use the next four hours to be thinking about you. Once you reach like six a.m., they will now call. It will happen as we're saying it all. They will now start by apologizing. Say, God actually said five years ago, I am so sorry. Some will even start by crying. It happened to one man. Uh, what's his name in Nigeria now? It's Apostle T.D. Phillips. <laughs> he said he prayed, 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 prayed. He was tired of poverty. He prayed and he said, New Christian reality. Richard. So for, his, for him to be the one saying it, you should appreciate it. He prayed. Then all of a sudden, he said one day as he was praying, he started, he started vomiting. He will finish ministering and then go and vomit. He was vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. You get when somebody is manifesting, the person is, he was vomiting for two weeks straight. And then he said one of the days, 
a man walked out of him with a sack. Looked at him, shook his head, and walked away. After that, a couple he has been praying for, ministering to, called him that he should come to the house. There is an emergency. So he ran down. What's the problem? He saw them crying. They were weeping. Crying, weeping. We're sorry. What's the problem? What happened? It's okay. Talk to me. We have been wicked to you. How? How? What is the problem? What did you do? God has used you for us. We have not given you anything. He said, it's okay. He starts crying. You are crying like this. They brought out Ghana must go. Do you understand what Ghana must go mean? Ghana must go is like a bag. <laughs> Like a what do you call it? Duffel bag. Like a like a duffel bag. A har. It's a Ganamos duffel or something like that. Yeah, like a plastic duffel. All right. So you have an example here? Oh, no Ganamos go here. You don't carry Ganamos goes. Oh, oh, okay. That's all right. So a duffel bag. And it was full of what? Money. Money. He has never seen that in his life. He carried it like he was an arm robber back home, looking at it. <laughs> he said that's where finances shifted for him and his family. He was a pastor, an apostle. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You must insist in prayer. Favor is coming. It's coming like a cloud. The rain will fall. The rain of favor. Go online, listen to it quickly so that we don't we don't boot. Rain is fall. Something will happen tonight. Oh. Something will happen tonight. The rain will fall. It will fall. On ministries, it will fall. The Lord will encourage you like never before. It pays sometimes to have a to, to have like a covenant or an agreement, a commitment. But as you are doing this, this is my own commitment. I'll be doing this to ministries. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll be strengthening. I'll be encouraging ministers. I'll be lifting up the widows. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Make sure that your money is on a mission. Yes, Let's sit and be confused. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, Everybody is afraid. Time to make sure that the money is plenty. To stack it up. To save it somewhere so that you will not. Relax. Relax. What God is about to do in your life. No Satan can touch it. Yes. I'm telling you. An endless river of supply. Yeah. I'm telling you what's about to happen to somebody listening to me. Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Yeah. That night, the king had trouble sleeping. So he ordered an attendant to bring the book of the history of his reign so it could be read to him. When you are feeling sleepy, do you call for them to come and be reading? history of your reign <laughs> or oh, when you are feeling like you cannot sleep usually you ask for entertainment right yeah just keep me busy in those records he discovered an account of how Mordecai you'll be thinking it was a coincidence coincidence Co is this by chance it was the activity of what He discovered an account of how Mordecai had exposed the plot of Big Thana and Teresh, two of the eunuchs who gathered the door to the king's private quarters. They had plotted to assassinate the king. 
So two people plan to kill the king. Mordecai saved the king's life. Next verse. It does not make sense. Next verse. The next question. So what's reward? In his mind, so. Hope I rewarded him well. Is somebody following what I'm saying? In the king's mind, I rewarded him. So what was the reward? What reward did we ever give to Mordecai for this? King asked. Attendance said, replied, nothing has been done for him. Ah, uh -uh. I will tell you one shocking story. This daughter of ours in Nigeria began to pray with her family about 21 days prayer. Some of you can try it, all right? If you have a family that we gather, try it. 21 days every night, they were praying, I think two or three hours, asking for the family's lot to change. After a number of days, one of the uncles was called by an oil company. And they said, we didn't see you at your desk. Where are you? I said, which desk? Did you employ me? I said, what do you mean did you employ you? <laughs> There's such a thing as African magic. <laughs> so don't believe. <laughs> you always your case, so. They were seeing him every day coming to work and sitting down and walking. He was arguing with the man. You didn't employ me. He said, we employed you 11 years ago. What are you saying? The confusion. Ah, what do you mean you employed me 11 years ago? And I've been suffering like this. What are you saying? Wouldn't I know if somebody employed me? You didn't employ me, say. Said we did. These are the proofs. They proved that we employed you. And we noticed you're not on your desk. So if we didn't pray, he would have been walking in the spirit till he died. <laughs> they will be seeing him walking. Even in his dream, self, he's even walking. He wakes up tired. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the devil is a bastard. So they apologized to him and said his 11 years salary all the promotions gratuit you all the benefits so whatever it was that happened in 11 years they gave it to him at once oil company here how much will somebody earn? let's use that as an example huh? Huh? Do you know? If you don't know, say I don't know. So who knows? At least hundred thousand a year, right? All right. Now multiply hundred thousand by eleven years. A broke man sleeps, wakes up, and one point one million dollars is inside his account. Do you think? That it shifted the family. It, <laughs> the entire family, it just wired, pam, 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 pam. <laughs> Settled everybody, business, why everybody. Settled everybody. <laughs> That's the way somebody is going to testify. Don't be averse to financial blessings. God can prosper you. So when you hear power to make wealth, this is what we're talking about. The power of God can cause circumstances to fall in place for you to shift in your finances. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Please believe it all. And if you have heard any teaching that shut it down, I can promise you, you will suffer. I'm telling you sincerely. Don't accept it. Love the man of God. Throw that trash away for the sake of your future and your children. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Destiny is sponsored on the wings of a lot of finances. Many of you will do massive projects. 
it will not appear in the natural. You will use money to do it. Are you getting what I'm saying? You need to believe that the power of God can prosper a man. And you experience it in Jesus' name. What reward or recognition did we ever give? This man remained at the gate. After that kind. Nothing was done for him. Verse 4. One, two, go. Who is that in the altar court? The king inquired. As it happened, her man had just arrived. It's a fluke to Abi. Ah, Somebody is not getting what I'm saying. The power of God will be making everything to happen. Your enemies will be shishain. They'll be making mistakes. They'll be. That's where Haman came to come and greet the king. Ah. <laughs> they said, hey. As it happened, Haman just arrived in the other court of the palace. I feel like Mrs. Vashon will make this thing sweeter. Bring him in, the king ordered. Verse 6. That night. Verse 6, verse 6, verse 6, where is verse 6? When a man entered, the king said, what would be appropriate for the man, the king specially, especially wants to honor? A man thought to himself, he must be talking about honoring me. Who else? So he answered the king, for the man, the king likes to honor. Do this. All right? These are, they will be creating your salary. Hey, hey. One of our sons in one nation will not mention the country because <laughs> we are online. Somebody took the cloth of the bus to Pakistan. He told the boss, I want to make the same cloth for you. You'll love it. The boss gave him the cloth. He went and used it for jazz. Brought it back. The boss head turned. He started, you know, victimizing this our, our son. And then they started praying. <laughs> the feedback was very wild. Fire caught the house of the boy. Fire caught the house of the boss. I said, these your angels are very, very wild. The feedback was wild. Then he now got promoted. In another place, I was paying him like times two, times three. As you generate power, there will be some feedback, some backlash that they will not like. I'm telling you in advance, all right? For all the preachers of love. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Uh, we're dealing with angels here. There will be reactions tonight, though. Yes. Are you fine with it? Yes. There will be reactions this night. Especially for those who are truly sworn, committed to Satan, to frustrate people's lives. They said, over my dead body. And they are actually putting their hand in things. Who we'll answer their prayer this night, though. Yes. But by all means, somebody is making progress today. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? I'm making progress today. Yes, I'm making progress today. For the man the king delights to honor, do this. Bring a royal robe and the king that the king has worn. This man's eye. You see, can you see where his mind is working? Bring a royal war robe that the king has worn. A horse the king has ridden. A bass plant. <laughs> One with a royal crown on its head. Then give the robe and the horse to the one the king's most noble princes. Ah, ah. Have him robe the man whom the king especially wants to honor. Have the prince lead him on horseback through the city. Can you imagine this guy? He has, his mind has gone. He probably had the prince in mind already. The royal, the person that's going to hold and he will sit on the back and say, It's God, it's God. It's God, it's not me. <laughs> he had plans. Through the city square, proclaiming before him, this is what is done for the man whom the king especially wants to honor. Next verse, everybody. One, two, go! Go and do it. The king said to Haman, 
Don't waste another minute. Take the robe. That means the king is saying, you look like one of the most noble people here. Mm. You look very noble. So you, do it. It might not be the most noble, but power will make a man look good. At that moment, there's no better person. You, what you just said now is so in... Ah, that's why I love you, Aman. You in this kingdom, ah, you bring ideas that are spectacular. So you, you will take him <laughs> and do it. Baba was shocked. Don't waste another minute. And so he went. <laughs> he said, you have... <laughs> Take the robe and the horse and do what you have proposed to Mordecai, the Jew, who sits at the king's gate. So see where the guy was sitting. He said, don't leave out a single detail of your plan. You would think that the king wanted to victimize him. Like, it looks weird. He was just passing by the, and then the guy ended up leading Mordecai. This is the one that the king. <laughs> Shouldn't you already be afraid? You would think Haman would be smart. A very stupid man. He couldn't see that the events of things have turned. Power is moving against me. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Be spiritually intelligent. Know when it looks like the clouds are against you. Step back, retreat, generate power and push back the darkness. You can know. Everything I'm doing is hard, it's hard, it's hard. Why are you frustrating yourself? Step back! You know when there's grace or something. Step back, sometimes I'll cancel the meeting. I'll cancel it. Don't worry, we'll come back again. We're not ready. Pray for another three months. By the third month of prayer, what you were begging people to do, they're not begging you, they want to do it. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Power makes it cheaper. You are, you are no longer shaming yourself, embarrassing yourself, begging everywhere. Power makes people willing. I hope someone is hearing what I'm saying this night. Ha! Then Mordecai returned to the king's gate. But Haman did what? <laughs> he fled to his house, thoroughly mortified, hiding his face. And when Haman had finished telling his wife Zeresh, and all his friends, everything had happened to him. His knowledgeable friends who were there and his wife, look at that, said, if this Mordecai is in fact a Jew, your bad luck has only begun. You don't stand a chance against him. You are as good as ruined. You would think how much we have sense. He says his knowledgeable friends intelligent people know when the clouds are against them. Something is wrong here. Let's step back. Let's generate power. Let's make things happen. Then step out. You will know when God has gone ahead. Is somebody following what I'm saying? Child, this scripture blesses me. This was a demonstration of power. Did anybody fall down? Did anybody fall down and shake and scatter in each chair? You better choose wisely. <laughs> Power. 750 people fasting and prayer. They knew. They must have heard the records about the Israelites. And they knew. Ah, the angel has started walking. My care. He has started walking. This is not normal. This guy was at the king's gate. You are one of the most cherished nobles. You are the one carrying him around, shouting, This is the one. Oh, God, you are finished. If you can run, run, no. Baba did not run. So let's see what happened. Go to the dinner now. So the king and Haman went to dinner with Queen Esther. At this second dinner, while they were drinking wine, the king asked again, Queen Esther, what will you like? I've been begging you to take half of my kingdom. I'm not taking. Take my kingdom now. Just ask. And it's yours. Okay, I want half. Yeah, we divide the signed document. Take. That means two of us will not be equal in power. Are you not getting what is happening here? This is very abnormal. Only that kind of tremendous atomic power could have caused this. His will was under siege by God. 
This man was misbehaving. I don't know what he was seeing in Esther. As Esther entered, have you seen somebody lose, lose control? When they see, fine babe. As they just opened their mouth. <laughs> what do you want? Even to the half of my account balance. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> There's one online. Hey! <laughs> Once he sees woman and the person turn around, hey! His problem has started in life. Please take this one, put your account inside. Even to the half of my kingdom. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't know. I can't explain. How fine was the girl? What happened that you want to share your kingdom? It's not like you have been talking, you know, she said it herself. Nobody just comes and says, I want to greet the king. You die. Hello, you just die for that. You don't greet him anyhow. Now you came to greet him and then you are collecting half of the kingdom. He's begging you to collect it. Are you not seeing that? People you are begging, please give me, support my business. They will be begging you with the money. Don't you want again? Are you not still interested? You want to invest? This is natural language when power is in motion. Chai, is somebody hear what I'm saying? I activate it now in the name of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus. Help is coming now in the name of Jesus. Help is coming now in the name of Jesus. Right now, the favor of God is resting upon every individual. Upon ministries, upon businesses, upon households, upon your academics. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, it is easier to prosecute life after today. In the name of Jesus. Awesome. Queen Esther answered, if I have found favor in your eyes. You still see that, right? And that's why I said visibility provokes favor. If she didn't come out to present herself, that fasting and prayer might have ended in fasting and prayer. Oh king, and if you please the king, give me my life and the life of my people. I can imagine the shock. What am I asking for? What are you asking for? I say I want to give you half of my kingdom. You say I should give you your life. That I should not let you die. Ah, ah. Ah. King. Verse 14. Want to go? We have been sold. I am my people. See, I'm feeling pity for him. Man. Too much power. He, he was not worth that amount of energy. Poor guy. Everything was happening quickly, quickly, quickly. Within days, he has ended. They just told him last night that if he's a Jew, <laughs> you are ruined. Though. By the next day, <laughs> Baba was gone. He thought it was a joke. Look at that. To be destroyed, sold, to be massacred, eliminated. If we had just been sold off into slavery, see her language. Learn from Esther. See her language. Look at the way she's talking intelligently. See her saying, if they just sold us to slavery, I wouldn't have brought it up, dear king. That means I don't mind as your as queen to be a slave. I wouldn't have raised this matter up. Our troubles wouldn't have been worth bothering the king over. Oh, great king. Remember what he wants to give out? Half of the kingdom. He said, please just spare my life. I don't want to die. Me and my people. If it's that we were sold to slavery, no problem. I won't stress you, sir. But they want to kill us. King Xerxes exploded. <sighs> Where is he? This anger was being energized. He exploded. I was not there, but I suspect. Baba shouted, Ah! Yay! Daniel! He was shouting in whatever language. <laughs> Verse 6. One, two, go. An enemy. This is, watch, watch this beep. <laughs> now that the guy was in the right place where he needed her to be, he began to fan flames. This is where women are very strong. <laughs> he began to bring adjectives. <laughs> An 
enemy, an adversary, this evil Haman, said Esther. Haman was terror stricken <laughs> before the king and the queen. Verse 7. The king, raging, left his wine and stalked out in the palace garden. He's thinking, should I cut his ear first? Where do I start from? I, oh, oh, no. No. Hama stood there pleading with Queen Esther for his life. He could see that the king was finished with him and that he was doomed. He stood there pleading for his life. Men and brethren, he stood there and he was just pleading for his life. See what he was doing. See what the king saw. As the king came back from the palace garden to the banquet hall, Haman was groveling. What's the English? What is the meaning of groveling? He was begging. On the couch on which Esther reclined. This babe is a queen and more. <laughs> the king roared out. We live will molest the queen while I'm just around the corner. You want to rape my wife? Was a man trying to rape his wife? Power. Someone shout power. Power is why they will misinterpret things. Power can cause understanding. It can cause misunderstanding. Oh, they will eat their flesh and drink their blood. It happened in scriptures. The four lepers said, why wait we here and die? If we enter the city, we die of famine. If we go dead, they can also kill us. Our chances are better there. Let's just go. As they went, the Bible says the Lord caused them to hear a noise. They, they, they fled. I didn't know what I fled. I bet they killed themselves. They fled. It's another army again. And the Bible says they became confused. And they began to kill each other. Until the last man and the other last man held themselves. Said, okay, two of us were the ones remaining. So together, three, two, one, go! <clears throat> It makes no sense. And nobody escaped that battle. They killed themselves until they died. That's what can happen. Misunderstandings. I declare. Understandings and misunderstandings are happening in your favor. Amen. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? <laughs> this night, there will be confusion in the camp of the enemy. Amen. Together... When that word left the king's mouth, hey, yeah, all the blood drained from the face of her man. Chai, now look at this next one. I like this. Harbona, one of the eunuchs attending the king, spoke up. That's what I'm saying. That people will be talking. Somebody spoke up. Look over there. There is the gallows that Haman had built for Mordecai. Who saved the king's life? See, pity a man. The king said, Wow. The man I honored yesterday. You want to kill him today? Ah, a man. Imagine you are Hamas lawyer. Oh, yeah, explain. They say you go explain, tire. Say, sir, it's not like that. Sir, sir, please, sir. I know it looks bad. But, sir, I beg you. I don't know how to explain this to you. I'm a good person. I was possessed, sir. That's where you will say is the devil. Because at this point, 
you better give the blame to the devil. He possessed me. He took me over. I was shouting, leave me alone. He was dragging me. At this point, quickly blame the devil. Ha, man. It's right next to Amar's house. house. 75 feet high. This guy was wicked. 75 feet. Everybody will see them. Visibility. <laughs> the king said, hang him on it. Sharp, sharp. So Haman was hanged on the very gallows that he had built for Mordecai. And the king's hot anger cooled. Once God is done, all those I need to now stop being angry. Someone declare power of God. Move in my life. I hope you're ready to pray tonight. Rise on your feet everywhere. Come on, somebody jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. Shake your body, shake your body, shake your body. It's time to go to war. Are you ready? It's coming like a cloud That rain we fall That rain of favor Get it together. Smiles and laughter Shoutings and rejoicing Elijah has broken through. The rain is falling. The rain of faith. Rain is falling. Oh. Rain is falling. Rain is falling. It's coming like a flood. It's coming like a flood. The rain will fall. The rain will fall. The rain of favor. The rain of favor. Smiles and laughter. Smiles and laughter. Shoutings and rejoicing. Shout your name, Lawrence. So your has broken through. The rain is falling. The rain of favor. One more time. Rain is falling. Rain is falling. Rain is falling. Rain is falling. It's coming like a cloud. The rain will fall. The rain of favor. Children are rejoicing. Children rejoicing. Cause the rain is falling. Lorenzo, you are spoken through. The rain is falling. Are you ready? Two children want to play. Two, two children want to dance. Two children want to soak under the rain, 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 under the rain. Two children want to play. Two children want to soak. Little children want to dance under the rain, 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 under the
Rain is falling. 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 Rain is falling.
more clearly in love you all dearly follow you more nearly Come on, come on, come on. Bubumbete kombre kitena maramba bashata bakata. Barate komisto nendi bombre tika estelas. Lego dines tezozoa semba rashata katarush. Baraneke teke ne robe kete no mareke te vundi simo kovo robe shaka la bondres. Imama kento le bondes sonte ki balonze esezes. Ba me bigi digi ni manka taza swa saliva raka shaya. Shende le popo kote zon son fik ton dumas. Lo bere kete si oste su se fan prakish. Power of God, change the story. Power of God, refresh, anoint me. Ada zen ze kon zen kopra ni te steno genus. Energize my ministries. Power of God shifts my life. I see on the monde distela marashate. Le tele zen du zen zon zokopatas. Man pia man sante lo gento la kapapatas. Boroshini maroma hasekto makepre ne eles. Le katan jatan du karapakata savino kambara shantes. Men pegente sigonte son tele batakata satus. Rababa shika makata stana babataya. It doesn't matter what you have seen, it can be more. It doesn't matter what you have heard, it can be more. It doesn't matter what we have touched, it can be more. It can be more. It shall be more. It doesn't matter what we have seen, it can be more. It doesn't matter what we have heard, it can be more. It can doesn't matter what we have handled, it can be more. It can be more. It shall be more. To see. More clearly, love you more dearly. Follow you more nearly, day by day. I will see you more. It doesn't matter what we have seen, it can be more. It doesn't matter what we have heard, it can be more. Ah, somebody is praying very well. Congratulations. Ajan Sakale, Igente Pida, Casile Mate, Rembe Bombo Rosheke Tembro Posofi Komorashaya. 
Uji jujunur Dinu misi intimale Idi jenti jile La ayante kwemo Om jem de kom se mi boba wewe Ni dale sele We shall be more It doesn't matter what we have seen It can be more It doesn't matter what we have heard It can be more It doesn't matter what we have handled It can be more It can be more It shall be more Unto Sai Kaile, only nearly my love. It is a no yet. Uji Juji could do.
if your plate number is WJZ883 with your car is a white Toyota Corolla, you need to move your car now. If your car, if your plate number is a WJZ883 white Toyota Corolla, please you need to head outside to move your car. Thank you. Sempre <laughs> 
Sapa 
If you drive a white Honda, your plate number is SFR0631. Please, can you go move your car right now? It's a white Honda SFR0631. Please move your car right now. Thank you. It's your destiny to fly. Let's rise to our feet, let's hold our hands. Let's continue to pray. Let's rise to our feet. Let's hold our hands. Please rise to your feet wherever you are. We are already at 439. Let's press again. Let's push again. 
Let's push again. Let's push again. Hold your neighbor's hand. Tighten that grip. And let's push again. Let's push again. We still have some time, but let's still push again. So talk somebody, lift up your voice and press. Pray the Holy Ghost. This is why you came. This is why you are here. Rakata kasaka da braga do sakare na ba. Rete kete skete kete tai. Raba kaseto rete kete 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 k
That kingdom come, the one who was as prayer is your name. I love the time. That kingdom come, the one who was as prayer is your name. Come on, I love the time. I love the time. That kingdom come. That kingdom come, the one who was as prayer is your name. I love the time. Thy kingdom come on your hands. So one who has a prayer is your name. Hello, thy name. Hello, thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Hello, thy name. Hello, thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Some people are praying. They are praying tonight. You can see their faces. They are praying tonight. What kind of dream can turn this world around? A bowl of fire is nothing tonight. So people are praying. People are praying. They are praying tonight. You can see their faces. They are praying tonight. What kind of dream? What kind of dream can turn this world around? A bowl of fire. A bowl of fire is nothing tonight. I love the time. I keep them come. The one who has has prayer is your name. Hello be your name. Hello be your name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. The one who has has prayer. Three more your times. Hello be thy name. Hello be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who has has prayer is your name. Hello be thy name. Hello be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Hello, be thy name. Hello, be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Hallelujah. The one who has a prayer. The one who has a prayer is your name. Are we ready? Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. There will be healings, miracles, signs, and wonders. Are we ready? Power is the ability to do work. Words are the capsules we use to release the power of God. So right now I want you to picture the situations you want to release power to. Are we ready? Yeah, I want you to picture it. What area would you like the power of God to touch? Look at it because you're going to release the power of God in that direction now. Words are how you send power on a mission. The scripture I use for that is scripture of the man then that's the centurion servant who was sick at home. And the man came to Jesus. Another example of somebody whose life was beneficial to the kingdom as it were in that time. Because they came and told Jesus that this man has built a synagogue for us. This man that you want to do this for. He has helped us in our worship. So Jesus was moved. He said, all right. I will go to your house to go and pray for that servant. Because of this much sacrifice you've made for my people. But the man made a shocking statement. He said, I'm not worthy for you to trek all the way and come under my roof to pray for my servant. Only do what? Send your word and my servant shall be healed. He went further to explain, I am a man under authority. Having soldiers under my authority. I say to one, do what? Go. And he goeth. To another, come. And to my servant, do this. And he does it. Jesus marveled, turned around. He said, why is it that you do his who have sense? And it is centurion that to have says that's my own version what he said was i have not seen such great faith no not in israel 
Is somebody following what I'm saying? It means great faith is demonstrated when you release the power of God from your location to another location and expect results when? Expect results when? Now, somebody somewhere is about to feel the heat of the power of God. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? So you picture it, see it. I gave you two instances. We were in Aimba, Koki State, Nigeria. And we shouted, like some of us are going to shout today. We shouted our son names and declared, we are free. As we shouted it in the house of one of those who were in the meeting, was in the meeting, thunderstruck and life charms were uprooted from the floor, inside the floor. It ran out of the house when thunderstruck and they saw life charms uprooted that was buried in the ground. The daughter was shouting on campus, we are free. Thunder was striking in the home. When FUT Mina, Federal University of Technology, Mina, I think that's Niger State. And as we were ministering, I asked them to shout their son names and declare we are free. They shouted it. And this particular lady testified the next morning that as she shouted we are free, her mother who has been bedridden for 18 years. How many years? The mother has not walked. As she shouted we are free, she said she felt a strange energy hit the room and noticed her body was strong. She put her first leg on the floor. <laughs> put the second leg on the floor. No man of God laid hands on her. The daughter shouted what? We are free. And the power of God traveled and touched this woman. 18 years, got up and began to walk. Is it Uniben? Last year, September. That one was just ridiculous. I wish I could play it for you. It makes no sense. Is there a way to stream it from the phone? I've not posted it online. The testimonies make no sense. People were calling on WhatsApp. Insanity, 30 years, disappeared. I tried this 14 years. This is how I sat I was looking. Are we joking? About 15 deaf years. It was just happening. Power of God can do anything. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I want you to just be expectant because the secrets are simple. Be intentional. Be angry. Alright? So if you are not mad and angry right now, I'm not talking to you. But if you are feeling very angry at whatever situation, you are ready for this next stage. Is there anybody who is angry? Don't raise your hand if you are not feeling angry. If you need to feel angry, I'll give you the next one, two minutes. So just think about your family and see if you like it like that. Once you are frustrated, you're angry enough, raise your hand and put it down. Please don't do it because I said you should. Do it because you truly are angry. So I give you time. I'm giving you time. Take two, three minutes and look at the family. Look at all the delay. Look at the cousins. Look at the sisters. Look at everyone who is making no progress. Look at the one who is childless. Look at the one who is waiting to be settled marital. Look at it. Look at the ones in your life. Look at it and see if it's, if, if it's paining you enough. Because we're about to release the power of God. And I told you that the power of God needs to stir up your emotions sometimes. And as it stirs you up, something is going to happen that is very wild today. Is somebody ready? Once you're ready, say, I'm ready. So, we are complete. Happy? Say after me with your eyes closed. I renounce the devil. I renounce the devil. How many ushers do we have? All ushers, please raise your hand. One, two, three. It's about to get wild. Please, let's not. We might not need some of the chairs, so we can just get rid of them. So we have where to lay people. Are we ready this morning? Close your eyes. I need you to be angry. Don't lose it. Or you, it's your, it's your, it's your currency in trading. 
I want you to be very desperate, very angry. I want you to be very angry. Very angry. Look at what the enemy has done. He has cheated you. It's time to collect sevenfold. The Bible says when the thief is caught, he shall repay sevenfold. It's time for him to pay. He must pay. He must pay now. He must pay now. So don't do it small, small. All right? Shout it after me. I renounce the devil. I renounce the devil. And the powers of darkness. And the powers of darkness. Right now. Right now. Every evil covenant. Every evil covenant. Made, by made by my ancestors. Right now. Right now. I renounce, them. I renounce them. I am a child of God. Child of God. Therefore, Therefore, every pronouncement, every pronouncement coming, from any coming from any evil altar, shut down now. Shut down now. be removed. Let the chains be removed. He could fly. He could fly. He could fly. The nations are waiting for you. He could fly. You have been there for too long. You have been there for too long. He go fly. He go fly. You have been there for too long. You have been there for too long. He go fly. He go fly. In Jesus' name, we have declared. The next one, please add more, add more pressure, add more violence. Add more violence. Decree now. Every roadblock standing on the way to the arrival of God's blessings. Every hindrance preventing certain manifestations in my life right now scatter come on scatter it 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 I command you to scatter Yeah, 
mependete Eli mantieni se Shakata barakata kata barakata nadias. I will not be limited. Come on, come on, come on. Barasha, eh, eh, you are doing it well. You are doing it well. Come on, scatter it. Oh my God, somebody is doing it very well. Scatter the nonsense. Shaka braka shaka paga. Let the let the zon te reke te quash. Yege de do me gondo si do kompo robo shanti kaya. Let the roadblocks be removed. 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 Elijah pray. Let the roadblocks be removed. Let it happen now. What if I don't do it can happen this year? What if I don't do it can manifest this year? Come on, content. Scatter the roadblocks. You are too gentleman. Scatter the roadblocks. Scatter the roadblocks. You are too gentle. Scatter the roadblocks. Shambaragadia. I break through the resistance. I break through the resistance. Yemba, Barel, Erente, Telel, Jidas. E Karaka, Shate, Kembrekete, Sozenule. Ole, Kodomonongo, Stoto, Baba, 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 Baba. Break, 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 break. Go, 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Match it, yes. Scatter it, yes. Come on. Demonstrate what you are doing. See what you are doing. Scatter the roadblock. Smash it. Come on. Enough is enough. You shall say to this mountain. Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it shall be done. Come on, command the mountain to get out. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. to cry cry oh. if you need to shout shout if you need to vex vex if you need to roar roar smash through the roadblocks i have had enough no more of your nonsense satan back your load now get out get out get out of my home get out of my family leave my daddy 
Leave my mommy. Get out. Lose my children. Now. Fire. Scatter. Come on. Legate carapa shaka ta prakas te kote verreketinos. Lebara de kite swana kaza na labatea. Joko toko toro koto koto proko som proko bobens. Ebi bamba baba baki mama bombo bozine yi baba babi na babondo de dima. Dima ma bende de no manta kombre de di konsente le maraka ta shaka lo pratas. Le kapa kata zaka ta karaba shata kata na proko tene makea. Le ampe mama tizilo kore kete no pereze teles. Yepepe jeto Christian tele maro hasava ni gondo ropata na gaza. Yete kataza sa zida babana mamonte. Me kala rasha katagala. Ele privento regateze solemina karanila ezadila. Me torre nito kongro shongo dombro koze mante kaprakata. Le paka shata. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Please lay your right hand on your head, left hand on your chest. And you cry, power of God, visit my foundations. Are you ready? At this point, we are going to see things happening now. Some of you took things, ingested things that have become a problem to you. You will start reacting now. Atas de la siento le aquí en Jerusalén en la casa. Barracta más se fue mi gorri de chentes. The power of God is about to severe every ungodly soul tie, every link, whatever it is, linking you negatively, causing certain negative trends to flow through to you. The end has come. You shout it three times and then be still. Power of God visit my foundation. Shout it again. One last time. Just close your eyes. Don't speak in tongues now. Jesus is the deliverer. I want you to see him standing before you. That's him. Some of you will literally have an encounter. All the prophets under the sound of my voice. Some of you will literally see him standing, literally, right now. I tear the veil on your eyes. Power of God, ushers, please help, 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 help. Right now, anyone here with a stranger, with a stranger in your bodies, the scripture declares the stranger shall run out of their hiding places. This hall right now is besieged by angels of deliverance. Anyone with a stranger, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, by the count of three, right now, the light of God is exposing the darkness. You can't hide. You can't hide in the belly, in the head, in the hand, in the legs. Wherever you are, one, two, three. Where are they? Where are they? To my left, to my right. Right now, I mount pressure on those bodies. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Anything hiding anywhere. Right now, right now. Fire! Right now, right now, it's getting stronger. It's getting stronger. It's getting stronger. It's getting stronger. I'm seeing someone. This devil entered through trauma, through trauma, through trauma. You foul devil! You have been exposed already. Where are you? Where are you? Right now, the fire of God is against you. Right now, ushers, find this person. The power of God right now is resting on this individual. It came in through trauma. Trauma. While growing up, I think it was a sexual encounter. Through trauma. You remember a traumatic experience. And all of a sudden, you go into a fit of panic attacks. The next few days after that, you are trying to get yourself. 
this demon has wasted time from for wasted your time has cheated you of peace and joy you don't know the last time you were truly happy right now right now right now devils of depression devils of suicide right now right now devils of addiction right now at the shout of fire be exposed everyone shout fire one two three right now stronger 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 more 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 bring that one bring her bring her bring her Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let it get stronger, 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 stronger. I mount pressure on those bodies right now. More, more, more. By the count of seven, let it multiply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every stranger hiding anywhere. No what? No kidney. Back your load and get out. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. If as I'm declaring these words, you are sensing a very strange discomfort suddenly in your body. I want those persons to step out. Just step out and form a line from that end. Those persons are suddenly sensing a strange movement in their body. Form a line. Just leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't drag her. A line. Face the altar. A line. In the name of Jesus. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus. The time has come. Walk out of captivity. Walk out of captivity. Walk out of captivity. Now! set you free now in the name of Jesus. Never again. I set you free now in the name of Jesus. That yoke of depression and heaviness, that weight, that gloominess, that cloud sitting on you right now lifts. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I lose you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus. I unlock your destiny right now. All the limitations of your territory and your family, I break you free from it. Right now, I command you to rise as a national star. Yes, 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 yes. Let the lines begin to fall in pleasant places. Right now, right now, right now. Lord Jesus. Let the fire of God begin to burn, purge, fish out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, lose 
them now. Loose them now. Fire, 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 more, 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 more. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire. Every altar being serviced for your sake. The name is being mentioned, and they're putting things on it, calling you, and it's sponsoring all the afflictions. You're not even aware. I'm seeing that about somebody. They are doing it because they love you. They don't know they are causing more problems. That foul devil, right now, you have said you are not doing it again. We said we love Jesus. We said we are not doing it again. Devil, don't you understand? Fire! Come on, get out! 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 right now fire in the name of jesus fire 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 in the name of jesus i lose you right now in the name of jesus fire in the name of jesus right now i shut it down right now let your body reject that evil in the name of jesus wherever it came from the name of Jesus, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. In the name of Jesus, stronger, 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 stronger. Fire, fire, fire. Who is it that speaketh and it cometh to pass when the Lord has not spoken? She is a battle axe and a weapon of war. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, I command, walk free. <sighs> walk free. Walk free. <sighs> Fire. Fire. Walk free. Walk free. The season of change has come. Walk free in the name of Jesus. Walk free in the name of Jesus. Right now, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I severe that link right now. I severe that link. You will not suffer what they suffered. You will not suffer what they suffered. What stopped your parents will not stop you. In the name of Jesus, I lose you in the name of Jesus. Your own case is different. In the name of Jesus, break all the records. Do what they couldn't do. In the name of Jesus, break all the records. Do what they couldn't do. I command all the pain in these hearts, in these lives right now be healed in the name of jesus i decree and declare wherever the root is let the power of god begin to solve it now in the name of jesus every one of them as they stand up they stand up free fully free nothing hiding nothing remaining in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you're free. You're free. You are free. Let the fire of God. Right now, burn away all the chains, all the ropes. Run free. Run, 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 run. Destiny is waiting for you. Run free in the name of Jesus. Run free in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Run free in the name of Jesus. Run free.
the name of Jesus, destiny is waiting for you. Run free in the name of Jesus. You will not die. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I curse those thoughts of death. Those incessant thoughts consistently budging on your soul. I curse them in the name of Jesus. Someone this left hand just got healed. Check it. Around this region, you just got healed. I don't know what the issue was. If you check it, you'll notice you're healed. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for this. Where is the person? Your left hand. Check it now. You're free in the name of Jesus. Are you the one? Glory to Jesus. So how long? So like yesterday I noticed probably like midway through the service, like my left hand just started painting me every time I would bring it down the strike. And I noticed it was going all the way from, it started at my wrist and it extended all the way through. But literally as you, I didn't even notice until you just said left hand and I noticed, I said, oh, it's gone in Jesus' name. The word of knowledge imparts faith. Don't disturb anybody. Oh. Huh? She's stood up for okay. So we'll pray for the sick right away now. If you have any issue you need prayers for, so just raise your hand where you are. And I want someone to find them. Lady, please come. Come. Yes, you. Green, would you like me to pray for you? Please come. So if you're sick in your body, please raise your hand. Let somebody make contact with you quickly. If somebody's hand is up, please make contact with them. Please make contact with them. If somebody's hand is up, make contact with them. Once their hand is up, make contact. And once they've made contact with you, you can put your hands down. So we know how many people are left. So once somebody has touched you, you can put your hands down. I'm still seeing some hands up. So everybody, find somebody. There are too many people. I want us to share fellowship. Don't just sit down. I want you to locate somebody. I'm seeing about three people at the back. Somebody here. So just go ahead and inquire what's the issue. If it's not too sensitive, share. Go ahead, share. Yes, I was going to pray for you. Come. Ooh. Somebody has a blood-related problem. Where is the person? You're the one? Blood related. What's the issue, man? No. This one is blood related. Blood related. What's the issue? Blood related? I didn't say your blood relation. I said blood related. Yes, sir. It's only a lady I saw, but we will pray for everybody, all right? What's the issue? All right. Yes, it's beautiful. Huh? Same? All right. Same? Beautiful.
Thank you. We will pray for it. Are we ready? So what you're doing is very simple. If you know the name of the thing, I want you to curse it. Is that right? Say out of me, death and life is in the power of my tongue. What I speak life to, we live. What I curse, we die. Are you ready to curse? You will curse that sickness now. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Curse it in the name of Jesus and then command it to live. Speak specifically and declare that all the signs and the symptoms are going now. All the signs, all the symptoms. Yes, 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 yes. It's happening. It's happening. Yes. You are free. Stop what? Stop what? Leave her. Leave her. So you don't know. You want me to tell me you don't know? In the name of Jesus, lose her now. And never return. In the name of Jesus. She's free. Thank you. 
We are healed in the name of Jesus. The Egyptians we see today, you shall see them no more. Every pain disappear. I command your eye function, your ear function. Every part of you right now is loose from the grip of the devil. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead now and start checking yourselves. Start checking yourselves. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. Once you notice a difference, I want you to start waving. Check now. Check now. Check now. I'll count. I'll count. Raise your hands. Those persons. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, start checking. Six. Keep checking. Keep checking. Do what you're going to do. Seven. Keep checking. Are you raising your hands? Eight. Keep checking. Keep checking. Keep checking. Nine. Keep checking. Ten. Keep checking. Keep checking. Keep checking. Keep checking. Keep checking. Keep checking. Eleven. I said nine last. Okay, so eleven. Eleven. Keep checking. Keep checking. In the name of Jesus. Wow. This is past six. <laughs> wow. So we're past how many hours now? Okay, we still have time. I'll stop counting. Hallelujah. Felt really short. Glory to Jesus forever. Can we celebrate what Jesus is doing? We might not have time to take all the testimonies. I think I'll just take from the current healings, I'll just take you and maybe one or two other hot ones. But I want to take the previous testifiers who raised their hands so they don't feel. Remember, I was taking testimonies initially. Huh? Do you still remember? Yeah, so testimonies from the retreat. You can find anywhere and just sit down, all right? Let's take some testimonies for record purposes. Hallelujah. Here. Um, Raising your hand. Okay. Um, I had low back pain, like I told you yesterday. And I'm literally, I'm not feeling it right now. <laughs> and I also had knee pain that was stopping me from jumping higher. And it's gone. It's now time, it's now time for you to become a national champion. That's what I want to hear now as your next testimony. He met me outside and said, yeah. He said, you see my back. He said, is he going to pray for it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was reminding me. <laughs> So now it's gone. So it's time to play. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. It's time to play. All right? God make us proud. Amen. And the Lord will favor you and give you lost time. In Jesus' name. All right? We want to stay of faith and then we'll worship God. Amen. Praise God. Um, I was having this knee pain as well. It's been like reoccurring for the since around like 2019. Um, even as I was praying throughout, as I was like bending, I could feel it, but I was just trying to press through. And then when they prayed for me, I was able to jump like this and I wasn't wow. able to Glory to Jesus. And it will never return again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You are very wise to have been intentional as a protocol. When I saw you knew that and began to pray, and she's a wise person. Um, I just want to thank God. When I came here, like I knew something was wrong. Um, as you were praying about foundations, I just felt like that's, that was something that, that was I yours. needed to pray. And as I was praying, God took, I was seeing a picture in my village in Kogi. Wow. 
of a whole shrine. Wow. In my picture inside. Wow. You saw the vision just now. Yes, like when I was praying. Uh uh. A whole shrine. Only you. <laughs> With my picture inside. And I didn't even know when I fell. And as we were praying, as we were praying, it was burning. It was burning as I was on the floor. It burned to a quarter. So there was still a quarter left with my picture. And then when you said, everything is burnt up, like it's finished, <laughs> it wiped up. And then it was like my picture was uprooted out of the whatever. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. This year is a year of settlement. Amen. Did you hear that? Congratulations. Amen. People that were looking at you and were not seeing you, they will start seeing you from now. Amen. These things can even afflict a church. Your pretty poor went on three days because of this problem. <laughs> Church was not growing. On the third day, he came out and he saw a monkey on top of the building with a mat. <laughs> Sitting on top of the building. And then he commanded it to, to get out. Church started growing. People will come to church and when they are giving testimony, they will say, I don't know, say church day here. Some will pass by, and what they were seeing, people are wearing suits. You know, winners is suits that they wear now. They will see people on white garments dancing <laughs> inside the building. So, we think it's a white garment church. <laughs> when, I, when I watch those things, I listen to those testimonies, it just beats my imagination. That you are there thinking you are doing something, and somebody's seen and nothing. The enemy works like that sometimes. People look at you and they feel, ah, she doesn't need money. And she asks, nah, but she should really want even giving us. Meanwhile, you are. <laughs> Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Eh, yeah. oh, she's very rude. She's very rude. This one, nah, she, this one, not wife material. Just creating a, an image. And they will never even walk up to you to confirm. They just assume that and even be spreading it to others. Until somebody finally meets you, like, what? This is the sweetest person in this church. What have I been thinking? I decree and declare every false image, preventing those who sincerely should be helping you from helping you, is torn off you right now. Yeah. People begin to see you in the right light. See Esther now. What she was perceiving herself was somebody who is a slave, about to be sold to slavery. The king was seeing a queen, someone who can sit with him on the throne and rule half of the kingdom. I declare, they begin to see you in the right light. <laughs> Some of you will resume work and not understand why they are all greeting you. Sa, 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 ma. Because there's an honor that will sit on your life. Amen. You won't be begging to be helped. Amen. The power of God is adjusting the image. Amen. Say the amen very well. Amen. Come on, say the amen very well. Amen. What happened to you? Praise the Lord. So, um, I was participating in the three-day fast. And usually it's not that much of a struggle for me for like the fasting part but on the on the day two of the fast it was for some strange reason like really really hard and like very tempting you know what I'm saying and it was very hard and I didn't know why because when we did the three-day fast last year in Houston it wasn't like day two was not it was it was a breeze for me you know what I'm saying so I was confused and um we were trying to pray and I couldn't pray I was feeling dizzy I was feeling like pain everywhere and I, it didn't make any sense so I had to like go outside and I just started to pray. I was like, God, I need you to recharge me because this is not it. It's not gonna cut it, you know what I'm saying? So 
It was as if like I pressed on the. I like your relationship with God. <laughs> I need you to recharge because this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, pressed, I pressed my hand against like the building of the church and as if the people that were praying against I were like charging me up to pray so I came back inside and I felt completely normal again and I prayed throughout without any pain again wow prayer power you are energized it will continue like that in Jesus name let's have another mic for this. go ahead um, my, my testimony was I was trying to invite a lot of some people like today, and I was back in our motel with one of my friends. We invited a a, a guy. So he was white, and basically, I'm just saying, just just to give you a good story. Um, basically, he came. Uh, he told me, "Oh, I gotta take care of my dog." I said, "Don't worry about it, dogs. Come, come, come." He came, um, and after we were praying a little bit, praying a little bit, I think he was getting tired, and I, t I told him at least stay till ten. Because he was saying he wants to leave now, now. So I said, then at a point I saw that he was just not, he didn't want to stay. His name was John. And then he, I said, okay, we'll, we'll call. I talked to some people to talk to him. They said, we concluded that he can go. And I prayed for him. I said, Lord, I just prayed for him. I said, God, I know God will touch him where he is. He would give him food and some money because I think it was his, can go into some stuff. So basically, I looked at the lift I called him. And the name of the lift, the guy on the lift was Christ. Literally, <laughs> that, <laughs> look at I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> the name of the lift I called to take him back home. Wow. The guy's name was Christ. Christ, Toyota Corolla. So, so I, was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, God, what are you saying? So I said, okay. I know God is <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Let's hear this morning. Praise the Lord. So um, I've been nervous to share my testimony because it started on day two. Um, so I came on day one with chronic pain, like serious pain, but I was like, God, I must fast. So I, at the point I had to take painkillers on empty stomach. And normally it will make you sick, like it will make you throw up or whatever, nauseous. And then day two, um, when pastor was preaching, he said, there's somebody here, here with. <coughs> help out, help he out. said, there's somebody here with chronic pain. He was, he was saying, and I was sitting right there. And um, I felt like the pain was there. And then all of a sudden, it just went while he was preaching. And then um, <laughs> the pain just went. Then later in the afternoon, I was praying. It's as if he wanted to come back up. Then in the evening, um, in the evening, that was when we, we prayed again. And then I can't believe it that I've been fasting. <laughs> Guys don't even understand this testimony. At different periods, I've taken painkillers to just help my life without falling sick. And since that day to till now, I've not had any pain. I can't even believe that I'm still awake. I can't even believe that I'm not like, like crying or somewhere like, yes, yes. even when I went home, I told my parents, my parents are here. I told them like, something's happening, even we should, even we should come. Do you understand? And then this is the funny part because I had a dream on day two. So this is a funny dream guys. So don't laugh at me. Um, so I had a dream and this was after the prayer on day two. I had a dream and it was like, I was having gas pains in the dream, like gas pains. I don't know if you guys have had gas pains before, like you're constipated and like you're having gas pains. So I was holding my stomach in the dream. In the dream. And yes, in the dream and I was walking and all of a sudden it was like all the gas just came out. In the dream. In the dream. Okay. So it was like it was coming out for so long till I woke up. In the dream. In the dream. It wasn't in real life. All right. It did not, it did not have, when I woke up, I was like, I touched myself. I'm not having pain now. Like what's going on? That was Come in on. The dream. That was deliverance. That was in the dream. It's gone. Yes. And then there's one last part. But... That's the first. <laughs> I like that one. In the dream. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Why are you hiding your testimony? Okay, let's hear you. Okay. Um, we'll, take, we'll take the testimony. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, Stop the running. first one I have, um, I had this back pain that I, I feel like I picked it up from work for standing for long hours. So on the first day, um, when we started praying, those first... Sit down too. <laughs> Those first few person. hours, I was just like, I started feeling the pain, and I was sitting a lot the first session. But by the second session, I started feeling the pain again. But I was like, I'm not, I'm not. So what happened? What happened? What happened? Happy. But it went, and then um, I also had a dream on the second day when you talked about roadblocks, and uh, keep it brief and short. I had a dream I was about to go through a traffic light, but a lady came and sat on a stool in front of me. Sat on his too. Yeah, she was like, I'm not letting you go. On the road. <laughs> yeah, literally. And she had an assistant. I don't it was really short. I don't uh, remember uh, what he looked like. <laughs> but, auntie. <laughs> auntie, why? <laughs> Village people. But um I think You were in traffic light in, in Nigeria or here? Um, it looks like America. Ah uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> and they came with two. Sat down on the road. Say you are yeah. not going anywhere. I think I remember feeling defeated because I kept saying, I command you in the name of Jesus, move. And she was like, where am I going? Like, she was like, she was telling me I'm not going anywhere. So scenes change in the dream and she's following me everywhere at this point. Like, I'm going into the supermarket and she's in my face. I said, Auntie, please leave me. Can you let me go? I just want to go. She's like, no, I'm going to keep following you. I woke up that night. I was like, did I even get victory from this dream? And then I think during the first session today, I had this heavy feeling of discouragement. And, so, uh, you know, I got words of wisdom from the people around me. And I started praying. Then this night I was like, you know what? I know God sees me. God hears me. And then I got an instruction to go on the altar. And I saw a picture, like the same car I was driving in the dream. I had prayed a prayer. I was like, I instruct my angels to handle you. And so at this time, when I had, did I say the vision, I was past the traffic light. And I saw clouds from the rear view mirror. And I remember God, like hearing God say, I've given you victory. I just want to get, give God the glory. Amen. It's established in Jesus' name. And the next time she carries two. Thunder will fire, fire these two. Fire the assistant. Fire the deputy. In Jesus' name. Amen. What audacity. So how did she arrive? She didn't even come with car. Sat down on the main road. Say so you are not going anywhere. And somebody will think that it's a joke. You are wondering why everything you are trying is not working. Somebody is in house too. When you pray like this, light now shines on your situation. You now see what's causing the problem. Until you pray like this, you won't even know. You just think that it's just one of those things. He just rejected me. I'll try again. You will hear something. You try the first time, second time, th as long as you're sitting on that stool. <laughs> For anybody who is anywhere trying this kind of thing on anyone here, judgment has been released. <laughs> In seven days, you will hear the feedback from home. In the name of Jesus, I dispatch the judgment now. Let them take delivery immediately. Let delivery start happening 24 hours. Quick delivery, prime delivery. Sharp, sharp. 48 hours, let them get the feedback. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I'll take you, take you, and then. There's so many. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, praise the Lord. Um, first thing yes. first, Pastor, I just want to thank you for God. answering God's call. Thank God. Honestly, thank God. It, it takes a lot to do this. And you know, we say to, I get choice like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> like so, Jeremiah said, I cannot say, I cannot say I'm not doing this. It was not as fire. Hallelujah. So thank um, you. I signed up for counseling for two things. And I never got the counseling, but I've gotten the answers already. Glory to Jesus. Results. Um, Which one do you want, counsel or results? Results. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? 
results. Glory to Jesus. So, um, February last month, I opened, I partnered with this amazing lady, and we opened a Christian faith-based mental health clinic over in Maryland. And prior to opening it, it's not been easy. They wanted us to remove that tag, Christian. They said, keep the faith-based, but remove the Christian. And I remember that I went to God and I started praying. Now the name of the clinic is called Kairos Embrace. And I started praying. I said, God, we had a different name, but you gave us this name. You know, and at the point when I posted about it, God showed me Isaiah 60 verse 22. And it says, at the right time, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Kairos is a Greek word. It means right time. And we went ahead and we still opened up. After we opened up, before we opened up, prophecies came. Ah, people will come. People will do this. People will do that. Ah, I was so happy. We fast forward. Fast Week forward. one, nothing. Week two, nothing. And, you know, come in here and you said result. Um, from yesterday to today, I've had about 16 inquiries already. <laughs> I have the evidence. Shy. I have the evidence. Somebody say Power. One, Between one, yesterday and today. One lady, one, lady, one lady even called me and she said, I'm a Christian. I went outside, took the call. She said, I'm a Christian, but I don't like to go to Christian-based things. But I don't know why I'm coming to you people. Hey, wow. And all I just said is they didn't tell you who I am. Wow. I'm a child of God. Yes. You know, that's that. And the second one is healing. Um, that was another thing I wanted counseling for. And... The moment you said healing, I did not even wait to hear if you raise hand. I just came right here. Because I said, this fasting, I continued fasting. That I said I will break after this. It will not be in vain. Last thing I wrote on my paper was complete healing. All I know is, I'm going to do my test. And I'm sending you the results with the evidence. Celebrate Jesus. The alert has arrived. You know when the alert has arrived. When you are as sure as you know your name, that is done. That was an afflicting spirit, by the way. All right? Whatever it was. Because I watched you. I think you were one of those as well. It's an afflicting spirit. Once the demon checks out, the next thing is what? Results. It's breakthrough. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Um, are you into ministry, sir? Okay. I don't want to do like some people online. Like, do I know you before? <laughs> I've been picking some things, but I don't want to. I don't want to. So, Father, we ask for increased visibility. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing a great, great, great anointing to teach. You think you know teaching. <laughs> the next few days, your Bible will open like a new book. Amen. What you start noticing is that you will teach people into encounters and miracles. Yeah. You will teach the atmosphere will shift. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Um, so, my name is Emmanuel. First day, I got... So I, don't know, I don't know why I'm crying. First day, I got a business inquiry from a corporate client I've been working with. They were like, are you available to do the same job again? I'll leave that as that. Um, second day, I got two new inquiries. And early today, um, one of the professors that have the ability to speak in the high-ranking offices said, there's another organization organizing an event. I'm going to tell them about your service. I will link you up in an email. I said, okay, God, I see what you're doing. Um, we went out to break our fast, and the place, they said they were not accepting cards. They were not accepting cards, so we needed cash, and I had some cash with me, enough to pay for our meal. But when I was paying it, I told them, I made a statement, I says, you are expressing the favor of God. They laughed, I laughed too. While we finished eating, immediately someone sent back the amount that we ate. 
sent it right back to my phone. So we ended up eating for free, but I knew that indeed that was the plan of the favor of God. Yes. So I accepted Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That's a token of many things that will start happening after now. It's established. I'm so excited for everyone. We're taking testimonies yes. so that so. so that you can just just hold on. This is probably how many testimonies now? I don't know. I'm seeing almost like 10, 15 hands. If all this happened instantly, imagine the one that will happen as we are going. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? That's why we're taking testimony. So you realize that we didn't just pray for three days. Things have shifted. Things have what? Shifted. You look very excited to share a testimony. Somebody find that in mic. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. So um, last year when I went for Texas Battle Ash Retreat, um, I didn't know why I was there. I just knew that immediately I saw the flyer. I just wanted to be there. I didn't know why I was there. And I had so many questions. I wasn't able to see Pastor then last year. But I knew I had questions about, about dreams, about so many things. I, had, I, also had, I also had a prayer point about my mom. Uh, she was approved, but she it was delayed. She was approved by MVC, but it was being delayed to. Um, she was being delayed to get a visa, and I just knew that. So I wasn't able to see Pastor. But at the end, I said, "I'm not here for fun." And before the end of last year, it happened. Now, when I was coming for this retreat, I was like, "No, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this retreat because I have an exam, a board exam next week." And one of my prophetic friends told me, I, what, she has not even heard of Battle Ash Retreat before, she, but she said, why, why aren't you going? The Lord said he has something for you there. You have to be there. And then after she said it, I had a dream that I was here. And I was telling Pastor Lawrence that, ah, this, this retreat is greater than last year for me. And immediately I saw that, I was like, mm-mm, boo, please, boo book my ticket i must be here and when i was coming another friend who told me that the prophetic encounter you've been looking for you'll get it in this retreat she just said the prayer i laughed because they all know me to always want to see something because i know it solidifies your christian race and then while we were praying this morning session i don't know i there was some funny stuff that went on here, but I just knew Pastor was talking about you having a lot of dreams and not understanding. I would have so many dreams. Pastor, when Pastor mentioned that somebody will have like 50 dreams, I don't know if mine was also close to 50. I would have a lot. I would not understand so many. There are some that I would understand and it would be prophetic. I would see some people in the dream, but there's so many that I would not understand. But I received clarity today and then he said, is so you will not even know what is making you come to meetings like this or do so many things. It's because of the clothes you are wearing. Now I now understand why I feel weird, why people look at me as being weird, why people say that, are you even normal? Why is the only Jesus? Is... Praise the Lord. And I know that I will still have testimonies to give. It's not, but I feel this is a testimony already because when it happened, I just texted my husband. It has happened though. Um, and I just want to praise God. This testimony will still come out in full when I fully understand what really happened. But I just want to praise God for this one already. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> so two more. I won't be able to do all of them, all right? Because of time. Praise the Lord. Okay, so my testimony is literally, I slept, woke up, and received my testimony in my hand. Um, little backstory, my advice, my previous advisor left the department and left the university. So he said he was going. So I had to look for a new advisor. And my new advisor says he has no funding for me. And so I have to look for an internship um, for the summer program so that, they ca so that I can get funded during the summer. So I started applying for internships. I think I applied for so many. And some people, some of my colleagues will see me doing interviews. And they will laugh at me and say that every Friday you have an interview, this girl. And I'm like, I'll do what I have to do. And so there was a company I applied to was for an aerospace internship. And I know normally on the most times when it's an aerospace or something that has to do with flight, they don't accept F1 students or 
um, or they always say it's a US citizen application, but I, I still filed that application either ways, and that was last year, September. This Are you a citizen? No, I'm not. Okay. And then this year, I interviewed, after several interviews and several love letters, I interviewed for this particular one, and I, on Wednesday when I slept, and I woke up, I got my email saying that they would like to have another interview. So I was already scared. I was like, I'm not ready for another interview because I've received enough um, love letters. And I, I, it just goes straight to the point it was going to be. When you say love letter, what do you mean? <laughs> Rejections. Oh. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> Rejection means <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> That's an American lingo. Abby. Go ahead, go ahead. And so I... I told, I sent an email to the lady. I told her that I'll be available on Friday at eight. So yesterday morning, we had a call, and the call was not even an interview. She was just calling to tell me that I got the offer, and this was the amount I was going to be earning. And she just told me everything about the program. I just want to say thank you. Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus for that one. Final, final. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I really have to share this testimony. <laughs> okay. A couple, of, a couple of weeks back, right, we, had, we, we got this contract, but we, we just got the contract by word of mouth, right? So when we have this contract, then some, suddenly we already agreed that we have this contract. But then suddenly the, the person that we're supposed to go to, they are building. Out of nowhere, they told us, oh, someone underbid you. So they, they gave that contract to that person. But yesterday, this was the good news. Yesterday, suddenly, out of nowhere, they called us. They told us that, you know what, the person that we gave the contract to, they started smoking within the building, so we had to fire them. So they hired us back. <laughs> they gave us the contract. Somebody say, power. That smoke, he must smoke it. <laughs> After smoke it, they must catch him. And when they catch him, they must fire him. So that the person who needs to enter, we enter. All my enemies. <laughs> I say, all my enemies smoke. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you call that? They have already given another person the job. The person now went to smoke on the job. <laughs> so that they can fire him and give it to you. And it happened in the midst of retreat. Is that a coincidence? Tell your neighbor, congratulations. congratulations. Something is waiting for you at home. I'm telling you, good news is waiting for you. Congratulations. congratulations. You so said 16 for, inquiries in 24 hours. 16. I told you, I was like, what's going on? That's why I kept going out every time because the calls were too much. One said, I've been calling. You people are not answering your calls. I'm like, it's only me. It's one person. My, my Ghanaian business partner, she's on a flight now to Ghana. And she looked at the email and she said, oh, looks like we have an inquiry. And then the next email said, oh, my God, we have inquiries. When will you get back to it? Do I need to do it? I'm like, relax. I got this. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you. Wow. Um, so for me, I had... Is it? Um, uh, nobody raised hand then. Is it? Okay. So, violent take it by force. <laughs> so I take you. I take you. So let's, let's give the people a, a, a scan, scannable code, please, for testimonies. So every testimony... Of course, we'll just put anonymous and just post it so people can be blessed, all right? Yeah. People can be refreshed. Ahead of Houston retreat, Houston guys can start reading and preparing their. They're already excited in advance for what God is about to do. Amen. I can't even imagine what will happen. I'm expecting some more terrible testimonies in Houston. 
Hallelujah. But we'll see when we get there. We'll see who prays more, Atlanta or Houston. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, so I was just, mine was just, um, so for a while, it was almost like a drought of like not having visions um, or like just images anymore. Um, probably for like the past two years. Um, same with dreams. And so this morning, well, since I've been here, I started to get them more. Um, and then this morning I woke up and as soon as I opened my eyes, I seen like a, it was a lion with head jewelry on, like some thick head jewelry and like different colors. But I don't know. I, I don't have like the interpretation. Yeah. And so also I wanted to add, I think probably for the full three days, um, were like just, well, not just, but deliverances for me. But I kind of don't know what from. Um, but you, like, they're still good things. You're so, free. Yeah. That's what is important. <laughs> so when you yeah. go now, you now start watching out. What couldn't I do that I'm doing now? What didn't used to happen that's happening now? That's how you know. Are you getting what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes you don't even know there's a problem. You enter an atmosphere, they just touch your head, bah, and then they tell you 15 minutes after that you have been fighting the pastor. <laughs> you know? As far as you're concerned, you are in school, all is well, you have money to eat. Like you didn't know there was a problem. Some of those things are waiting for certain times to be triggered. Some are triggered at marriage, some are triggered when it comes to children, some are triggered at certain sensitive periods. Some are waiting till you are 55. Maybe that's the age nobody passes. You will be fine till you are 55. You said? One was waiting for me before I turned 34. So um, this is my prophetic friend too. We were praying at, before crossing into the year. And she just saw my husband laying down. And she was like, oh, she saw something else. And actually, my dad died when my mom was going to turn 34. So I was going to turn 34 in February. At this, oh, sorry, they were March. I was going to turn 34 in February. And then she was like, what she was seeing was that it was going to be gone. And so <laughs> that was where the deliverance came from. And so February was like a long month. It was my bad month, but I was like, this February is so long. Please just go. <laughs> You are free to never have one. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So that's why um, sometimes you don't understand what is being resolved. That's what's important. Go ahead. And praise the Lord. So first, I want to thank God for my dad. And for past year, he has not gotten any contracts because he's like an independent entrepreneur. And definitely it's been hard on me and my mom. So... Thank God for beginning one yesterday. And I'm trusting God for many, many it more. more. It will be more. <laughs> Amen. Um, also to yesterday, I woke up in the morning and I saw an email that the paper I submitted at a conference just last week was accepted at an ACM conference. So it was not a small conference was when I spoke to my supervisor this afternoon around one thirty, like we had <laughs> during the hot prayers <laughs> he was like wow how did he get accepted pro um, so fast he was very surprised and yes Someone currently power. <laughs> currently I'm trusting the Lord for the money to pay for the conference and I'm trusting the Lord that my supervisor will pay it <laughs> <laughs> it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then finally, I think that was just during the 12 hour prayer charge, just at 4 40 something. Um, as I began to pray, I saw a gate. Like it was basically a small, tiny gate. Like I don't understand why it was just there in my front. And then as I was praying, I saw the Lord come bring a word he said lift up your head O ye gates as i know have i not said in my word lift up your head O ye gates and be lifted up ye everlasting door. so i kept on praying that and then i was like this is not moving he said because you didn't finish the scripture 
And then when I finished the scripture, I said that, and the king of glory shall come in. Then he appeared with a sword and divided the gate into many pieces. And I was able to walk through. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Um, today is my first time. That's the last day. Sorry, yesterday. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, since 2020, there's an assignment that I've been like working on. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying, oh, if you don't read your Bible, you should not eat. So I kept doing that since 2020. Then in I said, you have to like speak in tongues a minimum of one hour every day. So I was doing it. Then this year, and I said, ah, what is like, something is not right. You can't be doing something and I'm not receiving the power. I've been hearing the word like, I want the power just like um, Katrikuma. I started calling, I started noting to the spirit. Like, so something is not right. So I became so angry. And I heard him saying, you have to, like, there's a switch. You need to do something different to get that power you're asking for. So I said, like, what? I'm tired. He said, that's the word I don't want to hear from you anymore. So immediately I said that, and I said, increase the, the fire in your fasting, then add it to prayer with the word of God. I said, okay. So when um, Gloria, a, a friend of mine called me, I said, oh, I saw it on RDP. I was like, ah, I would love to be here. Even though I do every month, I try to do seven days dry, no water, no food. Just, I would say, Lord, I just want to feel you. I want another realm of power. This morning, she didn't know I was fasting. She didn't know anything. But she just said, I would be glad if you can attend. And I said, I will do everything, even though I have to be in the cancer uh, care ministry this morning. But I, uh, yeah, yesterday morning. But after the program, I will drive down and I'll be here. And as I was coming, a lot of issues, but I was like, I don't care. I'll be here. And I got here around 8, um, 8.35 p.m. yesterday night. This morning, when you call the word fire, I felt a drop of oil. I sank down my head. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying, you just received what I've, you've been praying for since 2020. And that's, that's shit that anointed that you wanted another Jeez. dimension. Said so you have received it. Just close your eyes. <laughs> Stronger like never before. You will see healings, miracles, signs, and wonders. Enter into the harvest of your seekings. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing now opening deaf ears. Popping them in their numbers. In the name of Jesus. Stronger, 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 stronger. Enter inside. Enter inside. Glory to Jesus. This is 7.04. I want us to end this now. Rise on your feet now. <laughs> Just lift your hands and bless him in the spirit. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him. Bless him, bless him, be intentional. Thank him. Look at all the miracles. Look at all the breakthroughs, all the testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. A couple of instructions. Please pick up your notes. Right, please. Thank God I didn't forget. Every ground you gained can be lost. Please. Don't forget these last words. That means I want to see you, alright? Once we're done. You, you, you. You that's looking back. Uh, every ground, ground you gain can be what? We lost. 
You might have noticed some of the testimonies. Someone will say, I was healed. And then it looked like he wanted to come back. Then I said, no. And then I was now finally. <laughs> have you noticed that trend? Yeah, some of you who receive healings and then it seems like it came back again. It's not because God didn't heal you. In fact, God did not just heal you. God healed you over 2,000 years ago. You just received and accepted and insisted and received your healing. When? Now. But it has happened before you were even born. It was prepared for already. Are you following what I'm saying? So the same way we insisted corporately, the same way you must continue to insist even after now. God has taken this from me. It will never return again. Because some people are too cheap. Just one sign or symptom. They accept. Look at the guy who was healed of asthma. And he lies down to sleep. And he begins to feel the symptom again. And he said, nope. I'm healed. And I'm staying healed. Laid back on the bed. And woke up breathing normally. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? I'm happy some of you already understand. Because Satan will try. And that's what I'm telling you in advance. We try. Some of you, even for reach 24 hours, he will try to show you that the back pain has not gone. Did you hear what I just said? He will try. So that's where you get stubborn. Ask your neighbor, how stubborn are you? This is the time to be stubborn and rebellious. You stubborn on what God has done. It's done. You yourself watched your body respond to the power of God. You yourself watched people calling. You saw it. Even if it didn't happen to you, you watched it happen, right? And so learn to hold on to what Christ has done. What you have experienced, hold on to it. Don't let it go. All right? And how do you keep these things fresh in your heart? Because once we are done here, you are going back to your environment. And some people have very interesting environments. You understand what I mean by that, right? Including churches that are very interesting. <laughs> don't think I don't understand. I know. All right? Some of you, are, that's what you have been worrying about in the retreat. Now that I'm now hungry, how do I cope? <laughs> Like how? I'm going back to that place. I don't want to lose my fire. Can you imagine somebody is afraid of losing fire where? In church. That's the fear that as I get back to the house of God, my fire will go. That's how bad it has become. But no need to fear. Rehearse your experience. Every time you think it, you are experiencing it again. What I just give you now is a very powerful key rehearse your encounters those things you saw see it again don't stop seeing it be very close to the messages that you wrote alright read the scriptures again go over them again whichever has charge is online go over it again and again and again relieve the experience alright and some quick instructions for many of you who want to water the things that have happened don't go back to eating and drinking and feasting and jesting and a casual lifestyle. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yeah. The devil waits till after you are done with your fire fire. That's what Jesus said. He said after the sower has sown his seed, you know, the birds of the air will now come and do their own work, pick some. All right? So the enemy will try to do some things after now so that you can frustrate the you know the things that you have heard in your heart so that you stop believing it right now are you believing something you're not believing before hmm? is there a new hope in anybody here yes, sir, yes, sir. have you noticed there's a great expectation in your heart you can't wait you can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next couple of days that thing can be punctured so i want you to what guard it don't have conversations that will make you feel like it was all just, uh, yeah, just all free. It might just have just been a coincidence that 10 people got new jobs. Just coincidence. Wow. You can't believe it too. And we're including green card, everything, just a coincidence. They all chose to happen in the last two days. All the employers met together, plus the immigration, they all discussed and said, let's shock them. Let's make them happy. <laughs> How many of you got a new gig, a new job? Raise your hand. I want to count the number. Raise your hand. In the last three days, you or your parents, there was a feedback of a new job or a new gig. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that a coincidence? So please guard it, remember it. And anything you saw here that you had desires, as you are stepping back, start practicing it. Try it. You to get to church, ask them to put their hands on their head. Did somebody get what I just said? For those who are in ministry. You saw it, your chances are higher that you will believe. That's why it's important to expose yourself to this kind of atmospheres. Those persons who work with Archbishop, it's easier for them to believe certain kind of things. This thing might be looking strange, but it's not strange to me because I watched it in my father's life. The least I will be is what I saw. Are you getting what I'm saying? As you've watched it happen, you saw the ease. We did not grab anybody, we did not fight anybody. We did not... You saw the number of people free. You saw the ease at which they were free. Even when the demon was violent. And so get ready. When it happens in the church, get ready. When you say, I don't know who are you, who do you think you are? Simple. With the same authority, with the same ease, with the same rest, cast it out. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm asking those angels to follow people back to their churches. In the name of Jesus, angels of deliverance, receive a measure of this authority, this grace, this anointing. In the name of Jesus. When you speak, demons will react. You know, not, not, not every voice provokes their reaction. I have asked questions around the subject of deliverance for many years. I told you the story. My father's ministry used to frustrate me. Because we'll pray, 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 pray. He will now come and touch people and people will start manifesting demons. What is happening? What is this? Is he the one that put the demon inside the person? I've been praying since now. It was confusing. But now I understand that certain persons carry certain measures of authority that cause certain things that others are not seeing react to react. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm declaring the name of Jesus that from today, the things you have seen here, you will walk in it. Amen. That's the essence of battle last retreat. That's the essence that you will do the same works. I declare in the name of Jesus, go and see the same things happen. The lepers cleanse, the blind eyes open, deaf ears unstopped. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for you like never before you. We have a hunger that will completely consume you. And this hunger will never die. In Jesus' mighty name. As many people that can do this, run in 90 days fast. Run in 90 days fast. As many people can do it. If your health can't take it, fine. It's all right. Run in 90 days fast. If you can't do 90, do 60. If you can't do 60, do 30. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Stop making the things that are normal to be sounding like they're strange. Our church is currently on a 30 days fast. We do it every two months. So next month we'll rest, upper month we'll do 30 days again. The next month we'll rest, the next month we'll, that's how we're doing our life. All right? It's our church. Tell neighbor it's their church. Tell your neighbor it's their church. So don't complain. Don't come and stress us. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you, we do we. <laughs> because we are tired of powerlessness. I saw people shifting in a nation where people are suffering. People are complaining. People are getting jobs in that same nation, in that same Ibadan, from outside the country, being paid. And you know what the currency is talking now? Because power is available. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Imagine this three days experience now. Imagine somebody has to do it every single Sunday. But I knew if you mount all the pressure on the anointing of my life, you might not see as much. So everybody, let's do it. I'm speaking to ministers now. Let everybody in church as much as possible carry some measure of the body. The reason is because you as a minister, you are busy, all right, having to work in 9 to 5 as well. You can't be as effective as somebody who has his whole time. That leads to another advice. As much as possible, fight to be financially free. All right, we didn't have time in this bar to talk about finances. 
Papa is not just for speaking in tongues. It's for strategic wisdom, all right? That will keep you on the cutting edge. Fight him financially free. Nothing wrong. Enter real estate. Are you hear what I'm saying? Stop thinking that it is big. Enter. 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 The road is clear already. Enter. Just try it out. Find out. Stop passing by. Ask how much is the land. And what happens? What's my cut if I sell? Just try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Nothing wrong with cars. Selling. As you enter some of these things, you are able to leverage. You are able to, you know, you are able to earn in certain amounts that will help you and you have command of your time. You can choose now to do some of the things I'm saying, especially if there is a call on your life. Because the standard will never, ever be lessened because you are in the US or UK. Spiritual does not understand all those things. If to activate the clothes you are wearing will take seven days, and your job will never allow you to have even two days, then you will never activate that clothes you are wearing till you die. Do you understand what I just said? And they don't say, don't, they don't have a problem with you. Right in the midst of all the complaining and all the murmuring that it's not easy here, it's not easy here, you are hearing somebody talking about seven days. Every single month. Is it every month, man? Every month. There's no excuse, though. All right? There's no excuse. So do the one you can do, all right? If you can gather your family, gather your family and just water it so that these things don't begin and not finish. Some of you, after now, you need to complete what has started. Are you getting what I'm saying? So don't just stop. Ah, it's time for vacation. Chai, I tried. Kai, chai, it's not easy. You see the kind of prayer I prayed. It's now time to eat and watch film. Ah, ah, even Jesus knows. Chai, I tried. No, continue from where you stopped. Are you following what I'm saying? Continue from where you stopped. Just continue. You have seen that you can fast. So why go back to eating? Many of you, your health will never remain the same again after now. Yes. So keep fasting. And of course, watch it. You can do a test, confirm all, all the blood sugar, everything, and then run a marathon. Then you rest. Don't just be going from marathon to marathon. Be wise, all right? Rest. Rest, let your body recuperate. Fire again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Live a fasted life. Hallelujah to Jesus. And the Lord will, will bless, keep, and continue to anoint you in the work of your hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Once again, I want to appreciate all those who are working behind the scenes to make this happen. All the workforce, please come. Let's pray for them. Workforce, workforce leaders, everyone who is working behind the scenes. Please celebrate these people powerfully, powerfully. Come on, come on, come on. Every of these materials are soaked in the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing rest upon them. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God forever. I remember when I used to slim fit my father's clothes and wear it for ministration. <laughs> Demons will be shouting, I hate you, I hate you. I say, hey, is this my prayer? <laughs> oh my God.